Ooh. Oh, I can come. Ooh. I love the women. I love the ladies. I love the chicks. I love the tits, the ass, and the pussy. I don't do do. Do your fucking job. I just, I don't know, it's just, it's just, you know, we're putting something foreign into our bodies and we just don't know what's going to happen. Then again, I drink alcohol. If you got a dick, I'll follow you. Yeah, after I can eat my fucking grundle hole. I, I basically bust in on her. I hate your fucking guts. I'll pick your ass, motherfucker. And fuck Bill Goldberg. I play games where you get fucked to death. Creepy sons of bitches. Colonizer. A lot of small ones. I had about motherfucking five, fifteen uh, motherfucking eighty drinks tonight. I'm coming on your ass, Rick. I'm coming for that ass. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Everybody's kept putting it in there. Steve Langenheim. Welcome to the 353rd episode of Monetize This. And I believe, uh, I believe tonight is the 300th episode of Monetize This taking place on a Friday. After the first uh, first 50 or so episodes took place on a Wednesday night back in the day. But uh, welcome to the, uh, I think three, like, yeah, we're celebrating. I don't know. I'm making up celebrations in my own head. I'm making up celebrations in my own head. Um, last night, we determined, uh, I did some math, and it looks like I've determined that, uh, a big announcement to start the show that I determined that the the wonderful and great unbelievable Sith Negan is about $900 away from breaking the record of Himmelgod. Um, now that's I'm still going to have to clarify that. I'm not 100% still, but I did uh, spend about an hour, which was a lot of time for everything that went on in my life today. Uh, spend that time to go over it, um, but we'll talk more about that later. It's very interesting. It's a big, it's a crazy record. So it's an interesting thing to keep your eyes on in the chat and uh, throughout the shows. Tonight was SmackDown. We'll talk about that. Goldberg. We knew he was coming back. We talked about that last night. If you caught the eight-hour show, the eight-hour-long show that we did last night, you would have seen that Goldberg was coming back tonight. And uh, it was a crazy, crazy show last night. 25-minute show turns into a eight-hour abomination last night. So I, I can't thank you guys enough for uh, last night, man. That was insane. And I say that every week, but that was really insane. We I went to bed at 7 a.m. last night. Thursday nights, beat the clock are pretty crazy and they become one of the most wildest things that I do or we do and tonight was AEW Rampage I'm looking to hear from you guys about that I've got some people who are going to come on and talk about AEW Rampage potentially in a little bit we'll talk a little bit about WWE as well but we'll also talk about um, a lot of things nine hours Monetize this? No, nine hour monetize this time? Well, we'll see. We shall see. And then last night at the end of the night, for some reason, the Super Chats stopped uh, working the right way. I don't know what was going on, but they weren't. So hopefully they're working tonight. Hopefully Super Chats are working the right way tonight. 
I don't know what the hell was going on last night. They were working on and off. They weren't working, and they were working. It was weird. So hopefully that's figured out. Shout out to Johnny Bravo. I can't believe we didn't do something special for 2222. I don't know why that didn't happen, but um, for whatever reason, we didn't do anything. Let me jump on here with Garguts. And we'll bring other people in in a minute. But we'll just try to keep it calm here at the beginning. You know, I got to get... I'm winding in. I'm um, taking some... I'm taking some medicine for this headache I got. Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. What up, Garguts? Shit, nothing. I was just fucking... Busted out the old guitar, man. Been missing it. Yeah, sexually. Oh yeah, definitely. All the way, I licked it a few times. Day nine hundred and seventy-six without sex. You licking it? You licked your guitar a couple of times. <laughs> I, what else am I supposed to do? I mean, not molest your musical instruments. I mean, that's a little strange. Hey man, you, when you love instruments and you love music, you'll do whatever you put a big takes. load on my drum set. You know, you know what I've always thought about doing is jerking off and putting a big load all over the drums, and then like go doing a fill. And watching the, the cum just splash up and all over me and in the air under a black light. You ever thought about mm -hmm. that? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> you, like, you, oh, my you, God. You're like, oh, well, yeah. 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 Well, you, uh, can do, you can do a, a rim shot with a, with, well, getting rim shot. Get, oh, my God. We got Tex Housing coming in rim later. Rim and a rim shot, huh? Cum shot and a rim shot. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, imagine that, dude. Fuck. Like, you're just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and you're just fucking, and it's just shooting up all over you and all over the place. And, you know, if it's, like I said, if it's a black light, it's really fucking showing up. Like, it's yeah. splattering everywhere. And... That's how Peter Chris had to record his uh, last Kiss album. Really? In the hospital? <laughs> cum shots. In the hospital? <laughs> he just did it with cum shots. <laughs> oh, boy. It's been a day, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, last night you went a long time. You got wasted. Are you doing that again tonight, or what are you doing? I, I'm too in a, I'm in a state of shock uh, tonight. Uh, so I probably won't. Uh, I don't know what will happen yeah. tonight. I'm not really sure. I can't say, but uh, I got to get rid of this headache. I know that I've got a headache that's developed over the day. So we got to get rid of that. You know. Oh man. Um. You just got to air the dog again. Fucking. You know, I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about trying to... milligrams of ibuprofen. You'll be fine. That's what I'm thinking is I'll just take a bunch of shit. But I, I, I've been trying to fake my dog into attacking me recently. Like, I tried breaking in with a ski mask on. <laughs> oh, man. She knows your smell, man. Yeah, She's that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, they know your energy and they know yeah. you're... Like, they're looking... Yeah, they don't give a fuck well, about the ski mask. Well, I mean, you've heard of, like, you know... You know what I'm talking about, like... Uh, What's it called when you're like choking yourself to to orgasm? Autoerotic uh, asphyxiation. Oh, yes, oh, yes. But edge. I have, I have a thing you don't where do all that just to edge. Like, well, it? yeah, that's a diff that's sort of a different thing. You're tr you're trying to be so high and out of it that the orgasm explodes or whatever. But my thing is like feeling pain while I jizz. So I'm trying to get to the point of orgasm right as I then break into my own house. And then have my dog maul my balls or my or just be biting me hard and like like try and tear at my body while I'm jerking off and releasing. But again, so like I said, this on Twitch, you will be good. Like I said, though, the dog doesn't. She knows it's me and she won't attack me, and it's too bad because I want to come. So, you know what? Spray yourself with some um, I don't know, some food products. Mm, the cheese. Yeah, something, and then. Uh, there you go. Just put it down there, like some cheese, some peanut butter, something. Did you guys see Rampage at all or no? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wow, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I missed it. I didn't see it at all. You, what what happened? I, uh, I actually watched. Uh, yeah, I watched some older ones. I, I'm like a month behind, so oh. I didn't see the current one. Well, well, coming up on the new one. It's not hard to catch up, I guess, because they're only an hour, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Oh no, I, I got to catch up with all. Of, like, I got dynamite. I got fucking a month of dynamite and fucking. Rampage to watch. Mm. I'm trying to try and get it done before the goddamn pay per view. Well, the, the ratings <laughs> don't look so good. Too. I watched SmackDown and Rampage, and it was like I was just all wrestled out. 
didn't want to even watch it. But, you know, it was all right, I guess. I mean, some things right. happened. Some things didn't happen. Uh, Sammy Guevara retained. Uh, FTW uh, match was all right. Uh, the ending was badass, actually. The ending that they yeah. did. That was dope. It may get beat. But other than, uh, yeah. Thunder Rosa got beat up with a fucking pipe. Breaking she breaking Google. She did? She got knocked yeah. out with a pipe. Somebody what? laid pipe on Thunder Rosa. Oh, my Mercedes God. Mercedes just went Oink! on her head. She yeah. laid that pipe on her head. Look yeah, at was like, every yeah. time breaking up, break up Google, we can see you, brother. Every time he comes in, he's like, can anyone see my message? Like, he really, like, he mm -hmm. really pissed off Google that, like, he's always paranoid if his messages are being seen in the chats. Like, he really pissed off uh, Google. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine if AEW signed Shane, bro. Piss off Google? Well, that uh, with the name like that, break up Google now. I mean, he's got, you know, I mean, you're asking for it, right? Target on your back. Well, they really did. They censored the shit out of him. I remember he everything he wrote, they would censor it. And I'd be like, what? You know, someone mm -hmm. else could write like, suck a cock, sucker, you know, whatever. And it wouldn't, you know, nothing would happen. But he would write just regular stuff and he'd be taken out. And I'd be like, huh. That's when I wonder if Google. I wonder if Google would be teased because it's Black History Month and somebody's handle would be Hulk Hogan. We coming for you. Oh yeah, no, they'll take. They'll probably take you out for a name like that. I would. But then again, who knows? I mean, there's Google. My kids, like you know, so that those don't get taken out. So you know, yeah. like N word children like doesn't go away. But you know what I mean. So if, you realize you realize there's a movie out there called uh, The Adventures of N Word Charlie. Well, I mean that's like um, no way. That's like uh, boss N word. Pretty much. Well, I mean, again, this was a C list movie. It was basically based off of like Dolomite. There you but go. It was like a C list version of it. Oh, I love. Goes Rostov. I'm bringing up race already. We just started. He's already like, let me bring up race. You're a sick person. Uh, uh, You're a sicko. Uh, hey, it's a, it, it's it's a, a race is a race. You gotta get to the, you gotta get to it quick, bro. Come on now. You gotta get, you gotta get to, to the end. Quickly. Did you see that <laughs> they? The did I see that they had to resume the amazing race or something the other day? Like that they were resuming it after having canceled it halfway through when COVID started or something? Is that real or am I, I crazy? Think so, yeah. yeah. That's is it the same season or what? The same yeah. participants? I think so. I think they had to like like restart it or continue from where they were. I don't know. I don't watch that shit, so I wouldn't know, but But ain't a rat race with John Lovitz. They were like, Say that much. the amazing race can is back after uh, the middle of the fucking season was canceled. Like, and where, where, do, I don't know. It was just some bullshit. I don't know. I didn't even, I don't even know. Cause I don't even care so much, but John Lovitz isn't in there uh, driving Hitler's car. It's me. I'm in amazing <laughs> race. I'll be your driver. I'm John Lovitz. I used to nine, jerk nine, 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 nine. when they find out about what I did with with children. I'll be canceled from Hollywood. But until then, enjoy the ride. <laughs> like, uh, oh, man, John Lovitz is our driver. I don't know. I can't do John Lovitz, but he sounds something like that. That's, that's exactly how he sounds. Does he? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And he's got that smile. Yeah. Hey, uh, driver, oh, I, I said I wanted to get something to eat. Fine. We'll go to where you want to go. Like, like, he's like, I'll take drive through. <laughs> I can't believe he, they did that on Rat Race where they he did the Hitler thing. And he, what? He goes in the yeah. You remember the Hitler the, where he drives Hitler's car? Oh my god! And then he ends up getting burned, like his tongue gets burned by a cigarette lighter, and then uh, he goes and crashes into a podium, and he goes out there. And he's like, and he's like doing the uh, he's doing. Oh my god! Thing. Can someone record yeah. Gargutz what he just did? Thanks. Oh my god. Please record, Gar. Oh, hey, man, hey, it's on Peacemaker now, so I guess it's back. You can do that. Now we're gonna jiff that because of you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jiff. I was just gonna say we're gonna jiffy lube that. That's fucking great. <laughs> so uh, if so, f marry or kill Bill Goldberg, Whoopi Goldberg. What was that? Oh, God, they're uh, both manly. Well, mm. We need another Goldberg though. We need. Oh, let's get the Goldberg from the Mighty Ducks. Oh my God, <laughs> Goldberg the Goldberg. <laughs> yeah, but now which which Goldberg do we get? Do we get? Do we get the one that's in good good health or the or the crackhead now? You know, which good one? health. Good health. All right. To be fair, we'll give the good health one. Yeah. You know what it always reminds me of when they say Goldberg when mm. the Rock said, "Don't you think you're cool because you know my bookie." Ira Goldberg. 
and it was I don't remember that. What the he, hell? He, I don't remember it was that him and Goldberg were in a were in a program. Oh, and uh, they kept chanting Pro- Goldberg, Goldberg, and he was like, "Don't you think y'all are cool because y'all know my shit?" But uh, that's I don't remember. That's the rock for you. Damn, you don't. Shit. I don't. I mean, honestly, God, I hated that feud, even though that it was it, it was his first outing. I just didn't like it at all. I felt like it was a bad pairing. All right, so here he is. All right, here we go. Fuck, marry, kill. Now there's two men on the board, and we're most of us are men, oh. so this is already awkward right now. Let's start with Tex. Yeah. Go ahead, Tex. Oh, yeah, you go first. Me. Go to hell, roster. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, on, I'm gonna put, put, put all their faces on Texas shirt. Actually. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill that Goldberg because I don't know who that. Is. The Muddy Ducks, he's the goal. Have, I, I know they don't have money. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, All right, I so. guess I'll marry Bill Goldberg because I know he's rich. And maybe I could not get raped by him. So that might could possibly Right. Happen. You guys would kind of stay in your own rooms, but you'd have plenty to do. Right. Right. Maybe, yeah, maybe just get like r- wrestling tickets, you know. And then I guess I have to F Whoopi. God. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you don't like dreadlock, man. You know what you could do is put one of those. Sis- no, I really don't. Really? Oh, you put one of those sister act songs on. Put this. Put the sister act song on while you bang her. Oh, dude, aren't they coming back with sister sister act? Probably. Sister act. Sister act. Probably not now because she's canceled, right? Hey, everybody! It's me, John Lovitz, and then he just says the N word. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh my gosh! What's happening? He just, and he says it like as like with the ER, the very hard ER for no reason, and then just looks out at the crowd. He goes, "Hey everybody, it's me, uh, John Lovitz. Hey, uh, so eh. <laughs> he just says that <laughs> like, what the fuck? Cancel me, motherfuckers! I've got a tumor in my heart." Like and then he said, <laughs> he walks off the stage. Just walks off and drops the mic. Drops the mic and then he comes back, picks up the mic and goes, "Faggots." <laughs> point. Oh my, oh my god, god, dude! Can really you? <laughs> That'd be the funniest thing ever. John Lovitz last Maybe. night took the stage to tell everybody he came out and canceled, essentially canceled himself on purpose. Okay. It feels like after dropping the N word. He then told the audience he had terminal cancer and then came back and said the F word into the microphone to which the crowd began booing. (laughs) And then bends over and just leaves. Hey, so I wanted to say the only thing in the world that I could say that would get me in trouble. The Jews are... (laughs) Ah. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, shut up, you bunch of pussies. I'll put you in an oven. <laughs> hey, it's me. Anyway, wow. Whoopi, I agreed with you. I agreed with what Whoopi said, and none of you guys did, but I'll tell you one thing. If I know one thing, I know it all. Whoopi's a whore. She's a, she's a whore. <laughs> More of a Boston accent on that, Joe. More I don't know. Boston accent. I don't know, bro. Well, good luck. Anyone gonna vote for Bernie Sanders? Anybody? Yeah. I don't know, dude. It would just be so funny to me, like, to see a guy like that come out there and purposely destroy him's career, like, and then and then at the end of it, just say like, "I've got cancer and I'm dead in five days, probably." So fuck you all. (laughs) Call me super hot fire. I'm gonna end my own whole career. The guy that played Kramer on Seinfeld. Did he ever go back to doing anything? Yeah. I, gu- I guess the funny thing is he actually did do that, right? Like, and he wasn't Maybe, dying yeah. of anything. Oh, yeah, right. that was bad. That was weird. That was very strange. Like, like he was, like, screaming. At, like, he must have had a really bad day. Like, he walked in on his wife cheating or something. Well, and then the crowd got to him. And he just popped. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if how where it stemmed from. But, you know, I know we've been over this on Monetize right. This yeah, so many times. Again. But I'm just happy we have that gem... Where he goes on uh, Leno with Seinfeld, and Seinfeld's like, "That's not funny," and the people are laughing. Remember, oh, we played this on Monetize this like seventy times back when JB was on, and he was like, <laughs> "He's like, he's like." Uh, they play the clip of him saying it, and the crowd laughs, and then Michael Richards is like, "I said some really offensive things about some 
Afro Americans. And then the crowd started laughing like insane. And then Seinfeld's like, it's not funny. Don't laugh at that. And then Michael Rich is like, well, maybe this isn't the forum to. It's like, yeah, no shit. You sound hilarious right now. Like, you know how funny you sound right now? Apologizing for this? Like, well, I mean, technically, embraced. John Lovitz, he, John Lovitz could just play the uh, I'm a Jew card and get away with just about anything. Yeah. Isn't that what the rest of the is? What if he had a t shirt that said that I'm a Jew card? No. What would that, what would that, what would that signify? No, no. He, no, he needs to physically print out I'm a Jew on a business card and do oh. something offensive and just hand it to somebody. No, That's John. How you work it. John Lovitz should have a T-shirt that says, "I know I look like an Indian, but I'm a Jew." That's what you'd say. Oh God! Yes, wow. yes I would. I would totally buy that. Why is my face melting? <laughs> hey, I noticed. I noticed the smell coming from the front row. I think it's your wife. Ha! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I say that at all my stand-up comedy shows. Anyway. He was great, little Nicky. I loved him. Was, you liked him in Little Nicky. Like what did he? What did he, he do in Little hell. Nicky? Yeah. Oh, he goes to hell? In the in, in the beginning of the movie, he's peeping on that mob through the window with the binocular, and then he falls out of the tree and dies, and then he goes to oh. hell, and he gets right out. That's right. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then Kevin Nealon gets breasts on his head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Dude, Kevin Nealon yeah. breast. Yeah, I forgot that was Kevin Nealon. John Shit. Lovitz was John Lovitz was great in City Slickers, like Sith said. He was... Three. He yep. was great in oh, okay. League of Serious Their Own. Serious question. Serious black ass. How many N-word passes is the Jew card? This is what we need to know, guys. Well, apparently. Just so we can get away. I've got six yeah. of them, apparently. I'm going to need like 12 just in case. You never oh. know when the future. Just in case. So we'll figure it out. I'm trying That's to think bad. if I've... I said it more on air than I ever did in public. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, we got Sirius Black was, in the chat. Oh, he's wondering <laughs> was, uh, how many N word pass would uh, would be worth. I the literally just asked that question, Austin. I literally just asked. Yeah, that. that's what he just I said. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I think you guys did. You guys both read his comment and then say that. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yes. Ross, I wonder if Hunter uh, Donald and uh, John Lovitz ever did anything. Because damn, why haven't I seen it? It's got to be SNL. Oh, um, but, yeah, they did there. stuff on SNL. That would have been the perfect duo right there. What? Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, uh, well, I'm saying, why don't you tie my shoe, <laughs> asshole? And then he's like, oh, I already did. I, it's like, what are they? They both kind of sound similar in a way. By the way, Joe, you brought up Seinfeld. Uh, remember when Kramer did like that whole like rant? That led to like you know him getting tapes and that going everywhere virtually online. Yeah, he was, he's, like, an he's an N word. He's an N word. That we'd stick a fork right. up his ass and hang him from it. Whatever. Right. Like that was fucking. Weird. So you weren't watching this at the time, but in WWE on SmackDown, Crime Time did basically a bit oh parodying this thing. Yeah, it's on YouTube. I think they, they did <laughs> you... a parody of this. What? Yeah, yeah, Crime Time. Is that uh, what? And that's on YouTube. That's on YouTube somewhere. Yeah. Wait a minute. It's oh. on there. That, uh, dude, when I saw that, I was like, bro, they're, they're, they're really swinging for the fences on the creative team at, the, at that Come point. On, yo, 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 Chad Gaspar and JTG. If it's I, crime time. If I didn't, like, like say, like, you know, you're not racist, which, you know, I'm not. But if I did something like that where I was trying to say the worst thing I could to the people in the crowd and I pick, and I picked that out, like, okay, I'm going to go after their, you know, what, I'm going to go after their race because that's the worst thing I can think I can say about them. Thank you. you know? If I'm on a apology tour, I'm probably, I'm probably, I'm probably saying like, I don't even care. Don't forgive me. I don't care if you don't forgive me. I just want you to know that I really am not. I, you know, what I mean, like I wouldn't. I'm not really a racist. Like you can. I don't care what you yeah. think. And then would I, you call it the apology tour? Um, I maybe I'd call it the apology tour. Yeah, the uh, the N word uh, up on a fork, upside down on a tree, fucking. Apology tour, <laughs> and then I'd print T-shirts with everything I said on the T-shirts, and all the money would go to well, the uh, NAACP. The voting lowercase T tour. Just like, right? just um, you know, like, like let's just read, like right now, you know, like let's just read, you know, like some of what he said here. Let's see, uh, he said, uh, 
a N-word. Look, an N-word. There's an N-word up there. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way you said it. Oh, my God, wow. dude. Oh just how God. slow it and methodical you said it. Yeah, let's just let's go. <laughs> let's it very slowly, let's, Joe. Let's just go ahead and read what he said. All right, all right. Uh, let's read what Michael Richards said right now. All right, shut Take up, your time, Joe. Shut up. Fifty years huh? ago, we'd have you upside down. <laughs> shut up <laughs> with a fucking fork up your ass. Um. Let me see here. Let me get the rest of it. I'm translating the rest of it now. You can talk. You can talk. You can talk. Throw his ass out. He's an N-word. He's an N-word. He's an N-word. Look, I can talk. Look, an N-word. Look, there's an N-word. Look at his look. Look at his look, how, how he, he looks. looks. Oh, look oh. Look at how he looks. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. All right, you see? This shocks you. It shocks you. And it keeps shocking you. An N-word. To see what's buried beneath your stupid motherfuckers. You see that? And then, someone from the, and then the guy from up on the balcony says, That was uncalled for. And then he says, What's uncalled for? And then he says, It's uncalled for you to interrupt my ass, you unkept motherfucker. <laughs> and then he says, Oh, you cheap motherfucker is what he says. And he says, you guys have been talking and talking and talking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Remember that part? That part's really funny. We should actually just play the audio for that because that's really funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's How the really fuck funny. did you have that? <laughs> Never mind. I'm, I'm reading it. I'm reading it right <laughs> off the thing. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It. What's the matter? Is this too much for you guys to handle? This is the best part coming up. They're going to arrest me for calling a black man an N-word. <laughs> That's what Michael... <laughs> Jesus. Um, here's the rest of it. Let's see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is he going? That's uncalled for, you fucking cracker-ass motherfucker. <laughs> now, he's, now he's calling him a slur. If only he knew he was Jewish, he probably could have said some crazier things back to Michael. Richards. Cracker ass, he says. You calling me a cracker ass, N-word? <laughs> cracker hater. He's a cracker hater. I like that part. We, it's it's. But listen to this, because you know what? We do have to play a little bit of it, because this is it's the way Michael Richards sounds. He's like, you calling me a cracker ass? Like, he starts talking like that for some reason. Does anybody remember that? He starts kind of yeah, talking like... Yeah, he's yeah. like, you calling me a cracker ass? Like, he's like getting really weird. Where's he going? I'm calling for you, Oh my god. Like I think I heard an N word in that rant right there. Yes, he did. He's, oh, yes, he did. Yeah, he's quick with it. That's why he gets in trouble. Yeah. And then they said effing yeah. white boy, and then he says, Are you threatening me? <laughs> he says he threatening me. <laughs> Are you threatening <laughs> me? And then the I guy said We'll see what's up. That's what the guy said. This might have been one of the Hey Joe. What's up? I sent you the video, by the way. Oh, thank you, thank God. I, I was actually looking for it, couldn't find it. The I guy, this this might be the first like cancel culture thing that I can remember. But actually, but it's like you kind of understand it. Like this was back when you got in trouble for something like this, but like it sort of made sense. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, but he like lost his mind, obviously. So this is on the verge of all that shit happening. Now. What else does he say? I mean, it's really funny. Oh, it's it's a big threat. That's what you get. That's how you get back at the man. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> He's not leaving, Damn. is he? He's not going. Oh, I guess you got me there. You're right, because the guy said, it's not funny. That's why you're a reject and never had no shows. Why are you at his show then? What does that mean? I don't know. I mean... I mean, think about it. What are you going to say? I mean, if only they knew he was... But maybe they didn't want to stoop to his whatever. But they could have said a bunch of crazy stuff about his people, you know? James <laughs> coming to his side and being like, you know, we were all saying it. Yeah. It's just he got caught with it. No, no, no. Comedians would have went to his side and roast him on the spot. That's what he would have done. Yeah. And everybody would have gotten their money's worth. This is the best line ever, oh, yeah. though. That's mm -hmm. what happens when you interrupt the white man. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta see the the Norm McDonald where he tries to 
you know, him and Mike Tyson are, he, Mike Tyson's trying to fight him to, to say the N-word. I don't know if you've seen that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's weird. It's, like, uncomfortable. Yeah, he was like, say it, say it, say it. And he's like, his fists are, like, flying at his face. And he's like, oh, oh, oh. And he's, like, hitting him back with the cards. He's like, it is the women on the What if the women on the, the view see like, this? You know, the women on the view see this. I don't know, they like me. <laughs> like Norm McDonald's afraid that they were thinking the women on the view are going to be playing him saying the N word on fucking. Oh my, oh my God, God, bro. The view. Dude, the view can't even keep their shit together. I don't know how they've been a show for 20 years. I just uh, say, can't we cancel that garbage? Like, get that off the air immediately, yeah. please? Turn yeah, off. Cancel them themselves. Let them, let them, let them fight. <laughs> and we'll see, we'll see it burn down in flames. Yeah, that was around the MySpace times, wasn't it? Yeah, I'd know. rather see him fight in the pit of spikes. You want to get in the pit with me? You want to get in the pit with me? Yeah. My um, space was crazy. Oh, yeah, let me check it. You sent me it on what, Twitter? Twitter, Twitter. I'm, I'm tweeting my Twitter. I, 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 tw I tweeted. I tweeted. Oh, here it is. Prime time. Harry Twitter. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Cops are pretty difficult around these parts of town, I guess. I got pulled. Oh, up. Crime Time deals with a certain comedian. Oh my God, bro! The way the they parody this. Right? I told you, bro. Stuck my head out the window. I says, "Hey, officer, what's the problem here?" Wow. He said, "It seems like you're wrong, driving the wrong way down the street here." I said, "How do you figure?" He says, "There's arrows down there." I said, "I didn't see any arrows." Come to think of it, I didn't see any Indians either. <laughs> Hey, hey, 50 years ago, I have you upside down with a fork stuck up your ass. <laughs> oh, real brave, real brave to interrupt yeah. me from all the way up there in the cheap seats. Throw, Is he going to say the N-word? Throw his ass out. Throw him out because he's a <laughs> Oh, my God. Yeah, you're, a, oh, you're offended that I said the word now, huh? Like you haven't ever heard the word before. I'll say it again. I'll get up and leave. Oh get my up God. And leave. It's been around for years, buddy. Oh, what, what's going to happen now? Am I going to get it? Am I going to get arrested now? Arrested for saying the word? Huh? Like nobody's ever called a black man on. Oh. Oh my God! Crime Dime's going to kill the guy. <laughs> I never saw this. What the fuck? Wow. You're welcome. What's really hood? What's really good? Guys, I, I was just in the, the middle of an act. You, 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 you oh, act. In the middle of an act. act. Yeah, I, I, it was a routine. It was a routine. It was a routine. Oh, yeah. So you, so, so, so you practiced that? that yeah. That, that, I mean, that, well, no. no, 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 yeah, yeah, that, no, no I, never, I never actually said that word Oh, you never before. said it before. You said it. No. You said it pretty good. I say that word. You said it pretty good. I'm feeling uncomfortable. I'm comfortable. You're feeling uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Really? I'm 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 sorry. He's sorry. And I'm sorry. Oh, you're so oh. Are you sorry? Oh. Cool. What is your homie? Yeah, you get. I hope he gets shot at the end of this. That'd be great. Man, you get You get. You get. Don't worry. A lot of white comedians can't do it, man. It's all good. It's all good. You're straight. Yeah. Um. I. Now I'm feeling uncomfortable right now. I kind of like to leave. You want to leave? He wants to leave. Whoa. Where are you going? <laughs> oh my god! You got waffled. I can't believe. I can't. So I have to tell you something. I did a skit around the same time where I say that the N word in a comedy club and I make fun of a guy's Hershey colored haircut and then I get shot. <laughs> and that is just it reminds me of this it's almost the same thing it's like i did the same thing almost as this and i don't know they, they came around around the same time too and my, probably because of the michael richards thing i'm like yeah you know what does it bother you when i make fun of your hershey colored haircut and all this other stuff and then someone's like yo you think you're funny and then i get shot at the at the nightclub <laughs> it's fun it's kind of bro, funny. bro yeah. this was at the same time when vince called booker t the n-word yeah around the same that's time. That's funny as hell, though. That's fucking funny, dude. They, dude, Gaspar. I'm surprised Waffle, you dude. never found this. Nope, I've never seen that. That is awesomely hilarious to me. I can't believe I never, never seen that. Man, that is crazy. Yeah. I can't believe I'd never seen that. That's every day you learn something new. You know, found out yesterday. Well, 
crazy fuck. What year did this come out? Like, <laughs> this had to be about 2007, 2008. That was uh, 06. Got... Okay. Oh, it was 06. Yeah, dude, oh, it was 06. A little bit before. <laughs> Yeah, so that, Vince had no parameters. You know what's crazy about that? The, the I thought the rant Michael Richards went on was from 08, but that's only the upload on YouTube, I guess, or one of the newer uploads. But I guess Michael Richards did this around 06. So, wow, I didn't know that. And by the way, shout out to Shad Gaspar for <laughs> taking the boot. I miss yeah. that dude, man. Well, he gave him a big boot. He fucking looked good. It looked good. He was like, you he better get it. me good. It's got to look good. Who's the guy that did yeah. the that was playing Michael Richards? He looked familiar too. He was one of the wrestlers, right, for a while until he had like the probably receding. a worker, probably OVW maybe. He was the Italian guy, I think, with like the receding hairline with a ponytail at one point. I feel like. So I don't that. Wait, wait, like what? Like, a... yeah, like he was in NXT even maybe for a little or the early NXT, but then he was gone right after that. Yeah, stand-up comedian has a meltdown drunk. Oh yeah, I like those. Yeah, those are dope. <laughs> you should know a lot. Of I like it when they when they when the heckler comes in and they just oh dude. The, if you look at comedians versus feminisms, and uh, there's a bunch of feminist people in the audience and they're heckling them, they fucking just Bro. lay it in, dude. They're dude. like, well, what you can't stand a real man doing a job. Dude, well, I fucking love this shit. They they did theirs first. I did mine after. Mine was 08, so that I did do mine after theirs. They did it first. <laughs> he goes on a racist tirade, and then he gets <laughs> shot. Here it is. Look at this. Let me, there we go. Oh, black man with a gun. That's a fucking shock. What are you going to do with that, huh? Oh, did you survive? Knock him next all over again. There you go. I even went with the, I even did the, the Chappelle show, like, replay in slow motion. Oh, black man with a gun. That's a fucking shock. What are you going to do with that, huh? And going white goes wrong. No blood box. Right here on the replay no. here. Yeah. Uh, he slowly goes down. Well, the bullet went right through me, you know? The bullet went right through. Now, that's after a racial tirade. <laughs> you know I mean? Like a racial tirade. So, that had to come down. <laughs> oh man, come on! Put it back up. Put it on the put it on daily motion. Well, it's right. a, you know it's censored. Yeah, put, and it, stuff. put it on Patreon. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let me just really destroy my yeah, life. See what I mean? Makes you more money. Yeah. There you go. Put it on yeah, the undisclosed like, site and then put it. You'll lay my life down to tomorrow. It might end you anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> like that make it worse. Um, but yeah, that was uh, what a fun time back then when people were, uh, you know, going on rants at the comedy show. On, uh, you know, like, and I think the problem people had obviously was like, why did you pick that out? But I think it's like you look at whatever you can. It's like if I was a dude in the comedy club, if I was in a com all black comedy club and I was heckling the comedian and uh, me, you know, they'd be like, what do you, what the fuck is this white motherfucker? You know, like, listen, Casper, you shut the fuck, you know, like they, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, yo, bro, I th yo, I didn't even know you were fucking fa a person in the audience. I thought we had a ghost up in the balcony. Fucking boo. You fucking goddamn mayonnaise looking, you know. Like I would expect shit like that. Let's go to the donations. Oh, it looks <laughs> like my little lass needs a shave. Black Power <laughs> History, History Month, October eighteen fifty nine. John Brown led group of freed slaves a rebellion at Harper's Ferry, Virginia, oh. location of the U.S. Armory. They first went after G. Washington's grandchildren and freed their slaves, and together they stole weapons. Killed slave owners and celebrated. It says Black Power History Month. <clears throat> so there you go. I mean, so, so copied and pasted. <laughs> so wait, after all that stuff you guys were telling me the other day, like, oh, you know, George Washington actually like lo loved his slaves or whatever you said, and now it's like, well, they killed his grandchildren. <laughs> you know, like, isn't that kind of fucking hilarious? Like, I don't know. Like, you know what? They also built the White House. So once people start going after the White House, then maybe I'll fucking. Join the fucking fight. You want to go after the, the White House? Go, go after the honky house. 
<laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> oh, honky house. You yeah, want to see? Uh, slaves built a lot of those um, memorials <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. DC. So yeah, no, I just mean that yesterday. You know, someone had said like Washington treated like he loved mm -hmm. the slave, or he what didn't wasn't a slave owner. I was just trying to say some people don't like him. They think he was a slave owner and blah blah. blah. And then somebody else was saying. Like, well, but he sort of, like, got along with them and treated them well and stuff like that. And, and, like, he had to have them in a way, but he didn't couldn't just let people or something like that. And I was like, well, why not just let them go if you care about them then? Just be like, get the fuck out of here quickly. Go, get out of here. Then somebody was like, well, he couldn't just do that. It'd be worse for them. And I'm like, oh, okay. But then that guy just said this guy freed, you know, his the, George Washington's grandchildren some of them were murdered so they could free the slave. And it's like, so wait a minute, it just kept going into his grandchildren still, even though he cared so much? I don't know, bro. This is weird. I don't care. I don't. I mean, I care, but I don't know what really happened. Who the fuck knows? We can't, dude, here's the thing. We can't even figure out our history of the last 30 years, like even the last five years. Think about our history in the last five years, how fucking wrong everything is, depending on who you talk to. Can you imagine what was what went on 500 years ago to 1,000 years ago? The history's got to be fucked of our, our forgotten of history. Oh my god, dude! Imagine the stuff. Like what? Of course. There's got to be so much that we've got wrong that we don't know about. Remember they burnt down that giant library that had all that important shit in it. They always talk about. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Like the I forgot about that. The, the it was like in the other side of the world, right? Yeah. Yes. Like it's like the yeah. a lot of it people think went to the Vatican or whatever, but this library had all this shit in it. And it's like all the history was brought to it from all over the world over time. Like they bring more, and then the fucking they thing said burned. Only like five percent survived. Yeah, or something like that. I'm just like, dude, that's someone's history is lost. What are we gonna do? And what we're gonna do is just repeat history because mm -hmm. that's that's what all humans do. They just they don't know and they get angry and arrogant, and then they repeat history and it goes into this. so we go in this fucking spiral and it just never ends. Because look at what YouTube's doing. It is preserving history, but at the same time, uh, you're going to see big, uh, you're going to see YouTubers telling you a different thing. And then you're going to go off of them instead of, you know, getting your own opinion. I think oh, yeah. the YouTuber stuff go, goes over the real shit because everybody else's opinions are totally well, at the top. All right. So I'll tell you what I'm, what I, what I think about that. Yeah. That is, it is high risk, high reward. Right. So like if you're listening to a YouTuber um, or a person who's on YouTube doing this study stuff or science or whatever they're doing, they they're free to sort of make up what they want, just like anything. So a lot of times they give you information that you didn't hear about or, or they give you more information than any other place has ever given you. And you're like, wow, I didn't know that. And a lot of times you learn a ton of extra stuff that you never knew because somebody is, you know, unchained to tell you the facts and to go into these certain things however sometimes hold on a second finn so why are you up right now and then other times they but they're also free to kind of manipulate things and sort of lie about things and they're they're gone unchecked as well so i've seen it both ways dude I, I was sub to a guy who was like the pyramids and all these other things and he had great points and i was really into stuff and i learned a bunch of stuff from him but he was definitely lying or not lying, but like really stretching the truth of things. And I was like, that doesn't seem right. And I even one point realized how bad it was. And I said to Leah, look at this. This guy's saying this, but look at these three things. And Leah's like, this guy's an idiot. And then she's like, why do you watch this guy? And I said, well, because um, because I still learn stuff from him that I didn't know. But there are some things that you have to like filter out like, oh, well, but this ain't right. You know, anyway, I'm gonna go find out why I kids out of bed. right back. My cat was on hold, too, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> there you go, Michael. Yeah, so the whole like history being lost and everything, I see it's it's just gonna go in circles. Whatever. Let's 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 fuck up it all up. Let's let's just go into Sodom and Gomorrah again and see what happens. Uh, well, I mean, how many people just get their history from watching a movie that Hollywood produced about you know the Revolutionary War? And they take that as, you know, doctrine. This is the truth, right? right? So, I mean, I've talked to so many people who, you know, know this that facts about the Civil War, let's say, 
and everything they say is just literally the plot of some movie. It's so stupid that they, I mean, yeah. you, you really have to filter out what you, what you read, what you watch, weigh it all out and see, yeah. you know, see what holds water. You know? I, I, yeah. I mean, like, right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, for example, like I had to like thoroughly go through the story of the Buffalo soldiers right because yeah. the thing is is that you hear like the bob marley song and stuff like that and granted, <laughs> yeah right but the thing is though you have to like really look at the idea of, like, from you know, the light to oh, sorry and the, where and how like you know they were actually structured no no but seriously though i mean it, it's it's weird because like people just think like, like it was just like america no. <laughs> <Fuck> you. <laughs> i'm just like thinking about the lyrics in the song hey man yeah, no, it's a good movie, by the way. But uh, but uh, ultimately, though, yeah, you're right, Tex. Like, there's a lot of info that has to be clarified and verified through not just one source, but multiple sources. Well, that, like, that, that's okay. where that's where history gets lost because, you know, these sources are dead, and it's like you have diaries, you have people, uh, you have governments holding back information for, I don't know, centuries, and then you have what's word of mouth and what probably might be a myth or a legend until it becomes true. That's why I want to know about the aliens. I still want to know about the aliens. I mean, same thing, but then when archaeologists like start digging for stuff around, you know, I feel like the, the slave things, you know, that that's a different kind of archaeologist. Everybody's like trying to look for stuff that's ancient and be like, let's, let's, let's go all the way back in time. And then we work our way up. Um, but I feel like, you know, I mean, there was new dinosaurs being found, like, what, as of last year? And cool and everything, but I'm just like, okay, I don't, it's like, I I do care about the new dinosaurs, but I'm just like, what, what else is going on in between? Once you realize that the dinosaurs that we grew up learning about didn't even exist, some, some exactly. people found some old bones and said, well... They probably look like this, so they piece something together and then taught it as fact. Mm-hmm. That should make you question everything. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm just like, that's so far behind, and our technology is so new. It's like, let's just focus on what we can find right now that people are just right. throwing away. I mean, an arrowhead, uh, you know, an old slave shackle, or even going to like a certain plantation. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's pretty easy to get, you know, get in the whole. The whole roots of it down, or even just human skeletons oh. overall, and how they were, yeah. uh, you know, buried. Because I'll actually, if you know, if you think about it, you know, when you study, like, you know, again, like mummies and stuff like that. Granted, it's 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 cool to think how they preserve bodies, but even so, even in the in the Middle Ages, how they preserve bodies is even more fa- fascinating. Oh, dude, yeah, that's that's true. And that, and I've seen, you know, you you they find mummified remains of like a monk, a Shaolin monk that looks exactly like he did when he died he looks right. like he's still alive and i'm just i'm tripping out on them like okay do we have the technology to figure that out on how they did this or what is going on or I mean, like the guy could still like, be awake or like graft the skin, or just graft the skin in a lot of ways to kind of give like a, an actual depiction of pigment of blood flow and what the guy would actually look like you know if he was living today and i mean i've even seen stuff like that and it still blows my mind I mean, if there was like a vial of blood or something that's still good, I'm pretty sure you could well, DNA well, test didn't that. Didn't they do and... something like that? Didn't they do something like that with the with the the cloth that Jesus had wrapped around him in the tomb or something? I think so I remember they, they did that, but it wasn't. It honestly, there was so many inconsistencies. It was they don't even oh, know. I'm sure there was. Yeah. If it oh. was Jesus, I, they're just saying that it's Jesus because it's around the same right. time period. And I'm like. Same time period can be like off by like, you know, 50, 80 years when yeah. they were right. doing that. And even yeah. at that, the Bible wasn't even accurate because, I mean, if everybody thinks that Jesus' birthday is on Christmas, y'all are on crack. Well, the thing, well, all right, I can explain that. So the idea of that being like, you know, the 25th, and again, most people actually theologians even think that it was in the summer. Yeah, like it was in like yeah. July or something like that. But no, uh, no, oh, it was on Christmas Day. God bless you. I'm telling you, 
Michael, it yeah. was not on Christmas Day. There's yeah, no way they can, was, there's no way that, that they can go all the way that get far the back. Bible. Get the Bible. The right Bible now. doesn't say December 25th. The Bible says he was born. What they're doing Bruh, is they're I matching up the stars. Here, you guys really arguing over this poor shit? I, what the fuck? I always want to talk about the aliens. Uh, Jesse, Jesse, you're oh, an alien expert. Right? Let me get the belt off of Mike Hill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Jesse. Yeah, I'm being a realist. So That's all of them do. Huh? I can't hear you. you discuss, yeah, I'm sorry, Jesse. Yeah, you discussed close encounters with Joe a number of times. Like, you know, give us your theory on that. On what? On 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 alien activity, e, uh, ET activity. I don't know why you went to aliens all of a sudden. We don't have any information on that, but all right. No, I mean, dude, we still have documentation that the government is still sitting on. Hey, happy birthday, by the way, Michael. What? I said happy <laughs> fucking birthday, bitch. Oh god. <sighs> We are every other life form there is. Even if there's another dimension with other life forms on it, that's just us. So relax. It's not a big deal. Yo, like they, found the, they found a new Earth um, that you can inhabit. And it probably gets like, you have to get there in like 40 years or something. Dude, the mindset, people can't even fucking get along let alone like dude uh people want to know about this and that the other but they don't have the mindset to even begin to understand it so if there's no point it's like it's not going to be something that we're you know in the, the next 200 years of fucking people aren't going to fucking see it i mean maybe start to but it's like until the whole fucking world starts to have a, a like a way more aware mass consciousness and not such a closed-minded clusterfuck then we might get somewhere with it, but otherwise, it really doesn't matter what comes out, what's been held back, what's this, what's that. It doesn't really fucking matter. Hey Jesse, you, you bring up consciousness. Uh -huh. you, you bring us conscious. You bring up consciousness. How much of consciousness mm -hmm. do you think relates to quantum theory? How much relates to what? How much do you think that consciousness relates to quantum theory or quantum physics in general? Is there a relation between the two? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, that's all that "quote unquote" life is—is is consciousness. Like people like to think that, oh, there had to be something before there was nothing, or there had to be something to make something out of nothing. Blah 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 blah. And I'm like, not really. It's just consciousness. Period. Hmm. I mean, to me, everything's consciousness. Like, I mean, people don't think about that, but it's like the fucking <sighs> everything. The fucking clouds, everything around you, everything you can and can't see, it's all fucking there. I don't know. It's like, that's, that doesn't even really, I don't know. I, I actually don't even know exactly what the fuck I'm answering, but uh, consciousness is everything, I guess, to answer that. Right. It, no, it just because, literally is everything. I, because I've always studied qu uh, quantum mechanics to a degree, and mm -hmm. even, even with comprehension and with logic, mm -hmm. it still bends the mind. I mean, again, I'm a, I mean, people make oh, fun yeah. of me about this. But I love well, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. As, as, as a movie because uh, they discover the quantum realm in a different degree. But again, no, even what we comprehend at the outskirts of quantum physics, it goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And you can't even explain how much of that is even comprehensible to even bring back into actual physics in the real world type of a thing. So the measurement of that by consciousness can be so mind blowing that you kind of end up like the the villain in uh, the last uh, Indiana Jones movie where literally her mind just blows the, the hell up. <laughs> well, no, it is kind of like that, dude. Like that's um. You talking about three or four? Sort of like that's what I want to know. I mean, four. four. What? Four okay, four. four. Okay, that's what I thought. Jesus Christ! Crystal Skull. All right. Oh, that one? Shit, I saw that in theaters, man. Shit. That was, yeah, yeah, was, that one was all right. It was all right. I don't hate shit. on that one. People give a shit. I'm just a fan of interdimensional beings. That's all it is. So I, yeah, but people don't like that. I mean, I'm just like, come here's on. My, 
here's my theory on life out, outside of our planet. Like, for example, we know that Mars has ice, right? We know that at one point, at some point, it had water. It is so probably still water, has water on the inside somewhere. Well, that's what I'm saying. Water. It's organism. only going to show what we're able to see, what we're able to comprehend. There could be a lot more there that we can't even begin to imagine. It's just going to show us what we're willing to see. I right. Mean, people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's even if they say there's this, there's that, we got a robot over there, blah, 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 blah. If you don't, if we only have, if we have a limited fucking understanding of or willingness or openness, we're not going to yeah. see the whole shebang. We're going to see what we think, or you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. there, just be, there could be a lot more there. Bro, well, that's no, what I'm saying. Like, there's like, like seven crazy. robots over there. And what are they mm-hmm. giving us back? Nothing. Rock. Yeah, nothing. So I'm just like, okay, obviously the surface is dead. Start digging. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, like we Drilling. we noticed we noticed that on Mars itself, obviously there once was water, and again there once was water organisms, which most likely are still there because of the mm-hmm. ice. But the idea to say that life doesn't exist mm-hmm. outside our planet is automatically false, because again, there is what we call elements. Well, like I said, if, there's the golden locks. Uh-huh. The Goldilocks living thing, and they found they found another. They found like three Earths that can fucking hold life, but one of them is so close that you can get there probably in like two generations. But now that Elon Musk is inventing warp speed to go to Mars, we might get there faster. And yeah, he's definitely calling it warp speed. That motherfucker saw Star yeah, Trek two times, and he was done. But, was but, like, Let's do but this. this is the other problem. This is the other problem I, I, I no. face looking at in the future where, okay, we will have space travel, but then that also means that we're also going to litter, like we already have for the past number of decades, space garbage, oh, and then junk make it out there. So yeah. much junk out there, dude. Like, it is floating around. Like, there is so much shit out there already. Like, it's horrible. It, it, and space no, is it's so sad bad. When you, when you really look at it yeah when you see all the shit we just left out there orbiting true but space is so vast that like it's like it's all good like they don't really i mean well yeah and i mean i don't really worry about too much because i look at it like it's just like uh this planet like it's gonna be fine even if we're we're here or not (laughs) it's gonna be stupid if they they find like a planet like there was obviously life here look at all this fucking technology and it's like Bitch, this is our technology from like seventy five yeah. years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, but I'm, but I'm saying though, I'm saying though, it's just like again, we're gonna have all this space garbage, and then there's gonna be like this whole like tree hugging <laughs> kumbaya of people saying like, get the hell up out of space and leave everybody alone. We want the aliens, well, but leave us alone. I mean, space garbage. We're not would gonna get... be allowed to even it's see that. Like to all see... the garbage to the sun. I just sent what? you a DM, Joe. Fucking Joe's, priceless. Just taking a. Joe's, Joe's uh, doing something real quick. What is he saying? Okay. Well, I mean, dude, until we fucking open our eyes to the shit on this planet, people shouldn't even bother thinking about other planets because it's not exactly. like you're gonna be able to fucking comprehend it, see it, or anything. Until we don't, we can't even figure this fucking planet out. Mm-hmm. That's what I look at it. It's like there's yeah, yeah, so much answers like... to, to things, and it's like that's not how it works. Like, yeah. The fact that people separate themselves, it's like when people separate themselves from God, they don't realize that this entire thing is God. Same thing with aliens. It's like the we it, the entire thing is us. It's all yes. us. Plus, like, um, plus, like, there's meteorites going on at all times, and they and there's meteorite dust. So, so those those things are destroying all the shit that it's there. It's like a little filter around us. So if it's floating past Earth, yeah, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna definitely hit this shit, and then then bearing something, bearing something. But I've always, but I've always thought about this, and, and and this is something that people don't take into consideration is that. When we find, or if we are ever, be, you know, again, talk about, you know, comprehending, like, you know, we can't even comprehend life. I mean, dude, when, we, and this is what's sick, Jesse, but whenever we, uh, hum, human beings, and I'm talking like multitudes of human beings by like, you know, the millions, and they suffer like some type of tragedy that affects us all to like some type of like almost death or near death experience, that's when apparently everybody comes together because they know that being helpful in our natural state and joy and happiness is really our natural state, but it's only when tragedy Mm -hmm. happens, which is sick. 
it's horrible. I mean, when nine eleven, well, it's it. We yeah, yeah. yeah you need a um something to grant. Like I mean, yeah, the, you gotta you need something to ground you and to make you remember like the priority. What's the priority? Oh yeah, being a good human being, like helping each other, being there for each other, not trying to hurt each other. It, it's sometimes you we need something that is just like you said. Why does it? Why do we all wait till there's some kind of trauma or something tragic happens? Well, because that's how that's just how it is here. And like I said, our comprehension's all fucked up. It's not just I mean our perceptions are all fucked up, and we get in our own little worlds and we forget like like people always want to say, all right, like there's got to be more out there. There's got to be more. Uh, there's always there's a higher power. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Guess what? You're it. <laughs> like start being a fucking human being again start thinking about other people once in a while start doing this and that we and then you Mr. get Rogers. it all it all opens up you know right and i also i'd also pontificate that the idea is yep. that once it becomes like you know a consciousness effort to you know constantly do it on a consistent uh -huh. basis it just takes one Thank element you. or one person just to screw it all mm -hmm. up and all of a sudden we get back to right where we started well, and we never uh -huh. you know uh, it takes us all. I don't think there's any one person that can do that. Like you, like you just said, we get to a better place, uh, more of a consistency and, and more of us. It's going right. to take, it didn't, it, this shit didn't break overnight. Like where we are what now, we got, we've got ourselves here. We fucked it up ourselves. There's no yeah. one to blame. It's probably why and a time then, machine, it's so probably why a time machine exists. And, uh, what the fuck, Michael? Uh -huh. no. That's why a lot of time ex uh, machine exists and uh, only a few people can access it. And every time they do, it seems like we always get fucked over, see, over and yeah, over. See, people misconstrue what a time machine is. Think about this. Like if you've got something like we all carry ancestral trauma, right? Whether you know your parents or not, whether they knew their parents, you're still going to have a lot of the patterns that they had. And guess, and then when you start to, let, um, when you've, go beyond that and you're not just a slave to those patterns and you actually break the cycles that's a time machine right there you just went back in time and fucking not just are you helping your life and lives to come in some way you're go you are clearing some of the debris and some of the patterns from people that have already died from from way back like you know what i mean okay, from the past I can see to the that. future yeah. to the present so you're kind of that to me there, there's many types of time machines we are already experiencing we just all kind of you know what i mean we look at it like tv like oh it's got to be this or that it's like no we're doing it all the time yeah people being a slave to like people having mental whatever all kinds of issues and when you can trace it to their family members or to their an ancestral shit right there that's <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's there, so many there's times a blues going it's like going back in time. That. It's like a, it's a flashback, and there's then a blues going back to the present. Yeah. yeah, you're just, you know, it, I, well, it's, it's not even like that. I don't even mean like a flashing, but like whatever shit you're carrying right now, you're carrying from God knows how far back, and it's like that alone is yeah, playing right. with time. It's playing with you know timelines and dimensions, and so like mm -hmm. I don't know. I look at it like if you want to go back in time, forward in time, you can. But you got to look at it differently. It's like you're not going to warp over there or whatever. You're going to fucking – it's more of a – right now, it, it, the only way to do that is, an, is a mental game. It's a mental thing. It's a spiritual like – you have to go into energy, not so much – you know, it's not like we're just going to – we're going to get in a time machine and, and go wherever the fuck we want as we are right now. Like, it just uh, you know what I mean? If anything, we might get to a point where we can go visit places in a way in our minds. Like, or, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like uh, – what is it called when they um, – what are those fucking mediums called that uh, they draw shit or whatever, or what, and they Psychics. see shit from like oh, no. World War Two and so what the fuck are they, is a specific type like that that kind of shit? They're I viewers. forget what they're called. It's a, you're right it's though. A, they're mediums. No, no, yeah, but it's, no, it's, it's not, there's a lot it's, of mediums. No, it's a specific it's, type. It's not a medium. They're a viewer. They can like you can tell them like. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was a yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I so wasn't. And the question of viewer was, yeah. um, uh, IR, uh, remote was, viewing. There it is. Remote yeah, that viewing. Was a, that was a CIA yeah. tactic in the 50s yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And they, but it they, is they, also well, yeah, some people. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Oh, they actually I see it as a type of mediumship in a way because it people do that and they find out things for. 
I don't know, individuals, families, but I think they're trying, what, well, I think they use that also to try and figure shit out for us. I figured that's crazy Not that they because, use that enough. Because people were using that tactic in full mm -hmm. war against, you know, you know, Europe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, You're right. And, you know, it was backed by the government and everything, and then people actually learned how to do it, and then they just said that uh, they're all fake. I'm like, these people are in the program. Uh, all right, cool. And yeah. there's videos of these people that can do shit like that. And it's not it's not as accurate yeah. as you think, but I mean, if you if you get the drawing down and everything, how they do it's it. It's one of those things where it picks you too. Like if it, if you're trying to do it, that's one thing. I guess it could it could still be possible, but like the people that it chooses to do that, it's like there's no choice. You know what I'm saying? It's like that they just do it. That's why I call it like a medium kind of deal because though you everyone yeah. can um, enhance their energy and enhance their abilities psychic abilities whatever what have you but sometimes you're just born with this shit and it's like well, yeah you're right they times... used it for war and shit they used it for negative uh connotations unfortunately a lot of it how many times have you thought of somebody that that you haven't talked to or seen in months and yeah. you just all of a sudden run into that person or you're thinking about calling somebody and then they call you I, you see, with I, the three you know, minutes, yeah. you know, you know whatever. It's, it's, it's the beginning stage of the thing basically. That, yeah. The thing that it's, you know, people started narrowing it down to being, oh, That's it's a it. coincidence. But people was like, fuck that. It's <laughs> serendipity. That's a lovely derogative dismissive yeah. uh, term. All a coincidence. <laughs> it's, it's just it's something you can't better. explain that. It's something you can't it's explain that. It's not within your brain capacity at the point in time to understand i mean so, there's, yeah. there's no there's there's no coincidences no. there's only opportunities no. that's nope. all it is no and it's you People you just say things are coincidences they they basically are afraid they're 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 right. closing off all the possibilities because they don't Absolutely. want to it's too much the unknown is too scary you know yeah i mean you ever you ever you ever also fun. A, a scary ass house and seeing some haunted shit i mean you just fucking oh, yeah. you just live your life around it yeah yeah you hide your pepper well i mean that's like how they say you know young children or old people are more sensitive to seeing or feeling things well it's They're close, when yeah. you're that close to it it you know it, it kind of lingers yeah, yeah. And sticks with you. yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. it's like when we grow up, like we all fucking lose that inner child in us. And anytime you enjoy right. something as an adult or really get back to yourself, that's that fucking child in you again where you fucking. Yeah, so like we lose it, unfortunately. And then I guess as we lose ourselves, we get closer back to the source as we get, you know, are on our way well, out. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. we, we all miss the, the ride. You could also equate, life, you know. Like. <laughs> Have you ever been around somebody that gave you like a creepy vibe or something felt off with them? That's almost the same thing in a way. I mean, that's you being in touch with your inner, you know, consciousness or whatever. Your intuition, you can call it. Yeah. 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 And it, the hardest part is trusting it. We all have it. Right. But when we, the, more, the less we trust it, we fucking don't right. practice it. You know, you should practice it the less it happens. You know? Text, you're right, dude. I did not creep with vibes or anything, but I'm saying there's been times where I want to hang <laughs> uh, hang out with some homies, and right. um, yeah. like I never I never hit them up or nothing. I'm just like, oh, I, I'll hit them up later, and then like right. a week and a half later, they they will fucking, you know, right. kick the bucket, and I'm just like, what the oh, fuck? Shit. You know what I'm saying? That right. that's oh. some that's some intuition right there that I start need to acting on, and yeah. after like the, the fourth one that happened, I'm just like celebrities. Dick, <laughs> Bruh. Uh, no, it's funny. It's funny you know, this, we're, we're talking about this because you know I yeah. remember uh, Jesse. You actually brought up a good point where, like, you know, when you're a child or when you're uh, like an, an older adult, like, you know, that's when you kind of have like the most fun, and you can still have like that childlike spirit about you. Because unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, you have those people that become like middle aged and they're like, "You can't tell me nothing. I know everything. Mm -hmm. I'm in the middle." And I'm like, uh, "No, you don't." <laughs> You know, because well, we all get that way, nothing. you know, it sucks. We get jaded and we get hurt and we f we're scared to think that something else could happen. So we block everything off. Yep. We, you know, it's like, well, we get like, our own you know, way. That is, yes, thank you. Fucking well said. Exactly. 
We get in our own way. That's, and, that's and, the and, hardest and, part is getting out of the way. I think it's because we're fearing of what we're we're, we're afraid to lose. Like in yeah, terms of, no, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I think it's because yeah. there's this fear there's this fear of lack of like oh if I if I do this then I'm not being mature I'm not being an adult no dude it, being an adult is not just about maturity it's about wisdom if you can't gain wisdom and yet still have a childlike state then you're not only yeah. being enslaved to life but you're being enslaved to all your fears and all your problems. Yeah, it's funny. A lot of people are adults, but they're not mature by any means. It's silly. I don't even, it's like, I've helped way too many people with this shit that were into their like mid sixties. And then I fucking get to kind of witness them for the first time in their life. Like just changing it all. And like having this freedom that they didn't have their whole life. And it's like, wow, it literally takes a whole lifetime for some people. And I'm like, what's, what's that old saying? That's sad. What's that old- it's that old saying where it's it's um it's it's hard it's easy to fix a child than fix a broken man or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's an it's old saying. Like, you know, how, it's kind of like how they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks because they exactly. think they know everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar thing. Yeah, you can. Oh. Well, it it's literally can, just though. an openness. It's you know you have to like people are afraid of the unknown. Because they think they, they, you know, oh, I've been hurt before, or oh, this has happened, and it's like, well, yeah. So you know damn well that you can just continue to hurt, and yeah, you might hurt more if you go off into the unknown. But guess what? The unknown also is what might give you those things you've always wanted to experience that you never got to. All the great things, the good things. In other words, you can't you're, have one you're, without you're, the others, yeah. you know. In, in other words, you're oppressing I, to your feelings, and you're oppressing to like the negative energy more so than actually conquering that energy. Yeah, it's like coincidence versus synchronicity. People that see things as coincidence and only see them as that to the point where they're almost like they're protecting it. It's like that, you know, you can either, if you think like that, then you're just going to stay stuck and, and you're going to, you're always going to be, that's the thing. Keep this in mind. You're always right, no matter what, whether you go a negative route or a positive route, you're Henry right. Henry Ford you're said always that. always going to be right. Henry Ford said that, yeah. So well, if you want to be right about like be cool. having a good life and enjoying yourself, you might as well take the chance. You still might get fucked, but you might as well, well take the chance because it could be good. One of my favorite phrases in life is if you've got a chance, take it. Because mm. you Damn might not right. get another one. Even yeah. if it doesn't work, you That's still right. learn something from right. it. You know, right. if you've had if you've had your heart broken by who you thought was the love of your life, I'll never love again or whatever, right? Right, or right, you're right. shutting yourself off to so much. Bingo. And I mean, I've made that that song. Move on, we man. all have. I was you like, yeah. I mean? there's a, like that time you I took the gotta... chance with that very beautiful hooker, but I got AIDS, and <laughs> that's because you got you drank the crayon. That's hey, why. Hey, you but I bet, I bet she gave you one great night. I bet, I bet for the hour you had her, it was incredible. So you know, he drank her cunt. Where, where did you, where did you where did you bust this monkey out of? <laughs> Oh my God! What did you just call Rizdava? What the fuck? No. <laughs> the hell is going on? Life, oh, brother. Shit. Life. Oh shit! I, I forget that Rizdava is black because he talks so white. He's whiter than oh. Xavier Woods. Oh yes. hell yeah! Oh, yes. Yes. No, bro. No. Like Wayne I- Brady. <laughs> By the way, just to let you know, sophisticated. Just I, sp- oh, I almost. Just, 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 to let you, just to let you know, dude. There's actually been intelligent and very uh, casual and articulate black people, and we don't just talk like, "Yo, how you doing? What's good? How you doing? How's your mama?" No, no, yeah. that, that, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I ain't. Oh my god, I, I I'm not no, gonna lie. I, I, I don't believe you. That, that, I don't believe you're stopping. It, just say it. I know a lot of people that do bonics, uh, and it's rare that I find somebody that doesn't do that. No, bro. I can do ebonics, but it's like I'm not gonna do that for the Let sake of conversation. Let me hear you do ebonics, please. No. It's <laughs> no. gonna sound like Carlton. Oh <laughs> hell no, dude! I am blacker than Carlton. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. If we start playing Tom Jones no, music, we're gonna be dance uncontrolled. You, you're right. unusual <laughs> to be loved by anyone. You're a turtleneck hey, away. He was in Mars Attacks, right? You're a gold. You're a gold wristwatch and a turtleneck away from being Carlton, bro. You're not that far. All right. Really. I'll tell you something. <laughs> I hate sweaters, bro. I know. I'm just kidding. 
Yeah, it's, no, dude, actually, no, it's, it's, it's funny. Yeah, do you know what? It kind, have... Do you understand what kind of a curse it is to be a mixed race? Because you have, you have to like be blacker than and then be whiter. It's just like it's a. I'm sure it's a I tough thing. Oh, you... nowadays, right? Dude, I oh. No, no, it's you just, no, like, no. Listen, I, I don't have a problem with it. Thing. I don't care what anybody is, and we don't really shouldn't even harp on it at all. But I mean, I'm sure there are some people that do about like. You know, like, what's your deal? Like, are the you know what I mean? Like, it's a weird. I'm sure you get no, shit. I know what you mean. You get shit you from every side, almost like in a way. Yeah, and yeah. It's you get like shit you from every side. My kid, don't eat the cat. It, it's almost like you have to prove yourself what? a lot of the time. Yeah, like you got to prove, like, I'm no, I'm black. Exactly. Don't eat the cat. I know what you're going through, Mustafa, because look, I'm Mexican, but I was born in America, so I right. have to be both. And they're yeah. like, you don't know Spanish. I'm like, well, I don't live. Where Spanish is like common, right? Talk. It's like yeah. it's like he's yeah. Mexican, but he's retarded. So it's like it's you know it's, it, yeah, both geez. things are really hard to fight. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine no, having like, to deal example, with like, both those. So check this out. I'm part Dominican. So I have to, but I have I have to never try harder. Like, like I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'm, I was part. I'm part Dominican on my dad's side, but I never was taught the language because my dad's thought was. If I go to school speaking Spanish, like I might get beat up, like back in his day, because he grew up in the fifties and sixties. I mean, sure. dude, it's the same thing. It's just you know, you call dirt three different things in Dominican, and Cuban, and Puerto Rican, and Costa Rica. Like, I'm, you, I don't know. You know See, Mexican, that makes it Mexico. interesting for me. I fucking I don't get it. Like, I it's probably always been a fucked up thing because back way back in the day, we had all the different racism, even within races, like. Like the Asian community, I remember seeing it with them, and it's the fucking weirdest thing because there's so many different types of Asians, right? But they all will look at each other as like they're less than than this one, or they'll look yeah. at themselves as being or less a lighter than a certain one, or they, yeah, yeah, any of that stuff, right? It's just like, what the fuck? Like, who cares? I, like, I would rather you be all million different things than just one or two anyway. But well, it just so happens that who, who you, you know, it's who you are. Right. I enjoy right. that. Right. Even at our most basic instincts, we still practice tribalism. Right. And it's never going to go away. Yeah. It's just, it, no, I agree. But not, when I think of tribalism, so I many think of y'all. Things, I, I'm, y'all are so tribe. many things get called like, racism you know? that are actually what ha mm -hmm. what would have been called tribalism for a thousand or more years. We just we Good interpret point. it differently. And, and that tribalism isn't just about race or creed either. It, it can no, no, it's categories. not a color. No, it's or like anything. it's it's, it's like a, we're being tribal. We're like-minded thinkers. Like-minded thinkers oh, can yeah. become tribalists. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, I legit hell, use just that last term night, all the time about you guys for sure. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. last night on the show when we were calling out Graham, mm -hmm. you know how how we were going to go up to New Jersey and and, and assault Graham as the JCS on. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Leave me out of this. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, you're coming, Joe. I didn't say it. Is. I don't know what he's talking do about. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't remember it being that. I don't think we I definitely did not anything. say that I was going to beat him up and feed his pig face girlfriend in front of him while he was unconscious. I definitely <laughs> didn't say that. Yeah. That's not yeah. me. Yeah. We had a boss and go, and we're think, marching you know, to Jackson. You know what? Right. I think Dan wants to fuck him up, but you know, yeah. he's, you know, he can get off because it's like he just be like, I'm autistic. He'd be yeah. out tomorrow. We're, so we're coming. Out, do it, Dan. We're, we're coming. Fucked. We're coming to Mount Laurel, Laurel New Jersey. Go with me as my manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wants to walk you to the ring. I'm sorry, he wants Dave. To robe off. If you're listening, Dave, I'm sorry, bro. Sorry. I mean, Gr <laughs> Dave Grim Grim. Grim's, oh, Grim's that's his real name? I just, I just I, oh, I just doxed Grim. Oh, see, I yeah, I, Grim. Roast, yeah, I didn't know that. No, yeah, no, this is a different one. There's a lot of days, but oh. no, this is Grim's first uh, name. Dude, I don't even know the Grim dude except for because of you, but I still don't know who the fuck that is. I only met him one time at the uh, AEW show in Jersey uh, last year, and I, I kind of bombed him on Joe's show. He's like, what the hell? Get him off. <laughs> 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 what is this? Uh, fuck it. Um... Yo. So should is AEW gonna hire Shane or what's going on here? That would be weird what? because oh, because think of it think of it this way, if if he <laughs> were to go to AEW, which I highly doubt it, he's gonna be the first uh, McMahon outside of that company to go to a rival promotion. Think he, of it that yeah, way. Yeah, but if they, yeah. they could have a business, they could have a plan though. Like if fucking Vince's whole plan is to fucking like merge and then someday own it. 
all of it, even if it means working together. Like, I don't know. If it was his plan, though, I would be mm. like, oh, shit. What, what are they going to do with this? It's really weird. Cause, it's a weird uh, well, thing, by the time, dude. Otherwise, well, you're right. Like, by then. It's, this will be dead by then. Sorry? You know what I mean? No, no, I was just going to say, this will be dead by then because ultimately stockholders or whomever is going to be in charge is going to be running that company. I don't see Hunter or even Stephanie at this point being the heir apparent because I think like Sheen sold all of his stock, Triple H practically, you know, sold most of his stock, I guess. And Stephanie is like the only. Where uh, where does that info come from? Like who actually besides them themselves, who the fuck knows that dollar for dollar? I mean, really? I mean, I mean, think about it. Think of it this way: like, if you look at the track record of, you know, Shane leaving the company and then coming back, but then again, he doesn't really have that much of a stake based upon his. You want a uh, steak? I need a steak. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm, well, I didn't mean to interrupt. Anyways, I was really, oh, I'm yeah, really I'm hungry. I doubt it was Shane. Go ahead, I'm yeah, sorry. it won't be Shane, it won't be Stephanie, well, it won't be Hunter. I will say this. If Shane does go to AEW, it's not going to help all those conspiracy theories out there that, that say that this is all an inside job. They're working right. together from the beginning. It's not going to help that once in a while. Well, so. I will say he will be good behind the scenes in terms of uh, the dot-com industry because he excelled at that practically for years in WWE. And he created a lot of businesses and most likely earned a lot of money off that. So, I mean, he's not hurting for money, so he's good. Mm. Uh, and if he wanted to go... He's his gold man. He's ready to do some shit. Like, you can tell. I, I bet. mean, he's always been kind of crazy like that. So. I bet. If he, if he were to, I mean, it'd be interesting. But at the same time, though, he's not really... I don't think he's going to do that much on camera. Why it. should he? Yeah, he doesn't even do it for WWE and, like, it's like, why would he go there? And other, if it was to be behind the scenes, possibly because he just That's thinks it's saying. cool and wants to do it, I could see That's that. But it'd have to oh. be a Shane decision. Like he's not doing it for any like big McMahon scheme, fucking WWE reason. Like they're gonna want to say. D. You Welsh know what actually Shane could be doing. Shane could be doing it to get back at his father. But it, but again, no, that's kind of petty though. I think. But he just went out really think horrible. he cares that much. I, I don't yeah. think he would. Yeah, I think it's too petty to think that you way. Don't think again, no, if, you, you don't think he's mo- massively butthurt after all the years of Vince, you know, screwing him over, like picking Triple H and Stephanie over him, and now he's asked to book... If I was that rich, I wouldn't give a crap. I'd go buy an island somewhere and wouldn't give a shit the rest of my life. I'm a sh- I'd but, I mean, go but, dude, now they give him a chance, and he books the Rumble, and he gets all shit on for it, and then they basically let well, him no. go. But, Joe, he's been booking the Rumble for a few years, so I don't Shane? think it's a matter of being butthurt. I think it's just a matter of the fact that, you know, he just upset the locker room, set the, set the boys, mm. uh, practically what ruffled feathers fuck? behind the scenes. Uh, well, but so here's the thing. If some of those boys in the locker room were bigger stars, would do they that. could have been at the end of the Rumble, and they wouldn't have had to put Bad Bunny and Shane McMahon in there to pop a crowd. I mean, right. Let's be real. Here. That's a good point, actually. I'm not, I don't well, I mean, that's, like, what that's what I'm that's saying. Shane, but Shane was getting made into stars. That's. Yes, yeah, I agree. It's, it's a lot of people doing a lot of things bad. First of all, the company's not making any new stars. They're not making any stars out of the right. people that are there. And Shane got the biggest pop of the night, pretty much. And it's like, so right. what the hell does that say? That's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. but Actually, you know, it's funny. Jim yeah, Walsh actually brings up right. a great point. Uh, Keith Lee and Jeff Hardy. Now, obviously, Keith Lee, mm-hmm. his contract is up, so he's a free agent. Um, or it's 90 days, uh, a non compete clause is up, and a number of other different people. So, and there's rumor so and in the window going like, around that he's going to AEW. So, is this him right and, here going with the Tony Khan tweet of who's coming Wednesday? Yeah, you think that's Keith Lee? Yeah, dear God, I hope it's not K- Killer Cross. He's my favorite indie wrestler. I don't want to see him in AEW. Oh, I, what would he do? I don't want to see them ruin him. What would Killer that's Cross do point. in AEW? He he would he's just like the Briscoes. He doesn't fit their mold. Like they they would just be a sore thumb in that company. It just it wouldn't work over there. Mm. I don't know where else he goes because Killer Cross. I mean, he's blatantly said multiple times he wouldn't go back to Impact because he burnt. Apparently, they burned those bridges for whatever reason. So, oh, Joe, but, what if, what if this were to go down? Know. If Keith Lee was the guy that would be showing up next week, is he babyface or is he heel? I think Yo. if Keith Lee shows up, he's a babyface for sure. Well, no, he'll be cheered yeah. like a babyface, but are they going to book him like a babyface or a heel? 
Yeah, they'll book him as a face, but it would be interesting if he went heel almost in the week, first or second week, and you were like, wait a minute, whoa. You know, but yeah, I think they would make him a face. Okay. Yeah, and, I mean, personally, I would keep him as a face, but like, you know, you just never know yeah. creatively. Yeah. But no, I think to, no, Tony Khan would love to virtue he signal. No. The what? How old is Keith Lee? I thought he was like almost 40 years old, even when he, he was in NXT. I, I think he's 34 or 35. Yeah, he's younger. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he's like a couple years I younger he than was me. Older than that. Okay. I think he's two years younger than me, so I think he's thirty-four or five. Yeah, he's thirty-seven. He's my age. He's okay, not, he's exactly my age. So yeah, he's he's approaching. You know, he's approaching. You know, what was Shawn Michaels at thirty-seven? Shawn Michaels was wrestling at what WrestleMania like eight, like twenty something, twenty-two or something. WrestleMania twenty-two. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. pretty crazy to think about that, you know. Sean Sean Michaels was pretty much in tip top form as he approached forty. Right, and Vince well, was sixty. I mean, look at AJ Styles; he's in his mid forties now, and he's still outperforming everybody. Just to- of course, because he's AJ Styles. Yeah. Right. Simple. And again, AJ came at a time when, again, originally Joe and I said this before. I didn't like the fact that how AJ originally debuted because I felt like, you know, at the time, everybody should go through NXT before they go to the main roster. But at the time, everybody was hurt. Everybody was injured. So they had to bring in AJ to be like almost like a boost for the company. And then within months, he became the champion and then had a great match with Cena. I think it was Royal Rumble and had a classic him, one. Yeah. Yeah. Him, yeah. And, uh, Chris, him and Chris Jericho had a good feud too. Absolutely. Yeah. first company. Absolutely. And again, um, you know, and I didn't know this until I saw the trailer for Elimination Chamber, but AJ's also been in that match. And just the idea of him working with um, Austin Theory and and, uh, Riddle, it would definitely be a good idea to feature what these guys can do based upon what AJ as an in-ring general is. AJ was in the first Elimination Chamber match when they reworked the Elimination Chamber. Yes. That's what the I think structure, about. Right. Yeah, I think about the blue, like glowing structure and how big it was, and AJ leaping all over it. I remember that because it was the first year of the new structure, and I think it was AJ's first year. And yeah, they they always utilize him, like as you know, or like you said, the other, you know, Jeff Hardy or Austin Theory. You know, it'll be. It just doesn't feel like they're gonna top anything. It, it'll be fun to watch, I suppose. But I mean, what are we gonna see different? You know what I mean? That's the thing. It's like someone right. goes through the doors. Someone. It's just like I, I don't know, or like the whole thing on fire. I mean, yeah, unless you Undertale will. practically did that. Therein uh-huh. lies the problem. There's no new ideas, so anything they do is going to be a formulaic idea of something in the past that's probably not going to be perceived as good as the old thing was, just because of nostalgia. Whether it is better. But you know, so, it's funny. It, it's it's funny you mentioned that text because the thing is, is that you know when MGF was facing. Um, uh, CM Punk just this past Wednesday. I mean, he was using old school methods from like Memphis wrestling and world class, right. like, you know. The, you know, and and I absolutely applaud that. But the funny thing is, the internet is so stupid because everybody's like, "Oh, well, you know, why do they have to beat CM Punk twice in his hometown, dude? That's called heat." Yeah, bro, it's heat. It's necessary Plus, heat. Plus, ne- I, did, I didn't even notice until I saw it on Twitter, but. MJF came out wearing the uh, Chicago White Sox gear. Mike Punk came out wearing the Yankee gear against John yeah. Cena. Somebody yeah. pointed that out, too. Yeah. So, once again, old school methods working again because, boy, it's formulaic and it works. It just yeah. sometimes again, better than it's not. You know? I love experimentation. I liked the idea of trying new things, but ultimately, though, it's got to make sense to the point it protects both guys and it moves the story forward. That's the whole point of trying to keep it as real as possible, even though it's a work. Right. Yeah, I like when they do that. It makes it feel better, realer, all those you know sort of things. Um, Bro. I think, um, by the way, yeah, sorry, I was gone for 20 minutes. I went, Dude, you know what I did? I went upstairs, and then Leah said something to me about, like, you know, Maybe I'll drink something tonight or whatever and make a drink. And I said, all right, I'll make Ooh. you a drink. So I make her a drink, and I, I get uh, a making a sex on the beach drink. And after I pour the orange juice in, I go, all right, there's the cranberry. And then I realize that there's no cranberry anywhere. And they're out of orange juice, too. So I'm like, all right, so that's the la- only one and only drink of this you're going to have. 
But I'm like, yeah, I'll get the cranberry juice, and that will, that, you know, that'll be fine for the rest of the. And I look around the house. I'm like, oh, there's no cranberry juice. Did I find some cranberry juice in the basement in the pantry area, storage, emergency area? And I go, oh, here we go. And I pull it out and I look at the date on it, and it's like, you know, <laughs> best best before February 2021. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I you guess found the old version. Give of it the smell test. Give it to, yeah, give well, it to smell test. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't even give it to her. But yeah, I mean, it probably was probably be fine. But I. Well, if you put it in the alcohol, it would probably kill anything bad that was in it. So I'm not taking uh, the chance. You know, having Lee upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to <laughs> me? He throws up on you when you sleep. Yeah, exactly. Or when she's whatever naked. Um. Yeah. It's just right. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> But I said, I said to her, I said, hey, there's a bottle of wine in there. But she was like, yeah, it makes me sleepy, I, I think. It's been making me sleepy lately. I'm like, all right, we'll try this. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But anyway, that's where I was for 20 minutes was searching around for fucking cranberry juice. And then kids, I put the kid to bed before that. So anyway, here I am. Yeah. We're back. Yeah, did you use um, Shell's um, bottle of wine opener? Um, she would use Shell's bottle of wine opener if she does end up going into the wine that she will. She has used it. She loves it. Yeah, Shell, mm. Shell sent Leah just like Alcoholics Anonymous package. It was amazing. Was what, it electronic what did she br- or what? What? Was it electronic? No, I don't believe so, but it's definitely better than the one we had that was like that old wrenchy thing and it was all shitty. Like this thing is oh, so no, nice. The one we had was a fucking screwdriver before he lost that one. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember we could, we lost well, that the was, thing. What type, of wine, what type of wine is Leah into, uh, sweet or dry? Um, Merlot, I don't know. <laughs> if it's Merlot, she drinks it. Okay. Make me a drink. All right, so she likes wine. good red wine. Yeah, anything. Like, uh, red, red, yeah, um, Merlot's good. Fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, Pinot Noir is really good. Yeah, I love that one. Get there's crammed. The ones from Australia water. that I fucking, like, uh, there's a Syrah from fucking Australia. And that shit is like six bucks. That is one of the best wines I've ever tasted. I got one it's actually. Called, uh, yeah. Martin's for... pickup truck or some shit. It's fucking hilarious that it's named. Mm, I was like, fine. whatever. Mm. I got it's one. Fu- uh, it's <laughs> Poppy. Poppy. Who? Oh, Poppy. Yeah, I've heard of that. Oh, it's so good. So good. Yeah, well, I, I think had uh, a nine dollar jug wine. Jesus, what is wrong with your mic, Garguts? I'm gonna punch you in the face. So is, it, is it is it too loud or what? No, you know, you sound good, but it, yeah, it's like you doing it's that thing where it's it like pop. It's very bass. Yeah, right. like when you're speaking into oh, it, it's yeah. like blowing. It's like exploding. Like like you're too loud. But then a minute ago, yeah, you sounded yeah, really yeah, smooth. Yeah, Classic Garguts. Exploit guys. That should be better. Yeah, you sound good now. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Ooh. The most, I'll, I'll, it's like a running joke. The most inconsistent audio fucking person ever. Seriously, no, it's because uh, la- um, last night me and Jesse were. I was like, "Does I sound better now? Does I sound yeah. better now?" And I fucking put the bass all the way up. I forgot. I just moved it. That's exactly I what it, it was that's all about. That bass. Yeah. yeah, like uh, like if I was putting a speaker on my ball sack, I would definitely be coming. <laughs> but like, that's not what we're doing. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it was rumble. Let me just let me just hum on that. <laughs> Dude, did you ever? I remember when I saw Howard Stern yeah. Private Parts and that girl did that, and then I was like, "Wait, that's a good idea." And I sat on the speaker, so it pumped my ass hole while I jerked off. It was crazy. It worked. It really worked. But I'll tell you what, listening to the 7 p.m. WBZ local radio news for the rest of that year was very oh. weird. Every time I heard it, I thought about what, coming. What did, was... what did y'all have up there? It was like <laughs> W-H-U-D or something? Yeah. How do you know that? That's weird. HUD. I've, se- I've seen uh, I've seen uh, videos of the, the, the two jockeys back in the 90s hmm. recently. Yeah, we well, we had uh, WHDH is probably what you, maybe HDH. W, that was that that's actually in New Hampshire, and then there's the winds in New Hampshire. I don't even know if that's still around. Like, I think this was like Boston area. Yeah, we have a like, lot of. If you ever, if you ever woke up to like um, disc jockeys in the morning, mm-hmm. they just talk as shit and WBZ like, is yeah yeah WBZ yeah. Uh, WBCN WBZ. W- 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 I, 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 so what what it is I, I subscribe to a lot of people that do like VHS um archives. Oh I love those. And yeah. one of them came up as it was a lot of Boston coming up like a few months ago or a few weeks ago and I was like, What the fuck is this? I, I had to watch it. It was W H U D and it was like the disc jockeys, their commercials that they would have. And I was like, this 
weird, but you know, it's like legitimately like done like in a little studio with like a background. You're going to the car store this month. Well, yeah, that's crazy stuff, man. Um, uh, voiceover guys, the guy that I did had to do my voiceovers. It's like I remember I was listening to his samples, and I was laughing at all his like you know voiceover fucking work, you know. And it was just funny. He had some hilarious voiceover work. Yeah, he's a good guy I mean, though. I like him. I'm friends. I haven't talked to him in almost a year. I should fucking reach out to him again. What was his name? Shit. Tell me what his name is. You would know. No, I'm just kidding. No, you wouldn't. No, I'm just fucking saying <laughs> right. that. I would have to look back in these archives. Actually, I didn't even save the video. I should have saved the video. Now that I'm talking Go about back it. to yesteryear. Mm. Yeah, it was like it was legitimately like three, four weeks ago I saw this. I was like, what? Why are they showing all this Boston stuff? And it was like um like commercials and like stuff from like the nineties, like um bumpers and um newscast. That's what I thought it was interesting because I mean a lot of that stuff is legitimately all that stuff is gone, dude. Like you won't see that shit on the internet, but unless you see like this fucking weirdo that finds like a goddamn VHS, he's like Let me they get shot you. up live on the air. Uh, I mean that's already end happened. up like Tyrese. Yeah, just get fucking shot up. What are this? Oh guy? my Shayla! Oh my Shayla! Like oh here's one of his reads. Listen to this. The biggest event in MMA history is finally here. UFC 200 goes down Saturday. Heavyweight superstar Brock Lesnar returns against Mark Hunt. Behold, the hockey playoff. He said Mark Hunt. That magnificently manly mane of wild woolly whiskers. UFC oh. Fight Night, live Saturday, April 22nd, only on Fox Sports 1. Power like this is rare. Get it while you can. Coming fall 2012. It's easy to stay connected to the Chicago Express Hockey Team. Follow us on Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook, or at ChicagoExpressHockey.com. It's the guy who does my read. What? Good guy. He's, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah, that, that was... That dude's, that dude's got a voice. He's got a voice for the business. This summer, he's Brock Lesnar. He's got that Boston voice. He's from Chicago. Oh. Shot down. Everybody so sounds the same to the black man, Rustafa. <laughs> what? What did you say? 100.7. What was it? Wow, now your mic just died. What the fuck? Anybody hear that? You're the sound guy. I never understand this. Like, I never, I wouldn't hire you for a fucking. You know what? Me and I forgot. You know what? I got another excuse. <laughs> you know what, bro? I'd hire you if I had to get seven of my friends from Venezuela so across Joe the border. I'm starting to get it now. I'll hire Gorgas for open. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm going through an analytics course right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm just not retarded like you. He needs, man. No, I love it. No problem. We'll get one mixer for forty dollars, and it never happens again. He's got one that has corrupted nation. This is Joe Cronin on Corrupted Nation. There he is. There he is. It's a good guy. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding, Gargots. It's like I love the ongoing joke that for years your audio is just fucked. I think it's I think it's funny. Well, no, it sucks. No, no, we need to actually help him get his shit right. This is bullshit. I'm not sure. I'm just I would, you ass. know, fucking. I'm about to be seized, so I don't fucking. I don't got anything I can send. But oh. the Mackie, I would get the Mackie. Well, no, no, no. I think he needs to. Like Joe, you don't just use like analog, right? You've got like a mix of shit, right? Oh, I don't, I don't use analog. No way. It would break up like Gargut's. See, that's I, the thing. He uses like full. He uses pretty much full on analog, just about. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. These wires are plugging into wires, plugging into the mic port of a computer. Is that what's going on? Because that's what it is. Like, Otherwise, so, so, yeah, he needs something nah, that's not complicated to use. Yeah. that's digital. Like you need to get a USB like, fucking simple. USB you, mixer. That's the yeah. That's what I'm saying. USB. USB. Fifty dollars. Okay. Fifty bucks. You need to get with the future, Gargut. It's calling you. Yeah. The I, future's I calling you. Mixer. I took it back. The only reason why I got an analog is because I can... You know what? I might... Record. I think I've got a couple of them. I can probably find... If I have the other one, I'll send it to you. It's somewhere around here. I said that to Jesse about a base about seven months ago, too. Um, but no, there's... Uh, no. I'm going... Uh, <laughs> it's out in my shed in my mother's house where her shed is uh, 
where I'll be living soon. Wait, so, Gargut, um, you said that what you said you can only record when with the the analog. Oh no, um, I was recording analog and uh, I was doing hybrid mixing. So hybrid mixing is recording analog through sixteen channels of um, of a mixer of a interface. So you have 16 different digital channels. That was yeah, great. Just tell me I the was fucking doing point that. of what you said. Dude, you can't even get two channels to sound good. You can't get two channels to sound good. What the fuck are you yeah, doing with 16? Like, yeah, okay, I'll tell you this much. It's because it's, it's pretty much because I got this fucking $5 fucking converter that's mm -hmm. going for my analog fucking equipment that is way hey. badass to my fucking... Okay. To my computer. How about you just say I don't know what I'm doing? How about you just say that? <laughs> this <I don't>... audio <laughs> <laughs> How about? How about you just say I don't know what I'm about, doing? You know what? You know what? You know what? All right, look. I'm just trying to make garbage crack like flip I know, out. I know what I'm trying to do, but the thing is that I'm doing it on a cheap budget. All right, that's all it is. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Like you know what you're doing, Fucking but you don't fun. really have the equipment to make to do it. You know. Not well, I was, yet. Dude, I mean, it's it's not like, yet. You just need something simple that like is digital that you're not. Because I know you get overwhelmed with like something's just like what the fuck overly complicated digital shit. Because you know you're an right. analog guy. But if you get something simple mm -hmm. that's digital, wouldn't that or a compressor, oh, it, whatever the fuck you said? Yeah, definitely, that, definitely. I need that. I, I used to have that Mackie the the FX twelve oh four, and right. that was great. And then I sent it back because I couldn't record bass through it without it only having one channel. I was like, I need three channels for my bass. I need mids, highs, and lows. And yep, it, it wouldn't let me do it. So up like, there. I went to analog. This audio debacle. You're an was idiot. About the jail. We need to that deal. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I, yeah, I'm an idiot. No, so I'm, you, I'm I kidding. You I'm just to be being. Able to do the digital with your. Oh. instrument i'm just trying to be yeah. as, so, God, what, that's what was the problem i don't know I'm just being hybrid, mean. hybrid mixing and it, you, you do it with analog and digital <laughs> hybrid mixing but, it's called being cheap it's called having no money so you bought a piece of shit you bought the wrong shit because you didn't have the money yeah <laughs> I'll uh, okay much. I'll much. you're a fucking in, weirdo in, in, hybrid mixing go fuck yourself like oh my god dude, it's it, called oh, hybrid yeah, mixing you know, hey uh we have no food tonight uh so we're gonna get some tuna fish it's called fucking under it's called fucking hybrid eating that's what it's we're, uh, it's, called no anchovies. it's called anchovies in a fucking it's called, blender. It's called fucking. No, dude, he's also he's he also fucking is really like he I don't know he's like a he's old school. He doesn't like fucking digital. I know. I, so I, I like. He's just I like. Digital. Open to doing it. I like digital. I, I just don't. Sound, like, I don't think with your mixing shit. You didn't. I don't seem like. To. <laughs> I don't like how digital <laughs> goes. It is. It's only two channels. So when you want to record more than two channels. Well, the mixer you should can't. do the channels for you, so you should be able to still get. And that, that's why I have a sixteen-channel interface. Exactly. So it's like yeah, the, the sixteen. The channel, yeah. the channels, individuals. The, the channels happen digitally in the program you're recording with now, instead of on the outside. But I get what you're saying. No, but when you, no, uh, but when you record all in one into like a DAW, a digital uh -huh. workstation, it only comes out as one channel. Oh. So that's when I'm just like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I, I get what you're saying. Now. That's when I'm just like, okay, I need analog to go through my um, interface that's 16 channels. Yeah, but it, you know what I it can... sounds like? It sounds like you're sort of like because you can't get the 16 channels like individually, like you know, a real recording studio. You decided to go for like the shittier option because you don't want to. I, I get what you're saying. Like you'd rather have worse sounding audio. Did you just you... get a four channel or something? Like there's, they come with like two, four, no, six. There's okay. a bunch of different ones you can get, right? You know what you should do is every single digital um, just get a bowl. or mixer uh -huh. comes with. It's only two channel out. You can have sixteen channels in, uh -huh. but it's only two channels out, and that's what pissed me off. So that's what I was like. I get it. I'm gonna Why? fucking, I'm gonna figure this out. So then that's when I, that's when I got into hybrid mixing. So every super channel that I was plugging into party. had to be cute. Well, the, the super chats oh, yeah. work. Oh yeah. Why does Charlotte look more like a Charlie? Oh. Mm. Oh, my That's God. That's an interesting question. Charlie. 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 Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte, eat oh. my pussy out there, Charlotte. Oh, my God, Charlotte. Yes. Tonight on SmackDown. Hey, did, oh. did wait a minute. Did Ronda Rousey choose yeah. Charlotte? Did she not choose Becky? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she chose so Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. no. You better choose me, bitch. Mm -hmm. You better choose so me, you chick. That's what I'm thinking. Am I not <laughs> Charlie enough for the Charlie Club? Oh man, this is no good. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, both. Yeah, both Either, both way, both uh, either way, either way, either way, dude, it was gonna be no good. Come on, Charlotte. 
What? Go on, Charlie. Go ahead. Go ahead, Charlie. Either way, either way, Charlie. Show it. Either way, either way Ron Rising, if she shows, if she chose Becky, they would be like, well, the Charlotte, the Charlotte angle would be uh, gone to waste. But, you know, if she chose Charlotte, you know, she uh, the Becky angle goes to waste. And that was an accidental angle because she broke her arm and pinned her. No, 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 no. I know that they're going to do the Becky deal down the road. They're mainly the doing this because, because Charlotte yeah, apparently yeah. is the most – most drawn person as far as the women's champion in terms of getting key and all that crap. And again, I see, I, I see what they mean by it, but ultimately, I still want to see the Becky Ronda match. I'll, 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 I'll do it like this. I'll, it's going like this. Versus Ronda. The reason why she's pl- uh, uh, picking Charlotte is because Charlotte needs to lose that belt just so she can win the belt back in a few months and be 15 time champion. Well, oh. again, th- there's no reason why she shouldn't have won this belt this many times so far. Yeah, at this point, yeah, booking, exactly. Her her dad took it took him twenty fucking eight years to fucking win that many times. Well, well, again, the reasoning was because of the booking, and obviously the way she's being booked in the company. She's crap. been in the company for what less than ten years, and she's gone this many. Fucking, I'm like, what is she gonna be the forty ninth title winner like by the end of her career? And again, how many of these titles shots are? I mean, were like legitimate based upon the booking and as far as the storytelling that was being made. Because ultimately, within like Christ, four or five years, she became already like an eight-time champion. And I was like, "Girl, how? Yeah. Why?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I just don't. I don't. Oh my God! What is you? Now? That's your. That's your mom. No, I'm just kidding. No, this hey, is. Uh... you guys. Hey, you guys. Superman shirt. What am I doing? Why are you making fun of me? Is that your cousin Rybotch? Rybotch. John McDonald, thank you for that two dollar donation, man. It's looking. It's a cry from a Rybotch. He, he looks like the. He looks like the B-list incest artwork. botch. Every white he person like- ever. You no, know, he looks like the B-list artwork from the Mario Brothers movie. Oh, uh, he, man. He looks like the artwork for a Minnesota Vikings family. <laughs> That's messed up. That's messed up. I'm sorry, Vikings. I got you from earlier, you fuck. Anyway, uh, message me later. Come back on the show. You're allowed to come back, Vikings. You're allowed to be on. Oh, shit. Call up. It's, it's, well, now you're fucked, man. No, oh, yeah, no, Joe. You know what, Joe? Well, fuck you, Joe. I just looked at... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's my fucking... Where's the fucking audio? I'm flipping the fuck out. <laughs> fuck your ass, gosh. Remember that Dude, fucking... He, fl- he flips out on every... He flipped out on me like so many times. Fuck. Oh, my God. Bro. I was like, that... bro, I'm just chilling. I don't have that saved, though. <laughs> like, I've got... It's funny, though, because, like, he he always sounds like he's mad a bit about something, even when he's not sometimes, too. So it's funny just talking about whatever. It's just... None of these fucking guys oh come out. <laughs> yeah, he got banned. He got banned for so long. He fucking started <laughs> hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> he got banned for so long, but I talked yeah. to him earlier, and he said, you know, he's that, that two times I've spoken to him, he was nice, but then like he said later, like, oh fuck, Joe, you know. So I don't know. What he, I don't know where he's at, but yeah. maybe. Fuck yeah. Come was on, he, buddy. Was he, was he shirtless? He oh my this? god, I don't know. Oh. My goodness, might have been in, he might have been in some kind of character league. He was in cosplay. <laughs> oh shit, cosplay. He the, yeah, he was the. Did he have? He was the guy it's that cosplay. fucking took over the the rancor and fucking Jedi. <laughs> That's what All reminds right. me of. All right. Yeah, imagine him. Um, imagine him. Imagine a Green Bay Packers fan. Getting in a fight with a Vikings fan in a bar, and one guy leaves with the che- with the cheese head up his ass. Oh, <laughs> she's fucking stupid. One guy gets a cheese head, another gets a fucking one up. You know, they have to walk out of the bar. All I think about with the cheese head stuff, all I think about with the cheese stuff, like is the Patriots in the Super Bowl against Green Bay in '96, and those fucking Green Bay Packers fans with the fucking cheese hats on. Dude, that shit drove me fucking nuts. I wanted to shove them all up their ass. And then they no fucking won. No wonder Al Snow wanted heat. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember that. He put that cheese head. Remember that little Hispanic illegal that he had working with him for a little bit? <laughs> that was at WrestleMania, too, yeah. Oh, yeah. What was oh, the guy's right. name? Paco or something? What was it? Yeah. He, yeah, he put the cheese deal on Paco, and I think he tried to do it on Blackman, which he was just like, hell no. We ain't doing that. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome, dude. Oh, oh yeah, because Blackman is such I a like straight... Blackman. Yeah, he's such a straight shooter, what straight is it, face. Fucking like Chester the Cheese or whatever the fuck his name oh, was. Oh, it was. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it was like Chester or something. It wasn't Paco. It was like. Yeah. It wasn't even Chester either, but it was something like, like that. Like Chester Cheddar, like Cheddar Chester and Cheese. So I was so he did have a name. It was fucking hilarious. And like, didn't Blackman he even in the ring he even kick the fucking dude dressed as the yes. Cheese? After they took the L, right? Yeah, After that's hilarious. That's and, when Trish Stratus actually debuted oh, at uh, WrestleMania. Oh yeah. Dude, Blackman was the most unique motherfucker, honestly, in the ring. Like, his shit was so fast, you couldn't even sell to oh, it. Oh, yeah. But it was all right, because he was just so fucking quick. It was just like, mm. Jesus Christ. I would love Nobody to see, else get, had a I'd love to see like Milky him. cum running down <laughs> Trish's tits. Like, Milky cum just running down her tits. Oh, my God. My favorite bit was when she got powerbombed by Bubba through that table. Dude, oh, she took yeah. like a Oh, that was funny. She took it like a yeah. pro. Dixie and Carter. Like, I got you, you little bitch. I he was probably he having a little, sexual fantasy. Yeah. He's probably smelling yeah. her pussy on the way. No, down. dude, that was a great angle, though. Oh, you know he did. I mean, the, that, you shit, know, that shit was fun. You know, he was doing the what's up with his tongue out the whole time. Oh, yeah. You hear that, Bully Ray? You hear that serious fucking sex offender XM? You hear that? Wow. What are you going to do about it, David LaGreca, you four-eyed fucking nerdy fat piece of shit? I hope Thunder Rosa rapes you, you idiot. Sorry. Well, he almost did, basically. We gave him a wedge. Dude, I like Thunder Rosa. I love she's her, yeah. Fucking... Oh, she can rape me. She can rape me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude, Thunder Rosa is great. It's like... I like her, man. He's going to take out her Dude, boyfriend. Like... I'll leave my wife. You leave me. You're going to swing on her back porch, I tell you what. I got a boyfriend. Oh, it's, it's her husband. She's a he back like... porch what? You got like three kids. Now. What? I they do? She's no, they gonna do. swing on her back porch. Yeah. Got a nice butt, but in Texas. Dude, her ass is amazing. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Who's that? Dude, oh, just, who's her? Who's okay, her? Wait, they? Does she? Right. She does not have three kids, though, right? I don't think she has any kids. She? She's got. I think. She, look, she's she got an old. She's got a cult, uh, an old kid that's like twenty years old already. What? And yeah. Damn. Damn. Good. Start getting him out of the house. She's what she's forty five, right. man. I'm game. I would be Wait a minute. Wait, how old is Thunder Rosa? She's 35. Really... No, are you serious? She's right. I am fucking dead serious. She's older than me, dude. I've met this girl like several times. She's 35 She's... years old, you dipshit. She is not 35. She's 35 years old. She's old, younger I than I am. She... Oh, my God. I, Man, I did you... read it wrong. Yeah, but, yo, but she got a kid. You got a kid, though. Man. You can't even get grown up adult. Yeah, he's probably she probably had him at fucking sixteen. You just so call her ten man, years yeah. older than she well, really is. She should. That's, that's just like San Antonio. Dude, you had, he had me excited, dude. And you're from there. Already. You're from where she's like, from. You don't even know I her age. Got time. That's good. And Joe, oh, I actually, yeah. I actually know where. I actually know. You yeah, actually she's know her. Actually from. Oh so wow, like, that makes you a creepo. Yo, Joe. No, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is that when you know before she got all famous and shit, she would post pictures on where she's at. Yeah. No, yeah, Joe. Yeah. I, Joe we, didn't know, we didn't know she was going to be that famous now. Look at that. Legitimately, I would actually I say be frightened to go out with her and jump like that because, God forbid, if I said something, she'd probably either break my arm and probably put her foot on Oh, dude. But. <sighs> well, we had her on the. Her. Were you that's here, Mustafa? Makes, we had her on the I'm show a year ago. I like it. She was on the show a year ago and she <laughs> loved everybody. She loves everybody here. Mm -hmm. No, no, I know oh, that. It's crazy because when you had her on the show, I had just. Uh, she had just fucking hit me in the door with the face. In the face she hit the you in the door of the face? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, you were drunk. Go home. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. There he goes. Funny. There he goes. And did, you, did, you, did you sleep with her, English, too? English, English, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start saying some N-words now. Hold on. Did you sleep with her, Gargots? Oh, did you sleep with her? <laughs> did you sleep with her, Gargots? No, that day that, uh, that happened, everybody goes, you just got hit in the fucking face with Thunder Rosa's fucking force. And I was like... That was Thunder Rosa. <laughs> like, wow. I didn't even, I'm over here fucking working a guy in show. I'm not oh. trying to now fucking. You, now you deserve just getting hit. Now you what deserve. What was, was it? Is it oh, okay? You're gonna know who Thunder Rosa is in 2018 or what? Of course. Uh, not too many. Everybody was looking at her at her partner. Well, we knew her because of Lucha oh, Underground. You know, we watched her on Lucha Underground. Yeah. Yeah, and not only that, but dude, she runs her own promotion. Oh. 
Uh, she doesn't have her own promotion. She's uh, she's running underneath um, Roddy Max promotion. She has a training. She That's trains at the town. promotion. No, 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 no. But she like runs like her own shows, like mm-hmm. based on like you know that promotion. What show like, is that? Like she did like an all. Did she do like an all women show not too long ago? Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, she did one in Texas. Yeah, she kind of like books, she books and runs. Was it under Texas somewhere. Pro Wrestling? What was it under? I can't remember, but I know that she was booking that because she went on the uh, busted open to like promote it. Yeah, she was booking it and she was running it. She she spoke to everybody like the Tony Khan of the event yeah. at the beginning and end of the event. Like, thank she you did. all for coming out doing my show. So she did one show. She's my, she's done a couple and she does a training thing. So she has her own classes. Yeah, she does. She she. She works under, like I said, she works under Roddy Mac and Jazz. I'm not so, so you're, you're probably right, but I think that she also like you know thing? I think she rents I think she gets the ring and runs a show once in a while. I yeah, think that's all. absolutely. So yeah. yeah, well, yeah, that I mean, yeah, if they're all gonna, they, I think they all have like this three agreement, but yeah, they all run there. It is Texas you, Pro Wrestling. Well, and, you you know um, more you know more that. because you got hit in the door with buyer. So tell us about no, well, no, that, and, and that and they fucking I can I can legitimately walk to their to their fucking arena. I know, it's like only like ten minutes away. That's amazing. So it's like, I, yeah, I bet, you, I bet you camp out there just to get front row tickets. Oh, you ever masturbate to pics? I got two legs, motherfucker. Who do you think you are? Yeah, you know I can fly down there. You know, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, masturbate too. What, what you got? What's what's the question? Gargots. He's dressed for the occasion. Let me tell you something, Gargots. I could actually be down there in six hours. Six hours, I could be over there. I could. I could Man, get to you him. better. Whoa. You know what? I could. Man. You, if you come down here in six hours, we're gonna have to go and fucking have fly sex. to Jesse for another four hours, and then we'll rape each other. <laughs> Dude, I will rape you until you're dead. I mean, it'll be a three-way dance. Three oh, my God. I'll tell you what. All y'all meet up together. Come over, to, a lot sooner come over to my hours. place. I'll play some banjo music, and you can rape each other. Oh, my <laughs> God. Did it need to be ding, 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 ding. So, like, ding, hey, ding. Texas is like, y'all want to see a dead body or fucking squeal like a pig? I'd <laughs> <laughs> oh. be like, you want to bury a dead body? And if you okay, want to see someone be like, Texas totally. I do have, matter where you run to. <laughs> I do have pigs. You need to uh, hide some evidence, ah. you know, just in, just in case. So stuff it up the pigs out. Yeah. Oh no! No, you let them eat it. Oh, you let them eat it. <clears throat> oh God, she That'd has <laughs> under her buddies. She doesn't have Joe Cronin show. That's not good. Ah. On oh, YouTube, no. it'd be good. That would be a good match though. A steer and a pole match. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll sell it on pay per view. Thunder Rosa, out on a pole match. There you go. Take a bite out of steel first. It's just right. a whole ass steer, fucking fur and everything. Oh, look at her, just beat me up. Oh, fucking break my dick off, break my head, break my neck. You said that. Break my head. Break my face. <laughs> fucking a. Girl oh. wants to re- recreate the donation with that chick's head. Got I love Paul with Thunder Rosa. Yep. Oh. So. I love her. Who was her? Um, who was the I other one? Um, oh, Holly did. Yeah, Holly did was her tag team partner. Yep. I wonder what the hell happened to her. God damn. She Holly dead? She's minute. still around. Yeah. I've seen her wrestle like yeah. uh, about a month or two ago. Somebody. She wrestled somebody. It was um, La Negra. Right. Ooh. La Negra. Actually, no, it's funny. She now, Joe, here's the question. You got to be careful with that name, but it's, yeah, she, that's who she wrestled, I believe. I think. Now, I Joe, here's the question. Yes. You have Sasha Banks in the Sailor Moon get up versus Thunder Rosa in, oh. like, the opposite character from Sailor Moon. Who are you rooting for? Well, oh, my God. That's a hard, that's hard. I, you know, I, I think I would almost. 60-minute draw. I bet it would be hard. I'm that sure would be it hard, would be yeah. Hard. I mean. 60-minute draw, everybody wins. I think, yeah, Thunder Rosa is, like, my new flame, so. I might go with her because she's oh, my new. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because I like because Sasha's right. like I know how Sasha treats people at airports, but I know that I know that Thunder Rosa would be a, like a oh, sweetheart. No, I, she'd be yeah. like love you at an airport. She'd be like oh hi, like she'd be so sweet. So like I think I like Thunder. I'd take Thunder Rosa on that. He, Thunder Rosa oh, just did a photo shoot with Gabby from uh, from Busted Up. I'm not sure if you really uh, uh, recognize Gabby. She's like the producer of the whole channel. No, I hate. And, I, um, I hope that whole station goes up in flames while they're inside. 
Good as spikes. Um, but yeah, no. I, no I'm just she, kidding. She's actually gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Yo, uh, did speaking about weird shit and shit, did you see that message I sent to you? And I said, I think I found Alejandro fucking partying up during COVID. Was he tw- Imagine Alejandro's drinking out of the penis pumps. He's got no cups in his apartment. <laughs> He's just taking shots out of the penis pumps. Let me take a look this at what you're saying. This is how I do about. it. It's in the in the. Uh, this in the, is how I do it, book. Joe. <laughs> Gavin <laughs> Newsom, <laughs> fuck me, Joe. Finish, finish oh, it. No. Don't finish it. Don't finish it. Finish it. No. You have to see that video that I sent to you. It's oh, the Facebook. Bruins are getting the Winter Classic in 2023 again. Wow. The Bruins always get the Winter Classic like every four years or three years. Anyway, nobody cares here, but, you know, I'm excited. Uh, let me go take a look. All right, I see what you sent me. Um, no, I don't see what you sent me because I logged in at Joe Cronin Show instead of my personal fucking Facebook because I'm an idiot. All right, let's get back into it. All right, here we go. All right, there's what you sent me. What up, Shell? Show me those pussy pics. Um, what up, Shell? What up, you little fucking yeah. bimbo? Um, is this the, the Zeta thing? Is that the Instagram? Yeah, Zeta Zang posted this. And you're saying this is Alejandro? Yeah. Oh my god, what is Twerking on the floor? Oh, Twerking on the floor. Working that street, working the corner. Oh damn, he got his shirt up. Well, I mean, they're not arresting people for stealing anymore. Why arrest anybody for prostitution anymore, you know? LA. Only in LA. Oh my god, that does look like Louise. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm trying to make a call. Oh my god, bro. Hello? I'm sending you my penis pumps. I'm saying no. you want me to send you how many penis pumps? What's going on? Why is Gavin Newsom calling me? I'm having a bad day again. I'm looking for some ass. Does anyone here have ass? Oh... Oh, I want to go. Look at him, like, oh, I just want to make a call to you. <laughs> Why did you not call me back? You said you wanted a ride for $90. Why did you not? And change. I have been waiting by Mike Subway shops for three hours. Italian sauce. I've got the penis pumps, the condoms, <laughs> and the and my liberal card. For voting. I'm going to vote against him. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a racist. We- Gavin Newsom is a moron. But I voted for him. But it- now I'm mad at him. I'm really mad, Joe. Something bad happened to me today. I I don't want to get into it. You bend over. I'm off of COVID. I, I don't have COVID anymore. But... I let the guy that I had sex with ejaculate into my ass again. Pimping ain't easy. Pimping ain't easy, but I'm illegal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it so looks like fucking... <laughs> Look at how old this this fire... Uh, exta- <laughs> this, this fire hydrant is. It looks like it has bullet holes in it. I left my heels at home. <laughs> Look at my thigh definition. My calves curve in a 60 degree angle backwards. 69. Oh my god, dude, that is Louis. I have herpes. I you see in the beginning of the video got... how the car stopped for a minute? Right, because at first they thought, what a sex freak. I want some of that. Then they saw I was a man, but it shouldn't matter in 2024. Louis, why, Louis, why are you yelling? Please stop yelling. Oh. Oh, it's magic, you know. In L.A., oh I'm a hoe. I came to Jersey Mike's because he said he had a foot long. Somewhere <laughs> yeah. over the rainbow. Oh, my God, somewhere <laughs> over the rainbow. That's fucking hilarious for some reason. Jersey Mike's because he's a foot long. So, um, oh, no. Um, well, that reminds me of when, uh, you know, we go back in time a little bit and we... Remember that Luis said a naughty word. Do you remember oh, this? this? And then he the was this the one where he's yelling? Listen to this, he's yelling. Wait, you have another camera, <laughs> Luis? Oh, that's the other one. It doesn't matter. He's gonna be looking at his neighbor and he's gonna see my dick. 
Did you just talk into that camera? Who yeah, knows? That's what I was looking at right now. Did he? Yeah, because this one also has a microphone. Oh, okay. yeah, that's not. Oh, that really, he really this does day. look like that guy, bro. You should be uh, using. You should not be using that kind of microphone using, for this show. You, is he really using a camera as a microphone? He is. I, I, he is, is bro. Oh my god! I, he uh, is. He is. He. You All right, Jesse, oh I take god. back everything. It's time to fire at Luis. Oh, my God. Okay, fair enough. I'm on your team. Let's do this. But his mic is still this the other camera. Bullshit. That's the thing that doesn't make sense. The other camera is still oh, the mic. No. He's what is this thing? Did you get rid of your snowball? What happened to oh your Oh, my God. I think he's got the same oven and microwave as me. I just. Oh, my gosh. I just realized this. What the fuck? He's been spying I, on you, Joe. To you, Joe. Bro, that looks like my microwave, and that looks like my oven. Like, I swear to God, he's got my oven and microwave. Joe, and your tea kettle. Your We've been shopping oh, at the same store. Inside, inside the house the whole time. He's, he, Joe, he's in your house. Run, oh, my God. God run. This is you. really weird. He's I mean, Dude. Snow thing. Yeah. Where's that? That was better than this. Talk to you. I have nothing to compare it to. I'm going to say that. I do have a goddamn uh, interface. I never use it, so Inter it's like those <laughs> bands they the let Gargut's backstage all the time that he talks about, and then he like did their Cancel. audio shitty. <laughs> That's from that show, <laughs> Gargut's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they fired him. Oh fuck. <laughs> I'm I mean, sorry. this guy puts. So sorry, Gargots. I never, work. I never did. This guy actually that. tapes his mixer where things are supposed to go and still fucks it up. Oh, he's admitted that. I know. I don't know what's going on with him. Yeah. He's fucked up. I mean, at least Luis, but you can hear is. him. It fucking sucks and it what kills your ears. What it is? He's got his audio shit. Global. Luis is fucking talking into a camera to make shit work. Garguts can't make a mixer work. <laughs> He's is, trying. It is, is it oh, <laughs> it's all right. He doesn't. I don't blame you. You know. Yo, yo, yo. yo one. Th okay, it's the same video. Um, Louis starts making food at the counter behind uh, the counter. Yeah. And it sounds normal. So no matter how loud he's speaking, it sounds like where we're speaking right here. Yeah. And that's why I was like, Louis, every time you fucking get on camera, go behind the fucking camera. Uh, right. Counter. Imagine, Please. imagine Luis getting just like raided by like someone breaks into oh, his apartment yeah. and beats the shit Hang out of him. Right there, the, the way you have him frozen. Like go back to season two of Walking Dead when Shane turns into a zombie. That he looks exactly like that. Oh man, well they all that look like exactly that. That's exactly what no, he looks I'm just like. gonna say he's, he he looks, looks like Doctor Evil. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, he does. Uh, One hundred million Shane dollars. When he becomes a walker, right there. That is yeah. the broken nose, yeah, the whole thing. No, he looks like Dr. Espanol. Dr. Espanol right here. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I don't care how much it costs. Logitech, you, you know how much you can spend? Before? You know that yeah, that you was crap for a hundred dollars? And I bought that for fifteen on fucking yeah. Westboro yeah. Avenue in Los Angeles. All right, I'm turning it here. <laughs> Why is you <laughs> yelling? I'm going to have to buy. That's the funniest part. Why is you yelling? <laughs> All right, I'm turning you in. Why is you yelling? I'm going to have to buy $5,000 worth of miracle I, in fucking Jesus hearing aids Christ. to get through this. Luis, why the fuck are you yelling like this? Why are you screaming at everybody? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just have to me. Shut up. Is this the, well, is this no the liberal is this the liberal rage is this the liberal rage everybody's always talking about? <laughs> oh my god! I don't know. Yeah. No. Well, I need to only listen to what my governor I'm, says. I'm, I'm not calling. I'm not saying this. I I voted. I've I've, I've voted Democrat. Don't even fucking bring up Gavin Newsom. I'm fucking oh, mad. Oh, at him oh right you don't now. like him now? You don't like him now because the news said so. You're so fucking. Uh, oh, you are fucking unreal, dude. I are love you. Are you for Jenner now or what? How do you go from a fifty-four billion dollar deficit to a seventy-six billion dollar surplus? So, because he had nothing to do with it, you Nimrod. How is that possible? Because, because Caitlyn Jenner. That's why. Because all of your politicians are crooks. If you listen to your governor. <laughs> oh, what did you say? <laughs> that was the best answer. Drew was right because they're all crooks. Because That's the answer. All of your politicians are no. crooks. If you right listen to your governor, you're a fucking idiot. 
Oh, what did you say? Oh, my God. Just... Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. I am no, sir. Listen, sir. Wait a minute. I am not an N-word. I am not an N-word. What the hell? He just called Arnold the N-word. I mean, he no, he is called me word somewhere now. Rewind that. Wait a second. Schwarzenegger. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop saying it. Oh, my God. Does it sound bad? Oh, it again. Oh, does it sound bad? That's the best part. Does it sound bad? I'm, I'm working the streets again, guys. I'll be here all week. All week. Go ahead, Garguts. I'm on the phone with Garguts right now. Hello, Garguts. Tell me what? This is the worst one, Joe. Oh, sorry. I was doing his thing. No, this is the worst one of, of, the, of uh, Michael Strahan and uh, his co-host. And she says it straight up. Arnold Schwarzer. Whoa. And you can call me Arnold. just plows by it. Strahan, you can call me Miguel Gayhan. <laughs> Yo, Joe, like, I, just sent you an, I just sent you another video on Twitter. It's basically how Gargut sounds. I want to be raped. I want to be raped by a flamingo. That's what I want. I would love Gavin Newsom to rape me like a flamingo. A pink flamingo. <laughs> I want to put on TLC Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls while I dance. Oh, I don't want no scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoever that was in that video walking down the street was definitely molested by their father. And their oh, my God. You know that the shit. music. Yes, play some music to that shit. It definitely is. Like I just want to give you the red light special. Oh no. If you want it tonight. This is what it, what it means to be a representative of the penis box. That's so much <laughs> That is immature, right? Is that immature? No. It works. What was that? No, you know what it that works. is? That he was now. That's he could have been in the background of uh, White Men Can't Jump in the movie. He could have oh, been. The, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he's like, let's, oh. let's get gritty in this city. He's singing the gritty song while he's on the streets. Yo, Joe, Joe he could, check, out the, check out the vid that I just sent you. He, it sounds like the, he sounds like Freddie from Grand Theft Auto. I swear. I, I it's go to uh, I think it's like uh, twenty one seconds into it. That's when he starts speaking. Okay, let's see. Man, it looks like the guy that. This Vagos hood. Man, I don't get... Hey, I stick with that. <laughs> oh man, I missed this game. Freddy, I'm coming for you, you motherfucker. Hey, low, hold up. Jeffrey, you got the wrong idea, man. That was just the prison thing. <laughs> the prison thing. The prison thing. The prison thing. The prison thing. Oh my God. Look at that house is so jacked up, man. I Isn't it funny? Whenever you go back to a game from 10 to 12 to 13, 15 years ago, it never, it's always like shocking how much more, you know, pixelated it was. And you're like, I don't remember it looking that bad. Yeah. No, he, no, he, he, your eyes were not as sharp as they were. No, dude, what? in the rest of the video, in the rest of the video that's not seen on there, he goes, I like the fast ass, not the slow ass. Oh. I'm saying, like, okay, because you're, you're, you're used to you make sharper stuff now. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, I just think that it looked good at the time, so it's like, you yeah. Know. I mean, same thing with Sonic the Hedgehog or fucking Star Trek, the fucking mm -hmm. next generation fucking video game. I thought those looked badass, and then I look at it now, and I'm just like, dude, I thought, you know what game tri trips me out when I go back? It's like 007. Like, I, I go, oh, yeah. Goldeneye. Yeah. I'm like, wow, yeah. Goldeneye looked like shit. Like, it looked way better to me back then. <laughs> But now Who it looks like shit. Joe? What's Who did that, you Dan? Play on what was that? Who did you play on Goldeneye? A job. Oh. Ooh. I played you everybody. You fucking cheater. <laughs> you know why you say odd job, right? <laughs> yeah. I played everything on Goldeneye. I beat that fucking. You played this... Actually, you played to be honest. Job? Oh, I, I play. I, I'll be honest. I only actually. I actually watched my friend play that game more than I played it. I watched 70% of that game. 
Same thing happened with Metal Gear Solid 2. I didn't I didn't beat that myself. I watched my friend beat it. Isn't that weird? That's I mean, no, that's not weird because I watched uh plenty of my friends beat off. I mean beat games. Well <laughs> Bro, I will beat you off if I have to. <laughs> I mean oh my God. look at what Gritty's doing, bro. Look at what Gritty's doing. What the fuck is going on with Gritty? What is going on in Philly? We're getting gritty. In this city. This. Did they fucking knock them back too? Oh my god. Gritty's wiping his ass with the guy's hat. The guy's all mad because he's wiping my that's a fake ass. You're you know what I like. On. You know what I like about <laughs> what I really like about Gritty in Philadelphia is that they're not afraid to make a mascot out of what all the fans actually look like. Instead of making, you know, some people go with a cartoon or bird or something like a big. Yeah. Look at that big fucking bobbly headed looking thing. The the Philly Philly hasn't won at all, so they hang everybody else's fucking banners up in the stadium. You ever notice that? <laughs> they barely won enough, so they just hang no up everybody else's. Way. Yeah, look at that. They're like, look at all the other NHL teams because we don't have any. Because our arena roof looks really bare. So, here's is, is that black and gold one the Bruins? Yes. They hang. Up, the they banner. literally hang a Bruins banner up because they're <laughs> like, we don't want our ceiling to look empty. Probably bringing up the value hanging up a Bruins <laughs> banner. Then. And if you go on the other side, there's this huge ass banner of fucking Will Smith. Saying he got in a fight in East LA. There's a still, there's a still frame. There's a still frame of Will Smith doxing the the neighbor's kids next door that he hates. Oh, here he is! There he is! It's time to get gritty. I guess you are too afraid to share my message. That's okay I know one thing that the brother that you have on your show is dead to me and my community. His quandary is downright blasphemous and he would be a house nigga instead of us in the field. Oh. Good God. Oh, are you drunk enough to be watching that? Drumar Johnson. What is he talking about? I think he's I, talking I, about the song In the Fields that you played, Joe. Oh. Not too long ago. In the you Fields. Know what, you know what? You know what? You know what? White people and fucking Mexicans were doing the fields before the before they came over. So what do you, what do you want? Like that, yeah. that shit means nothing to me. I mean, shit. I have, I have, I have, I have fucking ancestors that are fucking still alive, and they said, "Hey, man, when we worked in the fields, we worked all night into the morning." Yeah, man. And Can you imagine? We that? get more money. Yeah. Dude, they, 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 I mean, shit. That that's what I'm just like. So the fields aren't just one race; it's all the races. It's what people yeah. want to focus on. Did yeah? So you, fuck all that bullshit. You guys are in collars, definitely whipped and put in collars. I mean. You know. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean <laughs> Mexico, 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 and Indians uh, didn't get along. So I know, but, but I mean, it's the Mexicans before the Mexicans were the Mexicans. It sounds like you really want the sympathy as well. Like you know what I mean? Oh no, I'm just saying. It's, no, fuck the sympathy. I'm trying to fucking goddamn. Don't need no empathy or sympathy. I yeah. need to fucking knock down those that's walls a, and be like, it's a good song. Don't need no. Guys, you don't need no damn walls. I want to. Well, yeah. (laughs) Hey, are you in favor of putting up the walls over there? Like, will you, if Trump put up all the walls everywhere, were you in favor of that or no? Bro, who do you think built the walls with the door in it? What? Why does that picture look? There's doors in the walls. Okay, but did you want to? Would you like a wall up to stop people from coming over to your state, or are you like, no, No, fuck it? We put up a wall because we're gonna get paid for it. But there's a door. No. And, and, oh, you are. Can we put like, the wall all all the way around Texas and the rest of y'all can do whatever the hell you want to? Don't you know? Yeah, we need the money, but we're Star there's definitely the door letting in the rest so, of his so, family. So check this out. So it's like it's like saying, uh, you know, do you pay ADT to fucking put up security? But there's a secret thing that they can get into that breaks into your shit, and you don't know how they did it. There you go. It's the same shit. ADT well, is fucking full of shit. 
Well, kind of, because, I mean, usually by the time they figure it out, the pure person's killed you already, and they're out of here. And ADT's like, oh, I don't know how they got rid of it. Oh, yeah, you know how yeah, they got Yeah, but I mean, I guess, you know, this is a, I guess it's not comparable to me, though, you know what I mean? Like, someone robbing, getting in your house, like, you know, you do your best to document it and get them arrested at some point. But, I mean, people flowing into the country, I mean, if you fucking seal up 95% of the border and then you have a couple of doors, I mean, you're going to be able to control things a hell of a lot better. Now, you can say that's a waste of time and stupid, uh, and it might be. I'm I'm not saying it's not, but I'm just wondering where what you where you stand. But I think it sounds like you stand in the camp of it's a waste of time. It's not going to matter anyway. They'll get in anyhow. Fuck it. Just let, exactly. Let yeah. There's no, no reason. There's no reason why even. Dude, the there's 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 rumors that they fucking built the 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 silver wall in 2004 five um, from old scraps of 9/11. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm just like, oh, from one tragedy to another. Like, we'll get through. Beautiful. It. See, I don't want a wall. I want to put IEDs all on the Texas border between us and Mexico, so they can run across. But it might be fireworks. That's all I'm asking for here. So <laughs> that I'm in favor of. Well, then, yeah, there goes that, that could backfire. What if like a Texas kid throws his frisbee and it goes into the Mexican border and he goes through to get it? Well, then he should know better. Uh, at this, at this time, be throwing your yeah. Won't do it again, <laughs> Willie. As as much. <laughs> Why is everybody going to be against somebody going from another country to another country? Because that's uh, when, this is, when this is the, when this is the country of the give me your poor, uh, give me your weak. I mean, oh my oh, god! What the, the fuck? Same. I go to take a piss and get out some stuff, and what I, the I'm fuck just, happened? I'm just saying, yeah. I'm, there was there was a certain fucking standard. Yes, I understand that. We don't want the fucking mohaws. I got it. But a lot of us are fucking mixed. It's the same principle as why you have a door on your on on your own house and a fence around your backyard to mark off what's yours, not everybody else's. I mean, I would I would totally do that to block out the motherfuckers. But uh, if my fucking one of my fucking well, there you friends. Go. If one of my fucking best friends is from the other side, then I'm welcoming them in. Right. I mean, I'll so put a electric fence about, around my property. If you want we're to piss up against about the your end. friends, we're talking about thousands of people that want to come here that we already can take care of our own as it is. Oh, bro, that's all right. I can go yeah. across the border and come back and fucking dance over the border, and nobody will even shoot me anymore. You that's can I mean, oh, uh, oh, yeah. There's also, there's also the is fact Biden? that they're not the really making any money off them. Yeah, well, I mean, you you eventually you eventually uh, make um, votes off of them, so that's why they're doing it. They're like, "Hey, we're yeah, gonna we're gonna give you this much money to one survive, shot party and that's that, 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 so. well, I That's fine. To me, I'm like, look, that's that's great that, that they're they're doing what America was doing already, except they're giving them a paycheck, and yeah i mean the page the the money that they're giving them doesn't even belong to us so it belongs to like this whole goddamn chain of command all right i got it uh the reason why i don't get it i'm just like okay so there's so much land in fucking america what what what, what are we doing like i mean god damn dude in texas alone dude you can you can drive for fucking four hours and not see a goddamn fucking house so why are we going to let in group of people some will be good some will be bad but why are we going to take the chance to just just it's let's let's open everything up so y'all come over here and take a shit in our house send all the money back to your house and then we're stuck with the bill i mean do we do the same thing when we leave when america when american leaves to another fucking country it's the same shit like when not I, because look, we're still look, paying look, look, in look, that look, country look, and in the other country and this country. Look at fucking Snowden. The motherfucker's getting. We don't even know who the fuck that guy is, but he's getting a. He's in Russia. To him. He's a plant for the. Yeah, government. you know in Russia, you know in Russia is fucking huge. You know exactly where he's at. Oh. You know his address because goddamn nobody knows. He moves around so much. Probably in some yep. out of the way cabin in fucking Siberia or something. He can be in Siberia, whatever, but at the same time, he's getting so much money from uh, uh, whistleblowing that uh, it's America that he's whistleblowing on, and they're fucking just, everybody's supporting them. So it's like, okay, so if America is whistleblowing, uh, a person that's from America whistleblow, 
and you're getting money from a per- people that hate America, but they're not doing anything. They're just like, yo, we got all this shit on you. Chill the fuck out. You know what I'm saying it's basically a fucking neutral thing. It's like, yo, we got this motherfucker over here. He's been over here for a while. Don't worry about it. We got him. We got him all the accoutrements that he needs to shut the fuck up. You're going to shut the fuck up and they're going to continue their plan. It doesn't, to me, it's, that's the most extreme. It doesn't matter. Here's the problem though, Gargutz. I, if you want to come here legally, pay your taxes, pay your dues, earn it. You have skin in the game. You well, want you, to take care have, of this. You, yeah, because, you're right. You are correct. But there's when you do your taxes and all that shit, it doesn't say, are you in a, uh, a legal? It does say illegal. But it, so it doesn't, like, it doesn't, whenever it doesn't, I, whenever it doesn't, I register my kids it doesn't school, give you your taxes. It doesn't give you your whenever taxes. Whenever I register my kids for school, I tried to get them into preschool in Texas. And they said we didn't qualify because it was predominantly Mexican that spoke Mexican. Okay. We were the problem here. So the flooding of the border, it, it completely ruins the economy. It overwhelms what we can handle, what we can process. We end up taking care of most of them. They end up on welfare. The thing is, the thing is, I think that you're right on that. But the thing is, that they don't stick around in Texas. These motherfuckers go to Davenport, okay. Iowa, and fucking right. Ohio, and fucking Wisconsin. They go to the fucking farthest part, parts of the. Okay, East so why Indiana. do we want to ruin those places either? Well, you know what I mean. Can can a Mexican that fucking comes from 108 degree weather every fucking day? Go to a fucking Michigan and fucking survive? No. Well, I don't give a shit what they do. I could give it them. That's not yeah, my they, point. They, my they point are legitimately is... throwing them into places where they, they're like, let's see you fucking do this and let's see you do that. And then it's good for like the first eight months. And then if you don't have that fucking goddamn shit in plan when the heating goes out and you fucking have all this goddamn, I mean, actually, we're Mexican, so we can Mexican rig anything up, but. I mean, shit, I can go up to the pole right now and fucking grab two fucking volts and fucking make it into a heater. It's great. But... Right. But, okay, see, my point here is, and I, and I get what you're saying, but you, number one, I'm not in, okay, I think we need to shut the whole place down. We're full. We can't handle what we do. If it were my way, we're shutting the border down completely. Just all cards off the table here. But there's no it, way you can shut the border down. It's which, it's which legitimately uh, obvious. It, it, the reason why the European border. Wait, Do what? what? Are we talking Canada, Mexico, Europe? Everything? All of it. He's talking about We're everything, full. dude. He's 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 talking about everything. But that's what I'm saying. It, yes. it goes hey, against. Hey, I got maiden. Room. I got maiden tickets. I'm in September. We're fucking. Uh, they got to be able to come here at least. Exactly. They're working. <laughs> Making money so, for us though. So exactly. I mean, they're, I'm they're, saying they're, they're, like, dude, they, they got a. There's a lot of stuff to take in, but at the same time, dude, like, it, we are the land of the fucking. Give me your poor and all that bullshit. So yeah, well, if we can, we if we can enough, honor yeah. them that we were founded on, then why the fuck are we American and just call it fucking neo Nazism? It's not Nazism to want to take now. care of your home. I, that's, yeah, see, that's I mean, what I don't understand. People confuse nationalism with Nazism. That's two completely different things. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, there's a, I mean, there's a gray area for this. Stuff. I, mean, I feel like everybody either looks at it like you either shut down or you open up, and it's like, no. Right. But there, there's times where maybe you should shut down here and there to get your shit in order a little bit. But, right. but have the shit ready to, like, you open up accordingly. You do what you need to do accordingly. Everything. Well, it's like right. you can't, everything has a season. Everybody dude. wants a, it, a it yes or a no is. or a black and a white. You can't really do that. It's hard. It's you know, I don't know. I feel like you both have are coming from uh, your good points. I think you both are coming from like the same we side are. of wanting to yeah. figure out what the we right are. thing we is. Are. Like that's why I'm right. it, it, yeah. it ends up like yeah. Well, we, I'm always interested. In what would happen if you took like what Tex say, what you're saying, you all merged it? Then what the fuck? Like then what kind of well, well comes from know. that maybe. You know? Facts. Go for it. How do you well, do that's both? what I'm saying. You know? is, see, most people, when they have a conversation like this, they're screaming and cussing at each other by this point. But we at least yeah. have enough respect yeah, for one another. Yeah, exactly, Tex. Exactly. Right. We're not going to do that. We're going to be friends about this and have an intellectual discussion, even mm-hmm. though we have 
very different viewpoints. That's what makes this. Hey, while 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 you are cooking a whole steer, so yeah, you come to my place. I'll have a whole side of beef going while we argue. Yeah. With and I, it'll be a and he's like, but, he's like, you know what? And he goes, <laughs> I almost cooked yours. Well done. <laughs> Don't do that. No, no, no. See, if I ever cooked a steak well done, I would have to either eat one of my own bullets. I, I can't do that. Like, oh, dude, I, I would have to I kill myself at that point. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Ask. Go ahead, dude. Okay. Um. So you think? So why should we let people from Mexico over here when we aren't even letting people that have helped us over in Afghanistan and all the the war places? Okay. I'll, I'll tell you this: Why you're talking about war places? I'm talking about. Look, I can. I'm an American, and I can go to how many fucking different continents and countries and play you know cities states everything i can go to fucking paris right now i can go to fucking amsterdam right now i can go to canada furthest part of canada where nobody goes are you I can go saying to, last... to just visit or are you talking about to go and then do it like texas saying where you just go and start working under the table do your whatever whatever or are you oh, just talking that? to visit because there's two that's it's different I would say I would say for visiting, I mean, yes, I could do that. But if I want to live there, <laughs> I would have to go through mm -hmm. what everybody has to go through, and that's legitimately yeah. being a, a citizen. And you have to take these tests. You have to know the history. So I mean, okay. there's there no go. difference. So, so what is to, your point then? Of like, you can do all these well, things. Says, they can come well, visit here. Yeah, they just a can't lot of live people. Here. No, what a lot of people can come over here and live here and visit here. I would love that. Um, the thing is that when yeah, I go, go to, to other like places, that. they just go, oh, he's just an American piece of shit. And then, mm. you know, the when the, when you go to the bars, the drunk girls would be like, he's an American piece of shit. Yeah, let's do him. Like, okay, that's cool. But I don't fucking give a shit about that shit. I want to fucking just say, look, can we just fucking go in and out of countries and like we used to before all this shit happened because goddamn it didn't happen until fucking bush happened and then that's when it fucking got worse and then it fucking got worse after obama and then it got worse after obama. and then it, you know it's getting worse and worse and worse it was gotten worse well, it got worse even before bush if you guess, I'll, shit. I'll, I'll put it to you this way yes sir the oh. it, the the immigration issue is not an easy topic, much like every other thing we could get in and discuss on this thing. But when you go with, right. let's just open it up and let them all in, you're going to get a certain class of people. Yeah. Whereas if it's harder to get in, you will get the best. I'm not saying I want That's true. my state flooded. I don't want your state flooded. This is our home, dude. We're both Texans here. You know what I mean? We're on different sides of the coin on this, but we're fellow Texans on this. I want the best to come here. I want us to thrive and That's be right. good. Not just kick the door open and say, oh, all y'all come on in and take a shit wherever you want. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That Okay, I can understand that. Like, I mean, I don't, there's times where I don't want fucking, you know, the I don't want Ebonics here, but at the same time, it's here. So it's like, that's the worst I can do. Like, I can, I can right. have Well, it. just because it's, like, it's here, that doesn't mean we have to make it worse. Why don't know, we try it, to make it, it better? happened in, you know? in Tex. Tex, you're, you're close to where it's at. Um, it happened after fucking Katrina. Yes. Not oh, Rita. Yeah. Dude, Rita, I know too. People, Rita too. But after in Katrina, church, it got really dude, bad. There's, there's an entire black family that was living on welfare. Um, had nothing to their name. They were in downtown New Orleans, I believe. And when Katrina hit, it wiped out everything they had. They got on a Greyhound bus. They were brought here. And now they just stayed. They're in the same exact economic position. They've gotten no better. They contribute nothing, and they're a drain on the system. So you want to come here, contribute. Yeah. I don't care what color you are. Just contribute. That's my whole point. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's real simple. Yeah, and it's and it is a tough thing because there's some people that I've met and that I've known that they didn't get here the fucking legal way, and I'm think, but they do. They are here like 
they're mm-hmm. trying to give they're trying to do it right like but they got here a different way but they're like they right. it's, they're the same i want them here kind of thing is what i'm saying it's like like you said the best some of the sometimes the best can't even go through the legal channels and it's like a, so it's even more of a gray area but i agree right. wholeheartedly with that you want you want the ones who are in it for the right reasons you want the best cuz right. you know where they're not going to shit where they eat. Like, if they're going to live, Dude, they're get, I, where they live, they're going to fucking do something good for where they live. I worked with a you guy know, that came here. I worked, with, I, I worked with a guy in a mechanic shop that came here illegally 30 years ago. But guess what? He got a job. He became legal. He took his lickings, and guess what? Now he's a full-blown citizen. And if he, if I were to get him mm-hmm, a, mm-hmm. here in on this channel, on this conversation, he would have a very similar mm-hmm. opinion to mine, probably sterner, talking about his own Mexican people that come here illegally. And this is a dude that's a Mm -hmm. product of it. Because that's somebody that he, because he went through so much to get there and and he he would be offended that somebody else just walks in and doesn't. Yeah. I get it. Basically, if they were all like that, we wouldn't even have this discussion. It wouldn't need to. It'd be great. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But it's like, because there's so many you take advantage of it, you don't always get that kind of guy. So. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's well, it's an, it, it, it's like the if you if you're debating abortion or marriage rights or whatever, none of these mm-hmm. topics are easy, but they're important to talk about in a civil manner, even if you don't necessarily agree, because otherwise you get nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is why stuff like this is important. So. Well, Randy Viper is. Oh. Back to back gritties from Jumar Johnson. Oh no, you see, that's what's wrong with the white man of big red flag there. Oh. You are making fun of the scream puff faggot that looks like a burn cancer victim. Oh. Why does he talk like that? He don't matter to me because he is not a black king, he is a bean spick. Oh. Wow. Oh, Drew Mar or Dr. Umar Johnson. Dr. You Umar take Johnson. That guy gets? Well, he's a doctor. He can. Drew Mar. Yeah, I was calling him like, Drumar. It was Doctor Umar. <laughs> that guy, I've been saying it wrong. <laughs> oh man, damn Dan Kenny, goddamn, who's gonna do homie? He's dead. Um, yeah, I meant when I said Sith. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, hit me up with emails. Anybody rich wants to buy my channel, email me. Let me know what's up. Uh, a oh. lot of a lot of people can. Uh, lot, there's you know everybody knows somebody in their family who's rich who always wanted to start a YouTube wrestling or sports show, and they wanted a head start. Well, if they want a head start. Yeah. Email Joe Cronin Show at uh-huh. yahoo.com. It's got to be a rich person, though. It's got to be a lot of money. Like a, my my like channel is. Uh, move. Here we go. Yep, my channel is valued between 20K to 60K or so, and it's dead serious. I've seen other channels for less. Go, uh, I've seen Dude, other channels. I thought, you, I, thought you, I thought the IRS said you were good, and you, if you just made payments, you'd be good. Yeah, we. Yeah. I thought so too. <laughs> um, but go ahead. So leave a email me Joe Cronin Show at yahoo.com if you know somebody who's crazy and wants to get into YouTube and wants to buy a channel. Uh, let me know. It's in the blah blah blah. I meant what I said. It wasn't a joke. Uh, Randy Viper coming in. Let's see what he says. Randy Viper. If only NZ shut its borders to Australia. Sup, Gargi. Ooh, if only New Zealand shut its borders to Australia. What's up, Gargi? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you 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 you're letting those crazy Australians into your New Zealand country. What are you doing? Don't let them in there. Besides, but they've got crazier animals. And that's always wondered that. Does Australia has the crazier animals, right? The species than New Zealand's similar, but I still think Australia has the crazier like spiders and shit, right? And that's going to be between Randy Viper and Big Bad Ads. And and you know, a couple other people like six and stuff like that, you know, they could probably tell us more uh, if that's accurate or not. But, you know, you guys let us know who has well, the- I mean, all deserts are fucking uh, pretty gnarly with, with shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. In general. Yeah. You got to be rough to live in the desert. So, you, you know, yeah, well, those big yeah. spiders like <laughs> and I know that they touch the plant by accident. It kills you. Right. No, not necessarily, but like you definitely got to watch your ass. Like, there's Jimson yeah. weed out here, which I don't make you go insane and fucking uh, 
kill somebody unless you have like an oh, Indian shaman or somebody with you teaching you how to use it right. But uh, so there's that. There's a few things. I don't know. I was just agreeing that yeah, they got weird fucking fucked up bugs and spiders and yeah. tusks, all kinds of shit. I mean, they always say the magpies are meaner, worse. Dude. They say the magpies are worse, but I'm worried Ooh. about the snakes or something eating you at, like at night, like a big snake or like a spider that's huge, like you're fucking. Or the really poisonous like scorpions and snakes, like you never know. Like yes, the littlest fucking scorpion or snake could fucking destroy you. Like you... they're the ones that that you you're basically dead on arrival that they get you because they're you... they. Do you remember monetize you know, the this? Ones. It always seems that I guess they can't control it. Do you what? remember one What's of the that? early monetized this is where Tosovich was telling us about the scorpions in his backyard or whatever? I vaguely remember that actually. Oh my god. You, they were like he was catching Stop. them because they were coming into his house in Vegas or whatever. Oh my god, you're right. He was doing some crazy shit with them, dude. Yeah, he was like selling he was, them like, on eBay. Keeping them in fucking bottles like, and shit of, like without yes. Yeah, and yeah, selling them somewhere. Selling them, dude. I remember this. Yeah. You, oh my god. It's got to be illegal too. You're right. <laughs> I don't know, but fuck them, dude. That's great shit. I can't believe I remember that. That is nuts. What you say? Yeah, he'd like preserve them in like alcohol like... or something, and then sell them. Like, what I, I the thought fuck? you said he was torturing them. <laughs> Honestly, that no, was no, no. He was catching them, and I don't know if he was killing them or he actually maybe even keeping them alive but he was certainly fucking keeping them and then selling them to people it was like crazy shit dude mm. what the fuck i would yeah fuck that dude i've had to like i don't know i've dealt with scorpions but it's like i ain't trapping them or keeping them <laughs> dude i'm either gonna kill it or if it gets out of you know i can always if it leaves i'll define i won't kill you but fuck it's scary though man you right go to fucking take a shower right you fucking uh you go to lift up the bath mat after you're done. You see a scorpion under it, and you go, "Oh my god, I was just stepping on that." Uh, you know, <laughs> weren't they like, like that's the kind of shit that makes you go, "Oh fuck." Weren't they like invisible uh, ones too? No, like they, they were like ghost the ones. Thing we have to be aware. Oh yeah, well they always are a little hard to see. Like they're especially the yellow, greenish ones or whatever. But you actually, if you put black lights up, uh, yes, you can see them. They'll turn purple and everything. I'm thinking of putting a couple in my yard just because my mom had to kill one, letting the dog out. The thing was as big as – it was about the size of a foot. Really? You know? Oh. Like my kill's mom. Yeah, I've had to step or... on one that big. Oh. It, it's fucked up. No, yeah, well, dude, just put it this way. You're missing like, foot, yeah, you like mean? Yeah, like a size 8, size 8, size 9, like that. Eight. Fucking, and then not in the same width, like a wide motherfucker. If you – I would see Joe – If you – I would see Joe, like, he's like – there's a fucking spider in here, and he just fucking starts wrestling it and fucking throwing it through a table and shit, or he fucking gets thrown through a table. Oh, dude, you gonna do the fucking you versus the spider next? You know, the first day I ever met Joe, or no, the no. first time I found Joe, it was like, uh, might have even been the SummerSlam review, and you were talking about how you fucking, there was a spider or whatever, and you tried to Windex it or something. I'm like, yeah, that shit made me laugh because I'm like, that's my first thing I'll go to. If Windex yeah. doesn't kill something, you need to just go at it with something. Like smash it. Yeah, dude. Windex, Windex kills everything, man. But yeah, you're like, dude. Yeah. I'm always like, what's in? Out. What the fuck is in Windex? Because like, you shoot most or anything that's like Amo a ammonia. Is that what it is? Because it, it takes them out right away. It's like, <laughs> oh my god, bro. You yeah. sp you spray they a fly up and die. It's great. Hey, Joe. Honestly, do you realize you have? Okay, let me let me say this. What's right up? now, right now, your survey. Right now, your survey. Thirty-one percent. Uh oh. 31% vodka. <laughs> White people. Um, oh, yeah. Whoa. 22% uh, tequila. Mexican audience. Right. Let's get oh, that my... fucking tequila wanna... up, man. Yeah. Come on. And the rum is for all the douchebags. Wait a minute. Okay, that's what I voted for. Let's see. Whiskey's, oh, whiskey's dude, winning. It's cause it, oh, dude, it's because you're from the South. Of course you'd love tequila. Wait, you're, what are we you're voting for? you with Mexican. Well, we, okay, we, whiskey's got 35, so I'm happy. No, dude, this makes perfect sense. We have I'm going to get my whiskey. This makes perfect sense. We have a slightly right-leaning audience overall. So uh -huh, th this uh -huh. makes a perfect well, sense. Did. Sure. No, the the whiskey's liberal now. What are you talking about? Well, I agree, maybe that oh, it's, dude, but no. Yeah. Um, I make my own whiskey. What are you talking about, man? How liberal oh, do I sound? Hell, hell yeah, yeah. yeah dude. You know what? I, 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 um, I make blacks text. make my whiskey. I make my own. Jesus, if Jesus. if if I can pay you for like a, a bottle of that, dude, I will. 
Really? Dude, oh, dude. next time you're wow. in North Texas, I'll give you a couple gallons. Don't worry, keep your I, money. I want to have no, a nice no, tall I, glass. Ship it, ship it to me, dude. I'm legitimately probably four hours away from you. I can probably get a. I can get, a, I can get, a, I can get an Uber up there and back. Uh. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, not, it's an next, Uber. It's, not, it's not called Uber. It's called uh, the next time we brew. It's called the hit. next time we brew. I'll send you a DM. Don't worry about it. I got you, bud. No dude, worries. That would be. I do. I know moonshine is. Dude, I've had plenty of fucking Texas moonshine, but whiskey. Tex, I, make sure mm, you make me a mason jar full of that good mm, stuff. I've never had Texas whiskey. Oh man! Except for it's fucking. Uh, it's pretty much Greek. the same that. The only thing that makes it different is realistically it, nope, the color. And nobody what, knows what, what you're gonna creek whiskey is. That's fucking stupid shit, but it's it, you know, it's good. And, okay. Like I said, what, this what stuff will that? put hair on your chest and make a man out of you. That's all I'm saying. What, what is that yeah. about the color of it though, Tex? About the whiskey? When okay, like when they make Jack Daniels, right? The only reason it comes out uh, brown is because they put it in oak. Containers and let it soak up the color oh, of the wood. No. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like the more the darker oh. that they use, yeah, that's when you see yes. those really dark blends of whiskey. That's why they like use like charred really oak dark barrels. Yeah. Yeah. You yep. know, they use different yep. wood to color it. It Ooh. comes out whenever whenever it comes mm. out of their stills, it's clear. It's clear as water. But the coloring comes from the container that it's in. That's why they let it set for seven. I years. like it when you can actually like taste the. Like when they fucking actually age shit properly, you could taste well, everything. Well, it's because like, I've, I've had it with have wine. You, okay, too. have you ever nice. had a batch of palm brew where they actually put like chunks of oak or whatever into the jar? No, <clears throat> I have not. <laughs> no, well, you can't like when you pour it out, it doesn't like flake off or what anything else. It just it gives it that no, oak. No, no, I, I, I made flavor. plenty of moonshine over well, here, I'd be Joe. Down for that. <laughs> I used to make moonshine. by the gallon. I make moonshine, Joe. Like I said, I I'm a. I ordered your tequila, by the way. What? I watched some of the Mason I jar for tequila. Um, I voted. Like I, I, said, I don't Joe, remember do what I voted have for. Uh, what do you mean? In my state? What are you talking about? No, do you even have tequila with you? Was this? Yeah, yeah. I think you, uh, is this for you to drink these? No, no, no. Yeah, this is. I thought, I, voted or? I thought that's what it was. No, no. Yeah. This was just me voting, like trying to ask people what they would prefer to drink. Yeah, what they vote for. that's why he was asking. Yeah, yeah I, I, I. Okay. I, I actually enjoy all these things. There's, I really couldn't. I do have a soft spot for tequila because it's the first thing I ever drank. That's hard. So I, I do have like a. Nostalgia. I'm down for all of it except for vodka. I, it doesn't settle with me. You want to know what tequila know goes good with, Joe? Oh, you drink it all. Orange juice? No. Glass. McDonald's sweet tea. Tequila yeah, goes no. good with A McDonald's naked woman? Sweet, Joe. Uh, wait, what, Dan? Say again. McDonald's sweet tea and tequila oh, goes good together. That's a weird thing. Like, well, How did you come up with that? I was drunk. <laughs> when I came out with it. Well, see, so <laughs> down, uh, uh, down, uh, uh, down here, sweet tea and, and moonshine whiskey is a regular drink. I mean, that's a normal thing. Yeah. Dan Kenny, yeah, this, is not, you, yeah. this is where you started I mean, fucking singing Fat Lip again, Dan Kenny. <laughs> what, he sung Fat Lip? No, can you say my last name correctly, you stupid Mexican fuck? Like, <laughs> no, <Kennedy. laughs> I know. I'm always going to call you Kenny. Wait, what? Oh my God. <laughs> that is the most <laughs> random Lord. girl I heard. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, no. Josh said he, well, said he wrote it for tequila. So that's oh, yeah, but remember, tequila. folks. I'm part Mexican. The, the, the right. redneck dick. The redneck Santa guy didn't call him a stupid Mexican. The other guy did. Just for the record, I know that one's going to get pinned on me later. So just want that for what, the record. What what kind of tequila did you get? Uh, or are you voting for uh, Josh? Are you talking about gold or fucking clear? Should I, I just poured some tequila right Ooh. now? Oh, really? Pour it all over your pecker. Oh, dude, you can't fucking uh, uh, pour anything uh, on your pecker. What? what that's dude, it's really it's like frozen in my dude. That's going to be a cold pecker, dude. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> Pour it in your pee hole. Be a cold pecker. Pecker wood. <laughs> be a cold pecker, right Peggy. Hey. Ball? I tell you what. Hate. Why don't you hate me, motherfucker? 
the ugly motherfucker hate me. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, Joe, so I can't believe you fucking didn't see fucking wrestling tonight, dude. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I didn't see a lot of things. Fuck. It's just wrestling. Fuck and wrestling. it sucks. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Most times. Shit, dude. Yeah, right. yeah, don't act like it was all great. You know it wasn't. It. It's terrible, dude. Like, yeah, you didn't miss anything. Nah, that's like, right. Yeah, you didn't miss shit, Over here talking to Joe Honestly. like that. I'm surprised you watched it. Fucker. Well, I mean, I watched it because it's Friday, and Fridays are usually fucking better. <laughs> yeah, than I know, oh, but it's a lot of terrible three hours. Oh, dude, it was terrible as fuck. Dude. I fucking, I didn't, I, oh, whoa, whoa. Joe, Joe, Joe's throwing up. He's throwing up. Uh, he's, gonna gonna up. He's, he's gonna puke. He's gonna He is gonna puke. He lost his lunch. When, I would love this. I would. Wouldn't you love, imagine this power if you could go and look at the worst thing that anybody's ever done? Like, and you pick Vince and you go, show me the worst thing Vince McMahon has ever done in his life. Ripped a child in the goes, shower. Oh my God. <laughs> Would he? No, no. Oh, my so God. He just falls no. down and starts going down like, like there's a fucking list of shit. I'll tell you, the, <laughs> the worst thing that he did live was uh, letting uh, Over the Edge go on. The, yeah. Well, it's bullshit. It's I, hey, bullshit. I was there. I watched that. Well, I wasn't there, but I fucking... I, that was the first pay-per-view I bought. God damn it. That would have crushed... Like, I would have been, like, fucked up for two different reasons that night if I was... I was 10 years old. That would have been the worst thing ever, dude. Everyone would have been so bummed. We were already bummed, but like at least the show, like it's like what the fuck? That would have been terrible. Like what? And what kind of respect would that really have fucking shown at the end of the day? They'd have still hated Vince because they would have still hated whoever they used to wire him up or whatever. It's yeah. like I don't know. I I guess because I have like a soft spot for that fucking one, but y'all okay? So we all I, I agree with we, Vince. Did we all actually, hear what he did? That, I agree with it. I would have gone on too, probably, and then I would have danced. Yeah, on... I saw it live. I t- yeah, yeah. I saw I saw it live. I would have danced on Owen in the back. <laughs> Skip to my little. Well, I mean, over the edge. Over the edge. Yeah. Saw, yeah, yeah. I was. I was. I was eleven. I was in middle school. I got the tape. Yeah. I got the tape we right now. Oh, dude, I don't know if I. St- I don't think I have one. mine. Oh, Wait, you got the original audio? I have the original yeah, everything. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, dude, dude I had a tape of that and Raw the next night. We could watch have, it on Discord. I, uh, we should watch it on sure. Discord one night and all react to it. Dude, that oh would be dope. Do you have it? have it on? It was crazy because like, cause, like you uh, it? it was all they didn't yeah. show shit. There really wasn't on. anything. It was Bro. um. Yeah, I got it. Hold on, know. I'll go grab it. Like I got it. Please, please. I, well, I mean, people dude, that didn't see it probably think it. there's shit to see. There really isn't. Like you never see a you thing. Yeah. It's almost like it didn't happen. If you yeah. wait, wait, wait. If, if, if you hear the ja- uh, the you know. Japanese, if you hear the 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 Mexican, uh, fucking audio, audio dude, you hear fucking uh-huh. Hugo going, oh no, oh no, oh you, oh no. the fucking uh no. commentary. I, Oh yeah, shit! I never I heard that. Whole, yeah, the Spanish I commentary. Fucking, I did a whole the Spanish of commentary oh, table had only been there to break his fall. He might still be here. Oh, oh, man. No shit. He should have been. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so Joe? Oh, wait I, mean, I mean, I uh... mean, so Joe, wait a minute. Did you ta- did you tape the first airing of this, the actual live version, or did you get the mm. the encore presentation? I, oh, I guess no. he Dude, we all watched it live. He's, he, wait, he's, he's, no, I'm pretty he's, sure he got the live. And he, back he, then, I don't even think that they had it cleaned up for the encore. I don't believe. No, 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 so. no, because no, because what what happened is like the pay per view would play first, and then they would repeat it, and then of course sometimes like you know oh, things that. would happen live. Yeah. They they would they would edit some stuff out, and I've seen that happen a number of times. I don't see. Yeah, I back then I didn't see that happen much, but I know that I always got it right like live. But dude, it's crazy because like the network just finally put that pay per view up, and on Peacock, and it fucking the editing job's brilliant. It's like it never happened. But honestly, the actual over the edge, other than Jr. and King talking about it, and then panning to the crowd, it's almost like it never happened too. Like it was almost, it was like perfectly timed to where it didn't. You know what I mean? There was no trauma to the audience other than who was there watching. Well, they were and confused. Like, the only thing you see is blood. Like, well, yeah, they were exactly, confused yeah. because because the thing the audience thought it was part of the show, but if like very few spectators were like, "Oh, we saw him fall," 
And I'm. It, I think everybody thing. knew it was fucked up, but I felt bad for the people that were in the audience because you know, right before the Triple H Rock match, they told us all on TV that Owen Hart had just passed away. Like he, they let us know at least. I don't at know how home, the people right. in the audience well, felt. Oh, so yeah. I, uh, right. Right. We'll, we'll stop. How old were you then when you, when you saw that shit? Uh, I, at 99, I was seven going on eight, so I probably was seven at the time. Oh, my God. So you, right. and, you and Josh were the He's youngest right ones. Us. You and Josh were the youngest yeah. ones Dude, here. I was 10. I mean, I was, yeah. I was, I was like, oh, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, yeah. 10 or 11, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I am. I'm fucking three years younger than you. It's not like you were fucking an adult either, you dildo. <laughs> you Wait, still are you still in the call right now? Probably. Probably, yeah. He wants to go get the tape. Because I, I gotta, I gotta watch the part. I gotta watch the part where it went black. Because I always hear, I, uh, you know, eyewitness account. Uh, people black. Watch what happened? Was it, okay, you were watching. I don't remember video. going black. So this is what happened. You're watching a promo of the Blue Blazer. Right. No, I remember that. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they cut to Jr. and and uh, yeah. Jr. It was actually and, just Jr. I think at that point. And King already ran to the ring. King ran to the ring, and he's like, "Yeah, there's a situation going down the ring, but uh, we're gonna move on to the next one." And it was the Godfather versus, um... right? Because I've seen, I've seen the the, the, uh, the, the, the that was him and Godfather. That was supposed to be Godfather and uh, yeah, the Blazer. next one was, I think yeah. the next one was Undertaker mm-hmm. versus Stone Cold. The next one was Jeff Jarrett. No, oh, okay. no, Gorgas, you're Undertaker. not. No, that was the main was, event. You deal. That was the main no, event. No, no. Okay. okay, I'll tell you exactly yeah. what you happened. About, fuck it. What All right, they showed the fucking yeah, interview yeah. with Owen. All right, everybody, quiet. Let Jesse speak. Let Jesse speak. I was. Right. Yeah, but you don't remember it, right, Gorgas? <laughs> no, but I, I remember. I remember this part though. If you look back at it, you can see the fucking Undertaker staring at the fucking broken boards. And the fucking ring that the ring post that they're not supposed to touch. Well, they were told not to go to that part of the ring because yeah. it was it was busted. So he fall. goes to that and he's just staring at it and goes, This is where Owen died. Pretty much. Like he already knew. No, no, they all I kinda yeah, knew. There was a little spot people. over on the end corner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, think of it this way. Think of it this way. Pay-per-view. That's what I remember. Fucking no, but think of it as wait. Like, the next shit. match after the next match that was supposed to be after the the, the Godfather and, and the Blue Blazer. Was that yeah, next tag yeah. match with Val Venus and Nicole Bass versus Jeff Jarrett yeah. and Deborah? Jeff Jarrett, yeah. And Jeff was in Poor tears. And Deborah were in tears yep. before they even went out there. They it showed yeah. on the interview, and they were so screwed but, up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, See, was suffer, like, yeah you remember? Oh, oh yeah. So, like, you, it was oh, basically... so here's, a, here's a behind yeah. the scenes deal where The Rock had heard as Triple H and oh. were going over their match, and Rock was about to go out there, yeah. but he's just like. Dude, don't go out there because it's like you know it's there. People are gonna think this is a work. And here's another story. Oh, Rock, was, Rock was trying. Rock was trying to make sure that the ambulance was about to leave with his with Owen because they were slowing down. And Rock got so pissed, he almost grabbed the driver out of the ambulance, saying, "Move this freaking car now. Get my friend to the hospital." This fucking car. Wow. Like he was pissed off. And can you imagine a pissed off Rock at that point? Hmm. Yeah, oh, dude, because they, they were close. You know, I mean, what I mean? they it, obviously it, knew he was dying. He was already pretty much dead. But oh, he was, he dead. was He was dead. He yeah, was dead. he was semi. He was like his heart hadn't stopped beating yet. But yeah, there was no saving him. No, no his yeah, heart is a shame. Jerry, because Jerry Lawler was in the ring with them, and he can even see the fact that like his his um his arm was like extended, and he couldn't really like bend his arm down, and he literally saw the blood vessels like li- everything was just gone out of his face. It was just white. It was just a white, you know, clearing. It was so bad, wow. dude. And so that's why whenever I hear people saying, yeah. "Oh, let's put Owen in the WWE Hall of Fame," dude, Martha Hart doesn't want that crap because it was an investigation. Yeah. You're literally putting on a show, yeah. continuing a show during a death or, or, or a, a victim has died here. Okay, and, that I kind of get. I get that part. You know, but and I yeah, and, I, and for a long time I didn't get it until I heard her say it, and I'm like, yeah, that makes a. But you know, at the same time, he wasn't the first one. He, you know, at the same time though, he wasn't the first one to ever die in the. It's like. No, no, no. I know what you're saying. The first one to die in the ring. I know what you're saying, Justin, in terms of somebody dying in the ring, but the thing is, that way, the way that Owen died had never been done before. And it was stupid because he didn't want to go up there. Honestly, the the way he hit the ring was fine. They needed to investigate the fucking people that harnessed up the motherfucker. That they did. That's the you know. He said that he was the one that tested it out. He didn't test it out. Yeah, they used a sandbag. 
They used a sandbag mm. to do it. So he didn't. T- he said he tested it out though terribly. Well, like, well, yeah, well, no, 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 no. They, they, he, so they, a few, wait, a wait, a few not, oh, yeah, really? well, Okay, he's going. He's going off of the old one. So okay, before they did that Owen spot. They had used different equipment. This one they used the fucking a sandbag. To fucking, yeah, they actually got they the used... guys that fucking work with Maiden now. That does their so, stage set? <laughs> so, so basically, if he didn't, if he if he moved just a, like a a flinch, this motherfucker would unhook so fucking easily. And that's pretty. Oh much yeah, no, because you want to know what they used? They used a fish. It's uh, supposed fishing to be harness. for quick release. Yeah, quick release yeah. harness. That's and what but what happened yeah, was he moved his shoulder apparently, or he like did something with his with his arm, and that was I'm the theory. Yeah. Of the quick release. If you're fucking falling from eighty fucking feet, of course you're gonna fucking flinch. And like, uh, you're not uh, gonna be dead. And Jesse, <laughs> here's a down. little here's a little tidbit wow. that nobody really knows about. As he's falling, he's telling the referee to move out of the way so he didn't. Oh, like, I fall heard on that. Him. Yeah. Yeah, he oh, said, that broke my heart. Away. That he broke said, my out. heart. Me too. Look out. He said, look out. And uh, that's oh, from a fan. Oh, it was from a fan okay. three three rows in. That's what he was really saying, but <laughs> I believe the word. No. Damn it, Justin. He, no. he said, Santa. Hey, hey, that was one of the best Owen jokes I've ever done in the past. No. no he he fucking, you're right. Though, that, what, a, what a sweet He's... guy. No, it's, a, it's fantastic. Owen would love it. I'm about to say, might not know. You know, I, haven't, I haven't come in six months because I can't find my over the edge DVD. God damn it. Oh, no. no, but, oh, but no. The, the thing that really that really curates me though is the fact that again, it's not saying that Vince shouldn't have been responsible because he did pay the family. He did. But oh, ultimately the give a shit about the money, dude. Okay. They're fucking yep. wanted their yeah, dad. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Martha Martha knew when the lawyer said, Yo, all you're gonna really get is money, you're not gonna get anybody in jail. And unfortunately, it's not necessarily Vince's fault directly, but yes, it, it is really his fault. It's because... not at all, Wait, who, really. Who forced who forced growing up there? Well, no, buddy, it's not that. It's dude, honestly, it's, it's the, the company's liable. The company, not his company, the company that fucking that harnessed him up. Well, whoever was that was Owen not want to go up there. Liable. To begin with. Owen, Owen did not want to go up there, and he and it, it wasn't that he made it adamantly that he didn't want to go up there. He basically was a, with a friend before he went to the arena. He was with a fan because he uh-huh. would he would travel with fans to like save costs on hotels and sleep at somebody's Aww. house. And they would treat him like gold, That's and he cool. would sign autographs and stuff. So Owen was with a fan. He was with a fan That's friend at Starbucks or something like that. And Owen was uh-huh. not was there for the run back then. Yeah, yeah, no, no. barely, so, but they were. No, no. So, so Owen, Owen was with his friend, and basically he got a call from I guess uh, whomever was running the building or whomever was under Vince, and basically said, "You need to get your ass over to the arena because if you don't, you're going to get fired." Because he was avoiding the rehearsals for that 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 uh stunt, and Owen's like telling his friend, "Okay, well if I if I don't go to the arena, I'm fired, and my family doesn't have income, so I better go to the arena now." And and yeah. Owen actually left some of his gear or some of his belongings to this fan, and then apparently I think Sergeant Slaughter or somebody who's in um, the higher ups called for that stuff to be returned like the next day, yeah. and they got the stuff. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, honestly, um, Owen, like, I feel like, it, it, I mean, he had to think about his family, but dude, I, I don't know if Vince would have fucked. Maybe he would have. I, I feel like he they wouldn't fired. have just shit canned Owen. He I feel like maybe WCW he wouldn't have. I mean, could time. you really shit him it's like you, after what he did to Brett? Like, you really gonna shit can Owen like that? Well, this guy's been a thing, soldier here's, for here's you. The thing. Here's the thing. Even if you suspended Owen on some BS, first and foremost, everybody would have rebuttaled, even at that time when those social media, like on the .com mm-hmm. website, and that would have been screwed mm-hmm. up. So I think if he did fire him, it would have been like, okay, you wanted to be released, uh, allegedly, which, by the way, Owen didn't want to be released. He wanted to stay in the company. He understood the situation with Brad. He would have left was, if he really wanted to. Yeah, he, If you really yeah, wanted, wanted to, he would have left. Yeah, he would have left if he really wanted mm-hmm. to. But Owen was was a professional and a class act, and he loved the boys. You know what I mean? That's what he lived for, practical jokes and ribs and all that stuff. I mean, the best rib that – one of my favorite ribs that he ever did was he put in the hog pen, the hog pigs like in Vince's office, and they crapped everywhere. 
You know what I mean? It was the best rib ever. <laughs> and uh, and by the way, that's probably you know revenge for certain boys that ever felt like they got screwed by Vince, but they really didn't get screwed by Vince. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, yeah, no, Owen. Um, I can't wait for the Owen Hart tournament that's going to happen in AEW. I'm really looking forward to that. You know, the only thing that ever made me uh think like. Because I like everything you just said about him, right? Like that, that's what everyone seems to say about him and all that. The only thing I've ever heard that was kind of like where I, where Owen kind of didn't give a shit it was X Pac. He was saying he's like, man, Owen was great. He's like all these things, but you know. And then he said the only thing about Owen, man, that I didn't like was man, right. you know, sometimes you're out there in a match, he doesn't give a shit. He, if he's yeah. not in the mood, he won't even give you a punch. He won't even work you. He'll just kind of barely slap you. Oh, in dude! The ring. Like in the one middle of, my, of fans, the whole time. Like, when when come, in the mood. What am I? Feeling it's when I see my brother die. No, no, no. What, what am Jesse? I? Oh, tell God. me, Jesse. Tell me. What did you say that day? What is I don't, dude. I just right hang on. You just, dude. What the fuck did you? You just interrupt Mustafa. Oh, he was talking. That wasn't Jesse. What are you doing? Okay, I was talking. <laughs> any, at any rate, so Joseph Joseph Ross on the chat said Owen did this over a cheating storyline with Jared and whatever. Well, that was originally going to be the, the the thing, but <laughs> Owen did not want to do that because he didn't want to I mean? like disrespect his family or whatever. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's like C three PO. You just got to tell him, hey man, don't, never tell me all odds. <laughs> well, uh, well, this is the thing. He didn't want, he didn't like the risque stuff that was happening on TV, and then that's why they put him Josh in the <laughs> Am I am I yeah. remembering does John Michaels do the same type of entrance at one point? No. no oh, so he was, was way involved. better hooked in. He was hooked in well. There was yeah, no yeah, way he, he was falling. Well, right. Well, they shouldn't have done him on the freaking Raptors in the first place. Well, his parents even, were freaking out about well, that. Well, well, yeah, even Jr. says that they that they had no creative for him. Well, look look at he WrestleMania 15. Edge, Christian, Gangrel, they were all hanging. Shit. Right. And nobody got hurt. Well, look across the aisle, the WCW and Stang over there. Bingo. Oh, that's, yeah. oh, that was, that's, that that's the, the same company. Blue Blazer coming down I was listening that's to the same Eric, company. Eric Bischoff's podcast. He was, I forget which one it is, but the, after that happened, you know, Brett was already in WCW or whatever. And uh, yeah. they, they asked okay. Stang, they said, the, uh, apparently Eric like asked him directly, do you still want to do this? And he like Sting apparently kind of felt pressured to do it because, you know, that was part of the crow gimmick and whatever. Right. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. he obviously That's went what, through with it or whatever. There was one, time, was a whole had, thing. There was this one time where he had a dummy. It was a sting dummy and he went through yeah. the ring. Do you remember that? Uh-huh. And uh, fucking, yep. Do you remember? Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, and then that, fucking yeah. Scott Hall started laughing. They're like, look at that shit. And then fucking Steve comes out of nowhere. He's oh like, do you remember? I was like, yeah, oh, that's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember I mean, that. Yeah, Sting yeah. never wanted to do but, the rap. So thing who did that? Place. And when, when what was that? Sting never wanted to do the Raptor thing in the first place. You see, what, um, it was I don't... like freaking he was nervous about doing it in the first place. But once he probably did, a little I'm bit, but he he never really showed it to like to the company he never like really like let him on yeah, to saying that yeah. he didn't want to I mean, do it nah sting was always he was a guy, so. yes, say, yeah, yeah sting yeah. was mr wcw for a reason i mean oh, hell yeah, yeah like if you go back and listen to the interviews he's done about it and like when like when they first brought it to him they had the stunt guys do it you know a few times practice it out then he went up there and did it and once he realized how cool it would be for the crow character, he was on board. Yeah. And, and also, and also, yeah, mind you, saying, like because it was that fucking gimmick that you need to fucking go right. off of it. It was the it was the it was the nineties, man. You right. have to be that exciting. Or if you're not, if you, if you don't have titties coming, puppies, you know that shit coming up. And also, oh, mind you, yeah. it was a different and also, time from the helicopter. Yeah. Too. Hey, oh, the, the yeah, helicopter. you did the helicopter, but then uh, then you oh. know you see. Um, you know, uh, three, four years prior to that, Shawn Michaels, right, doing it from fucking a zip line. Yeah. Uh, like, what? Twelve. When did which which mania was it that Undertaker came down from the ceiling with the bat wings? Ooh. Oh no, no, that, that wasn't was WrestleMania. That, that was Survivor Series. Survivor that Series. Like, oh, yeah. was that, Survivor that was, series? Survivor, that was, that was nice. his. That was his fucking like tenth Survivor Series, wasn't it? Eighth. No, no, no. That yeah, was New York it, it was a little before then. Eighth. 
Yeah, wasn't New that York. when he got his crow, his Phantom of the Opera gimmick with because of yeah. the eye socket? No, 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 no. That was, was 96. Well, 96 were uh, Survivor That Series. was when he okay. died he was only four, or whatever. Four. four years in the business? Five, six years in the business? Damn. Six years, yeah. 90, so 96 Survivor in, Series. In WWE. Okay. Not in the business, but in WWE. That's crazy. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So again, with do. with it's Owen, amazing. with Owen, no, with Owen. I mean, again, as, especially after hearing Martha, because I heard hear interviews here and there, just her, just you know, burying WWE mm-hmm. and rightfully so to a degree. But ultimately, though, I I would just like to give Vince the benefit of the doubt that he didn't know that that was going to happen. But again, no, hiring a guy that is not going to give like a full harness to like protect the guy. That's BS. I still blame that. Harvest uh the, the harness company, but I also blame more or less that they couldn't pick the, like you know a didn't better just sh- idea. Yeah. No, no like, you're he right. didn't, ha- he well, didn't wait, have to come did, down. Didn't they just like. switch? Well, Gar because Gargut said that, and I think I've heard this too, but I've heard two things. I've heard that they just switched, and I've also heard that I think Maiden still works with those guys, but so uh, who knows what maybe I guess they still work with this job. But Gargut, didn't you say that the Sting used the same fucking company? Same company. Yep. Mm. They, and that was uh, the company that was still with them when Owen did when okay, Owen so, fell. Uh, no, yeah, they so originally? what happened? They were originally another company, and the yeah. Uh, wait, what were you saying, Josh? What, weren't they originally supposed to use the same company, but then they went cheap? I think in Dark so, Side of the Ring, Martha. Was something like that. Like that. Yeah, something so like that. Dr- in Dark Side of the Ring, that's what I didn't get. It. I didn't get. It. I was just like, I don't I've see it. Seen, Their fucking I've shows seen. bias, though. I, that's the only thing yeah. about them. Yeah, that I don't. Yeah, so, they work I don't, I don't so like that show. So apparently, apparently, this is why they they stopped using this the Sting thing is because it was the same company from all the shoot interviews that I've seen. Uh, and I'm just like, oh, okay, okay. That's so I go off lame, by, but I get that. All I go right. off and watch shoot <laughs> interviews, and then when I see Dark Side of the Ring, I'm just like. Ugh. It's not to be on, you know, because I've seen a lot of controversial stuff, and and I've I've talked about it on my streams a lot of times, and I'm just like, dude, the, the whole Crispin Wall thing, I was just like, I call bullshit in like at least three things. Like, well, 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 the Crispin, the Chris, Crispin Wall thing again. There's a lot of pieces of information that we still don't know that happened within that house. Exactly. And, not, and, and, and again, people, because people are keeping quiet and they have their own fucking thing. Well, again, no. There's like, only there's only three yeah, people who like, knew. You know, it's 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 either this happened or this happened or this happened or this happened. I'm like, yo, this never well, happens. Well, so well, it's we, like there's there's so many un, uh loose uh they're 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 loose fucking ropes. You know what I'm saying? You need to tie that shit up. Well, if we that, do know that, that we do know how Chris killed himself. We do know that for a fact in terms of him just mm-hmm. like taking the weights that and just literally hanging himself, and that's his torture. How in the that hell? Was a, yeah, that was why, the but, most brilliant the way. Is, the thing is, it. Oh, it's I love a, it. Why, why are there fucking um, evidence that he didn't do stuff, and it's on his blood or nothing around him? And then it's like, it's like, it's like a, kind of a sacrifice. Well, the, toxic, well, well, the, well, the well, the toxicology, came, the toxicology came. Shit. Well, the toxicology reports came back, and he had uh, a, a, a few substances in him, but not to the point where it was just like, yeah. like for example, he had alcohol in his system, and he had obviously. Yeah. Some um obviously some testosterone because he was taken out from that doctor. But other than that, it was a multitude of things. Also, mind you, that this guy had mental health issues that were just boiling over a course of period of time. So yeah. he, just one small thing could have just made him snap. And then I think he realized after that he's like, "Holy crap! I just killed my wife. I don't want to go to jail." And, and I don't well, want that, my son to that, grow would, up. that would be that would be legitimately like the first thing you would do. Yeah, I understand that, but. When it comes back normal in his fucking blood system and his fucking, uh, you know, his his, his fucking his, his last death report, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I, he's clean. And not, I, I've heard, so, yeah. I heard, I've Thank heard you. something different. What, what did you hear, Dan? Everybody says like, but there's a lot of different shit out there. I think that's what most, uh, Mustafa, Mustafa was saying about fucking like. There's I, I just heard, like I heard different shit I out heard there. You. I heard he was dead before. Except we don't know. Mm-hmm. Do you think he was dead before he was, he was on the machine? Before. Okay. No, I've heard uh, that a couple Josh, times. Josh. You know. I think it was just. Well, was you saying, either um, have to be incredibly strong, like to do it to yourself, like he was, or you'd have to be incredibly strong to do it to somebody who was already dead, like, like, you know, you'd have to be yeah, like, uh, what like fucking, what's his face? Who's the dude it's that he like fucking he didn't have enemies? It's not like he didn't have enemies. 
Well, you know, it's funny because it, uh, it. he just went up there. We did a couple reps and a uh, job done. <laughs> walked out. No, no, no. <laughs> um, honestly, I think it was just mainly because Chris was dealing with like a lot of deaths, like not just Eddie's, but like. Oh no, I think it was Chris for sure. He was a martyr for God, for Christ's sake. That was his complex that was fucked up from day one, probably. Well, because well, he was and trying all to find answers. Didn't help. He was trying to find answers of like, you know, what the heck is life and why am I going through this right now? And, yeah, you, know, you don't have to kill your goddamn wife and kid for that, but I kind of get I know, it. I know. He should have just it, killed himself, though. That's the thing. Like, if you want to be a martyr for it, great. Like, yeah. Why do you have to he, take them with you? Is that, like, <laughs> if he had just killed himself, then it would have been a whole different story entirely. Then it would just yeah. be a sad yeah. story of just yeah. him and the fact that he had to take his he own family like out. He felt like he wouldn't have them he in the afterlife. He the probably Hall felt like then. he. So that, so that's why I, I hate the fact shit about that Hall of Fame. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. I hate the fact that people still go after David Benoit when he was just an innocent bystander and all this, and people making fun right. of him and threatening him. I'm like, screw you. Yeah, like, you know I feel I mean? bad about that dude because he looks just. You talk about his son, right? Yeah. Yeah. Son? Yeah. 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 son? What? Yeah, he has two boys. What? Well, two all I know is he looks yeah. just yeah. like him. No, I'm that, saying that that right why going, no, I know he has two boys, but I'm saying why would the <laughs> fuck would he go after David? I, I dude. Oh, just because people are fucked up. Well, well, no, no, no. David was no, David it's, wasn't it's, with him that weekend when everything went right. down. He was back home in Calgary. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, in Edmonton. I fucking I told you because I told Joe the other day, I was like, yo, Joe, you should fucking uh, go up to um, fucking David and fucking say, hey, bro. Oh, yeah, we were joking about that. That was a fucked up, a funny bit. <laughs> they chose. They chose to go. They chose to go after David because he hold, because he holds the Benoit name. They wanted. They, they literally. Nobody's going after David. What are we talking about? Oh no, no yeah, trolls on the internet. Going, trolls on the internet. Uh, tro- oh, trolls on the internet. Who the, the internet? Okay. Dude, if they're if they're trolls, they already fucking don't give a shit. So they they <laughs> it shouldn't be. No, no, no. But so seriously, it's though, called, it's it's called it's called um concern trolling, and that does not it's an onomatopoeia. No, no, but think of it this way. Think of it this way. The funeral happens, right? And it's a very private funeral. JR is the only WWE representative, and he did not want to be there for the sake of the fact that he was going to take the heat from the company. And then Nancy, who's uh, Benoit's wife, basically his sister like went up to him and was like, what the hell are you doing here? Get the hell up out of here. And I don't blame her to a degree, but I also know that it's just like Vince wasn't going to go there. He's Vince. And he's got a company to run, so and he wants like that. Yeah. Go after Jr. Oh, Jr. is a sweetheart. Right, yeah. Say. Well, what? Well, well, I, I, I think they've forgiven uh, each uh, other uh, uh, over time, but still, though, it was it was just crap. The it was just a crap situation. As far as yeah. I know, the re- yeah. the reason they're they're going after David, I guess he said something about wearing his father's old gear and coming out to his father's old theme song. Oh God! Let him uh, do it. That's his goddamn I mean, right. Let him go I mean, for I mean, it. That, that's I'm his kidding. fucking. I mean, He's a fuck. fucking dad. What? You, what, what well, he could, he couldn't. He couldn't do that in WWE. Obviously, and even if that was rem- remotely possible, that him being in WWE, they would put a mask over him right. and change his name. What, yeah, what which is a about? shame. I don't see it like I don't know. Like all that's ridiculous anyway. It's like I actually. I, know. Good for, I, I doubt that's even true, but if it is, I hope he does good. I hope he does his dad's finishers too. Fuck everybody else. How about that? Yeah, dude. I want him to fucking. Yeah. Awkward silence. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> you, you, Jesus, Cargus. You got to get your transmitters transmitting faster. You need some, dig, you need some Digitech. Well. Well, anyway, oh no. yeah, Nancy Nancy Benoit is from Boston. Jimmy Joyce, yeah, no, I know. Um, yeah, but dude, ultimately though, dude, they, they were in some amazing shit. I, well, fuck talking about from death Boston. Shit. I, dude, I'm seeing like, well, I think so, right? Oh, oh, Northern Sky. Basically, uh, Benoit killed Nancy by choking her out, pretty much, and strangled her, yeah. and then yeah. wrapped her body in a rug. I am checking my fucking goddamn wow. audio levels. So, like, okay. So it's nobody. Dude, all fucking... I know is fucking like it's, what? Go. What? What? Perfect you keep up. coming in and fucking making it weird. What is wrong? Are you talking to me? Did you fix it? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Get your shit together. Yeah, that, yeah. Get your Lord. lips together. 
I can probably dude, get a fucking Amazon. They'll have you a new mixer in like six hours. Go for it. Dan Kenny, Dan Kenny, just sing me fucking fat lip. Don't go fucking after Dan just because his audio sounds better. You did. His audio sounds better. He just has bigger lips. I can, I can sing your theme song. Tequila. Oh, nobody, if nobody's picking tequila out here, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, I'm drinking tequila. tequila right now, so fuck anyone that doesn't like tequila. How about that? Whenever you, I, I whenever you were about to sing Gargas theme song, I was hoping you were gonna sing the Mexican hat dance. So you got da, 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 That's what I thought he was doing, dude. His name is Gargas. His name is Gargas. He's gonna fuck it up. You know what I call what it, what we call it down here is it's it's called la cucaracha. Yes, la cucaracha. La oh, cucaracha. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's a good garage. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I really yeah. want a horn that does that, dude. That's what I'm talking about. All you gotta do is go to a soccer game, Jesse, and just do it. <laughs> oh, fuck that, dude. I don't like soccer. <sighs> You'll like soccer, moms, though. Yeah, but you don't need stalker for that. You just no. need the moms, no. man. You just need a van. Need the moms are no, great. You when you yeah, give you them just need a love, van. You know need, no, what they you really need, are. Jesse, that is Jesse. right. You do need the van, Jesse. What? But you need a you need the a sandwiches soccer. with the crust cut off. Je- Jesse, you need the you need oh, the van. No, but you need a soccer what? and then throw her in the van and then you take off. And then the just make sure your van doesn't have any windows in it, so whenever you throw them in, they can't escape or anything. That's the trick. So, oh, there you go. Gotcha. I mean, he's got cages in his van. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Well, it blew into the fucking floor of the van. Free, they ain't going anywhere. You put like free candy or free whatever for whoever you're trying to yeah, target. Free ninety nine. If anybody's ever off. been in the in the utility van, it's always got a cage. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, so it's like when you open a locker, it's like it's a cage, it's a cage, it's a cage. So and you have all well, the shit. In and there. if if you can't afford a cage, a hammer is a lot cheaper. You just whack them in the head one time. Hammer and nails, hammer and nails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get get nailed in the van. Good size one. <laughs> yeah. If you can't afford a hammer, duct tape is always cheaper. There if I had go. a hammer. Yeah, but duct tape, I ain't gonna knock a bitch out with a roll of duct tape. I need the hammer just for that. Like, just be the I'm gonna try and think. I guess. Knock out. You just seem to do the worm. I guess if you don't have the hammer, you could, as you're walking them to the van, you could smack them with the door of the van and then throw them in. <laughs> no, no, actually, dude, if you get a big enough roll of that gorilla tape, dude, that shit, <laughs> wow, that will fucking probably nail somebody. You know, there's good. somebody listening right now that's taking notes on our set. They are that taking notes. They're like, okay, we're totally going to uh-huh. be this tomorrow, guys. They yeah. want to be the hey, next. Hey, man, that's all good. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Real quick. The participants on the Joe Conan show and Joe Conan are not liable for any kidnapping that I have. Right, right. I, I am not liable for any yes. idea I'm that I'm giving liable. you about how to kidnap um, people against you. Yo, yo. So, text, text. Don't shoot me. What, this, what is kind of, what, making, this is love making. I thought we were talking now. about having have this or, shit. Text, text. What kind what of, kind of door we talk, What kind of what kind of door are we talking about? Like an '89 Oldsmobile or like a? Well, I'm not talking about a big old steel door. Old school, man. Yeah. Anything that's made out of steel and aluminum. Are we talking about fiberglass. Like this plastic yeah. crap. This plastic fiberglass no, crap is not going to knock some yeah. anybody out. You need at like least like a mid nineties. That's that's what he means. Get like a yeah. mid nineties Chevy Aerostar van with those heavy doors, right? Oh god! So when damn. they walk, we can do it. smack them in the forehead, and they're out for like two days. Is that the van they I had on Friday the Thirteenth, like oh. three or some shit? Like, that's the Probably. van that was, like, in every horror movie, yeah. every fucking 80s no, no, no. movie. The Friday like, 13, what, the, the Michael Myers van, the Michael Myers fucking, are you talking about that? No, that's not. No, no that's just for his Friday the 13th. Oh, that, Friday dude, the 13th. Uh, that was, like, a, yeah. a hearse truck, dude. That shit was weird. Uh, I had a well, neighbor yeah. across what? the street. Well, every time, every, a, every time. No, no, oh, no, dude, this was, this was a fucking I'm talking about truck. part three. Yes. Oh, we 
We okay. okay, so we were, we were practice. Okay, so there was this hot girl across the street from where we practiced, and her fucking boyfriend drove that fucking van. It was green too. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! We would walk outside. I was like, dude, this is fucking crazy. We just, we just took pictures in front of it. This is before <laughs> like, this is like during like this is 2004. So MySpace was just getting out. Of course, all this shit is not there anymore because mm-hmm. MySpace fucking revamped everything. They fucking delete everything. But, dude, we were taking pictures of this shit. I was like, dude, it's the it's that fucking exact fucking thing. And then um, we uh, saw that movie. What's it called? Joyride. That that same night. Yeah. And they were like, it's the same movie. It's the same fucking kind of fucking kind of truck. Like evil truck coming at somebody, and it's very well, fucking. He um, had a fucking semi rig. Well, it was a semi rig, but dude, honestly, dude, come on, you know that it was coming off of the. It was. You're talking about a different movie, I, know a different, I think, because no, there's know, a movie where they go after a dude Wait. with a truck, oh, like what I think Kane. you're talking about. Candy cane. Candy that's Joyride. Cane. That's Joyride. Yeah, I know it? that's Joyride. I'm sorry. I think there's another movie that you're talking about though, because I remember Jeepers another Creepers. one with the actual like truck. Jeepers oh, Creepers. Oh, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeepers Creepers oh. is the one where the couple is driving in the van and they see the creep throwing that body down the storm drain. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. That, that okay. All that uh, shit reminds me of Creepers and Part Two. Remind me of that fucking goddamn. <laughs> well, see, I, I won't watch Jeepers Creepers anymore, because... dude. Like, that, Why? that's a whole thing, dude. I'm like, not gonna you lie. Not oh, know the No, in Texas, no, in Texas. Oh, tell, oh. tell them how it's done in Texas. When you go on the fucking, we're on the roads. When you're on the roads. Yeah. This oh no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about any what? legend of lore. I'm talking about about the guy that created the character, made all the movies. Is a freaking conv- uh-huh. a convicted child pedophile Ooh. that put pedophilic Ooh. jokes in the movies after he was convicted for pedophilia. Like oh, it didn't come God. out until like. No. If you go back and you watch, um, I forget which one of the Jeepers Creepers is. It's one of the first three, but there's a joke okay. about little boys in their underwear in the script. Oh, they're probably. And then once uh, that came, they probably once had them on that set. came out. What's that? that he, they probably had oh, them on wow. set. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, the dude that, like I said, uh, developed and created the character and produced those films, mm-hmm. um, uh-huh. he went to prison for like 10 years for that shit, dude. Like, it's so bad. Wow. They recently made a new one. They had to like make a public statement of this guy is nowhere near this movie because there was such public outrage. Oh shit! Mm. I haven't seen him yeah. since part two, so wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Well, Jesus Christ! Back when part two came out, nobody knew it. Like we didn't know who this guy yeah. was. That's why everybody liked the films. Yeah. They're good movies. Oh, with you, oh, but with look, Creepers, looking what back, you? it's a whole thing. Dude, would you? Ah, dude. Okay, so Jeepers Creepers and the other one I was talking about, Joyride. Okay, which one? It's pretty much the same movie, right? No, so, I don't think Jeepers so. Creepers is about a, a is a movie about a monster that every twenty seven years comes back to life or something. Yeah. Why do I? Yeah, yeah. You're, right, you're right. I just felt like it was yeah. the same fucking movie. <laughs> like, no, I don't know. Maybe it's the same era. Isn't Joyride about the the it's the, a, it's the, the highway the fucking, killer yeah, that the highway killer, he gets yeah. a, he gets a ride with people and then kills them? Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, to, to be a large that, monitor, that, that is, Cynthia. That is what Joyride's about, I think. Yeah, I, I think I, it is. I legitimately fucking like Joyride more than Jeepers Creepers, but there's two Joyrides too. There's one with fucking um, Tobey Maguire. And that's one where this he's like <laughs> legitimately looking at his fucking you, best friend. Can you bring some of that ch- uh, pink champagne, Gargots? I mm. like some pink champagne. The fuck are you talking I'd about? like some pudding in my asshole. That's, Could you it's baby? It's Joyride, you dildo. You fucking Joyrider. Okay. Here's the See, there's two Joyrides. There's two Joyrides, though. There's two Joyrides. Oh, my God. You're breaking. talking about... Okay, the second one no one cares about. Jesus Christ. But it's the first and one Joyride, nobody cares about. The second Joyride one nobody cares about. Joyride says it's wow. summer breaking. College freshman, Lewis Thomas, 
has decided to embark on a cross-country road trip to pick up the girl of his dreams. But (laughs) his romantic hopes... You're so into movies so deeply you forget the reality of them. Uh, <laughs> Wait, which one's the one's Toby McGuire in? Because that there's two Joy Ryan, the gay one, and uh, oh Toby Jesus, McGuire. And R- Toby McGuire is in one of of the Joy Rides, and he's like, bang, 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 I got a gun. No, wait, that was the other Joy Rides. Okay, yeah, no, he is right, well, so, but it, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, you just wow, Jesus. Okay, fuck. yeah, he's right. There's two different <laughs> Joy Rides. There, there, there uh, is the one with Toby McGuire. Oh says it's Joy Ride in the first one, craving is, friends. He, Get more than they bargain for when they steal oh, boy. a hit woman's automobile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not that's a movie that nobody. See, that's not the. Yeah, not nobody the cares one. about that one. For right. Sake. I, it's well, the no, other it's, one everyone it likes. It made a money. There is two joy rides, though. No, there is a the joy, other ride. joy ride. Has there's Paul two, Walker in. and I think you it's might be. Just like there's that. two movies called Traffic. And one of them is about no, I know, but I'm thinking you you might be thinking of Joyride Part Two, which about... that's that's literally Oops. like a bullshit <laughs> thing. I don't know what the fuck is going on, Joe. Where the fuck are you? I'm right what here. I've been talking the whole time. He's right oh, here. Oh, thank God. Jesus and you Christ. didn't know, no, you. Do you have the tape? Because this is going. Yeah. Oh Dude, we're no. Do you have the tape? Jump a fucking iceberg. With these I hear. I could. it is out You're there. I didn't find it. It must be in the box, but I do have it. I will find it. We will it's watch dude, it. It's, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got all the yeah, other things. Fuck. I went and pissed instead, and then I fell up the stairs. Ha <laughs> ha! Fell up. That, that's the first. That's the second time I've heard somebody say that. I fell up the stairs. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> like that. That gallop. I actually witnessed that happen. Yeah, I fall so and hit you... my face. <laughs> oh my god. No, I was saying, when you go up the stairs, right. you're like, oh, you've made it. And then you fall up when you trip on the third stair up. Up the down yeah. staircase. Isn't up. that the classic? And yeah. then, no, you, no, and then you fly over the staircase and you end up on the base. It's like I was running you're up good. the stairs and I fell forward. You stub your toe. Yeah. I, um, oh, Jesus Christ. Stub my dick. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh. God. You want to step it back? You step it on my dick, man. Airheads, airheads. Uh, I had a long ass cool. day today, bro. I don't know. I fucking fell up the stairs. I, I, I hear you. I fell up the stairs. Ah, uh, you fell up. The, did you hit a vent? I should have. I wish I fell off the stairs. That'd been kind of funny if I fell like, because then I would have fallen into the kids like kitchen thing and all the toys and like it would have been funny. Oh fuck! I mean, do you, do you have a? That'd have, have been a hell like of a, a bump. Do you have like a fucking camera right there? To see that, I wish I did. That would be funny. I wish we had the camera, the security cameras. When I had fallen down the stairs outside, that would have been really like you would have been amazed that I didn't go to the hospital. You would have been like, "All right, that's a broken hip." Oh shit! You like, straight shoot how, up. How, how, how tall are you? What are you? Nah, like, you're ten. Sixty-nine. No, five ten. Yeah. Okay, so you're like about same height as um Tim Allen. So the fuck he would always. Hit the fuck what? out of the goddamn staircase! You could have picked so, anybody in the world. You fucking picked Tim Allen. What the fuck? You could have picked me. Yeah. Fucking no, dog, no. he's on you, rare form tonight. Can, but... you, can you can you wait for the fucking joke, motherfuckers, before you start laughing? Yeah, I, know where I just hope there is know. one. I know exactly where Gargatz is going. All right, all right, all right. So uh, yeah, Tim he hits Allen his head every... on the pipe when he goes. Yeah. Exactly. This motherfucker falls down the stairs every time he goes up the stairs. Right. <laughs> Fucking Tim Allen hits the pipe every time he goes down the stairs. Right. It's. So That's why funny. does that matter if Joe's fucking five ten or not? Doesn't mean Tim joke. Allen. How do you know what size Tim Allen is? So a basement going down, <laughs> you were eventually have this fucking awkward steep. It's a show. <laughs> yeah, I mean. He could be five fucking eight and still make the clip because it's part of the show. See, it's like it's not real life. Holy crap. Tim Allen actually is 5'10 on Google. So he got that one right. <laughs> fucking Christ, Gargantz. <laughs> you are a creepo. How the fuck do you know these Gargantz things? Gargantz is a stalker, bro. He's a stalker. <laughs> the fuck? How big is, pi- how big is pickle? His I am. I don't know how Allen. big is his pickle? He's, 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 I don't know. I don't know, Joe. I don't know you, Joe. You have you have to fucking. Uh, it's five six. <laughs> I can <laughs> literally see no. talking somebody from the pickup truck, and he's got a forty. He's just chilling. He's just like, yep, yeah, that guy's uh, he's five eleven. 
280 pounds. Yeah, I, yeah, I flip him over. You ever? You there ever? You you, okay, it's not. It's not a creeper. It's, it's oh, stupid God. amateur profiling. That's all it is. What? That sounds even what? worse. Profile, huh? That sounds you, worse. You never, no, yeah, no, it's profiling, man. That's what fucking the IMDb fucking overload. <laughs> that dude. What the fuck are you doing? What are you up to, Gargas? Are you gonna kill a celebrity? I mean, what's going on? <laughs> I already dude, did. Already celebrities? Are you kidding me? That is so weird. The only person. Dude, if he on, starts man. talking about Vince McMahon, I mean, Tex, you might not have Damn. to do shit. <laughs> yeah. This is bizarre. <laughs> I would I would totally fucking start talking about Vince, but no, it ain't gonna happen. Yet. If you do kill right. Vince McMahon, make sure it's done in a conspiracy theory if type anything, way, because that's extra points for me, by the way. If anything so, is gonna, goes. if anything if anything's gonna be Stephanie before oh. so. like if you can like do him Shane, like uh, Shane kills Vince. Marilyn Monroe got done like you know choked on pills with no water like that'd be great because that'd be like ten points for me so. Dude, can I you imagine it. if Shane McMahon did do that and like the, the right? Like, you fired me from the company. I fired you from life. Dude. Yeah, yeah. The movie. The, the, <laughs> can you imagine the movie, the e- true Hollywood story movie or whatever? Right. Like oh, we wouldn't God. even, dude. We wouldn't even be able to believe it. Like, can, like just, as long uh, as long as Shane says I did it for the Rock when he does it. You put me in this world, I'll take you out. You you put me in the world. I did it. I did it. I did it. I'll shut your mouth, you thong wear, fatty. I did it for Linda. (laughs) I put you in this world, I'm going to take you out. What's your name? It doesn't matter what your name is. Oh my god. Dude, so nobody fucking realize like Linda's gonna like sweep us all under the rug. She's gonna fucking just sell everything when that motherfucker dies and like just put it, just sell it for parts. Right. Get yeah. the royalty Keep check. Her old ass alive. She's gonna yeah, sell I anything think, to make one you know, way to Honestly, I, I guarantee you that Vince is going to sell the company before he dies. There's no way he holds on to it. I think so, too. It's almost... Oh, it I'll fully expect well. in the next yeah, year or two it will actually be sold. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's because he doesn't trust his own kids, or he thinks they're incapable of running it, or because they don't want it, really? No, I think no. I think it's because he's an egomaniac, and he created right. this baby. And he's going to be... I think it's all of those end. things. Right. He created, yeah. he, I think it's what you said, what Joe said. I feel like it's all of it. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. I, think, I think honestly, it's because he created it. He wants to have the final say in what happens to it. That's what he, he said. Yeah. That's what I literally just said. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Want, right. Yeah. I, I wouldn't, no, honestly, if I created something that large, I wouldn't trust my fucking kids with it. Fuck no. Jesus. Like, all right. Who is that? Is that Todd? Yeah. Well, well, maybe he's thinking like, oh, oh shit. he thought by now that up, one dude? of it, he thought by now that one of his kids would have like taken it from him, and he's like, damn, my kids aren't even smart enough to take it from me. Like my, I took it from my. They don't dad. even want it. Like it's he a piece of shit. To at this it point. He's trying H. to. Triple H had the health problems. Right. Right. He was like, well, I thought Triple H. Considering what Stephanie McMahon's turned that fucking company into, why would you want the damn thing? Yeah. Uh, Honestly, the only, the only person I honestly think would actually like do something with it is Shane. I don't think. I think honestly, <laughs> Stephanie would just like burn it to the ground. Yeah. And, I just want to see Triple H do something for Steph- wrestling. Stephanie would turn into a theme park. Is what Stephanie would do. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, the biggest ride, the Warrior. I like it. Triple. The no. biggest, the biggest no. ride, Come the on, warrior. Jesse. I just heard that. Come on, Jesse. We all know the. You know what? We all know the biggest ride in that theme park would be the Macho Man drive. What the are they going? Are they going to make or the are, fucking Space Mountain? Are they going to make a ride? Yeah. Called, are they going to make a ride called the Owen, and you just fall? <laughs> oh, it's the hell of it. Oh my god! Yeah, just a free fall. The Owen Hart. The fucking bungee jump, fucking deal. Oh my god! But, you know, but the cord doesn't. And, and dude, on the, the bottom. Right 
in, it's, <laughs> it's inside a building, but it's like the elevator, you know. And then at the bottom is the uh, actual oh, the, the actual elevated shot of a ring. Like you look down and see the <laughs> ring, and the referees like and you get <laughs> and it, oh my god, dude, what are we doing? <laughs> oh my god, Rick Flair's. <laughs> you can't call it Space Mountain, so they call it Ric Flair Mountain instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god there's just tits everywhere <laughs> oldest ride but, longest line the only way you get off space mountain and all that the ben was oh my they god call, they, they make they make they make a a like a fucking experience called the Chris Benoit experience. It's just like a fucking. It's just a fucking weight. No, the it's just a fuck. It's just a fucking weight machine. That's it. That's what I was gonna um, say. That the weight room is called the Chris Benoit. Oh, the no. weight. The, the weight room is called Chris Benoit. <laughs> yeah, I mean you gotta have the other ride. Like the most dangerous ride is the Crippler. Now, you know. Oh my god. Now, the only way I'm okay yeah, with the, the big part. Is if they call the security where, like, they walk through the metal detector with the Pat Patterson experience, where they take you into the shower oh, and they grope you oh my they God. Right the park. The Pat that Patterson. Wow. Done. Yeah, you're right. So, the, the Pat Patterson is the like is the wet lagoon, yes. the wet lagoon or whatever. Right. Yeah. Like, like to the Crispin that's where you get molested you. when you go. So you have a story, you know, that you don't tell for forty years. <laughs> like or whatever. Oh, you know, yeah. Everyone yeah. under fourteen. <laughs> If you like, uh, theme, though, dude, a uh, Crispin Wall theme would be like, you know, if you're um, handicapped, you got the Crippler walk. So it's like the Crippler face. If you're so it's un- like it's a lane. If it's you're, a lane for dude, you. If you're under 14, you get in the you get in the wet park for free, and you have to wear a clear, have to grab a clear towel. You only have a clear towel. Um, my God! And and then the, even better than that, even the better than that, you come up to a new ride that's at the top of the hill, and, and it's it's all polka dots and all these things. And you're like, oh my God, Dusty Roads! And you get up and you see the polka dots and the ship, and you're like, what's this ride? And then it says the big fag. Like, and you're like, oh, wait a minute! Like, what the fuck is this? Or no, it's, it's just no common man. No, it's just called it's yeah, it's called you. no, it's just called fatso. That's what it's called. It's called Fatso. Big like, boned. It's called they could they could, they could treat it. They could Dunda treat it like Louise. they could treat it like fucking Disneyland and have various like sound bites just playing over the intercom while people oh. are walking through. Oh now, my God. one thing they could do to spice things up before you ride Space Mountain, you know, <laughs> Rick Fla- Rick Flair does have his his role of no hair, no flair. So you have to show your pubes to see if you got a <laughs> oh, no. and if you're bald, you can't <laughs> ride. You know, and, so, revealing. and then it's 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 Jesus. only fitting. And then there's going to be. Awesome. A, it goes right really with the, that's how you get your clear towel, like Joe was talking about. Yes, you right. Right yes. in, in there. Yeah, you exactly. get the towel, no. you're, you go right in. That's that's how you get in the joint. Right. Matter of fact, show your pubes. <laughs> it's a Val Venus deal. Hello, they'd ladies. Have a, they'd have, they'd have an attraction called the Plane Ride from Hell. It's just a plane. Oh, no. oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. There's needles everywhere. There's pills everywhere. They give you a Halcyon fucking yeah. before you get in or whatever. Or the you can only. Rick, <laughs> Rick Flair's <laughs> robe is hanging on one of the seats. If you're a woman with visual bruises showing, you get in free. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Yeah. You show your PTS. D card at the door, you fucking get like a week free. Uh, it's great. Not to be confused right. with the Rihanna, which is also a ride in the ghetto of New York. Dude, oh, oh, right, the, the, that, Rihanna, right here in the chat. In the right the here in the chat, they nailed it. And God and that, and that ride 66X. Yeah. Chris Benoit's House of Horrors. That's it oh, right yeah, there. there. That's the whole Halloween oh, attraction. No. There's dead no. bodies no. laying Dude, out. You know, wait, Jim Cornette doesn't have a ride on this motherfucker? Well, it's you know what? The well, they may have to be careful and to not get sued by the Benoit family, so they'll just call the ride brain damage instead. Oh. <laughs> no, they'll get sued by Pink Floyd. If no, they no, do that. what they can uh, do is call it the Wolverine, Alzheimer Adventure, or Eminem. They could have fucking. The they could have people. Wolverine or something. They could have fucking like people in fucking costumes, like a Eugene, just walking around. Yeah. Or like. Oh, that'd be great. Oh no! Yeah, oh yeah! So the this Mongoloid is what they're going to replace the company with, huh? This whole theme park. Right. We, wow. we, we've got the whole thing booked. Well, this see, is amazing. For, and you know, every theme park has midway games, right? right? So they could have employees 
that are handcuffed to the ring ropes, and you get to oh. shock them in the testicles for like ten bucks, like oh, Shane whoa. McMahon got. And, and that's just before That'd you be, go you into know. the theme park. That's just before you go into yeah. the theme park. They'll be right. wrestling yeah. in the parking lot. And uh, yeah, we, oh we, yeah, that'd be great. We could also have. Man, uh, this thing's a, oof. I'm trying to think of something else we could do. Maybe we could hire Chinese boys. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I know the main attraction, the Katie Vick experience, where you get to oh, rape the dead body. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's, that's great. That's what oh, my do. God. That is it. That is it, Tex. <laughs> There's, like, the confidence there, and you get to hop in and do it. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, my God. So we have to, to work in was on my ball. But we'll make but it's to give you a souvenir like cam mask and t shirt and you no, get no, no, to no. go rape the dead body. No, 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 no. You have to wear the mask before you enter. Ever yeah, since no, no, the no, day no. I was born, I wore the mask. <laughs> the That's what I'm saying. Dude, you you're, a souvenir cam no, mask and t shirt. It kind of fucking writes itself. The, the harder you thrust, the more like points you get. It's like the mallet game. Right. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. And you're like, fucking, oh my god. god. <laughs> now just do this fucking Eminem. That's it. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> Ever since the day I was born. <laughs> we got this figured That's out, man. Hilarious. Oh no, dude. Role models. I, I Mm, yeah, take your dick out, Gargutz. Let me tell you. I am. Oh, oh Dude, go, I, yes, I the Goldberg guitar, ride. Yeah, I can play it. There, I can play on guitar. There'll be a. You want to see my crotch? Right next to the uh, CTE fucking Wolverine Benoit fucking room. There'll be oh the. Uh, there'll be the Survivor Goldberg. Survivor Goldberg <laughs> kick to the head. Survivor. Go- Survivor. <laughs> Goldberg in his bed dress like Goldberg just kicks you in the head. Yeah. Oh, oh, you yeah. you have a, a, now, is they, this true? They, is this is this Goldberg's last? It might the be last actually, last? Yeah. It should be his last. He, I hope gonna, yeah, because he's he's doing he's doing Saudi Arabia and he Jesus. has only got what like this year one left. Month. I think so, yeah. one well, yeah, I think Saudi. Gargut's what you are unaware of is I've acquired a time machine. And I'm going to be sending Goldberg back to 1943 to burn. Just so you know. You're not aware of this. Wow. But, uh, oh. He's yeah. the original Fist of Cuffs guy. I'm He's going to be a, sending him uh, back in time. So it, are you saying that you're going to cook him like a pepperoni pizza? Well, I'm not going to. No, I, I certainly wouldn't do any of this. But I'm just going to send right. him back like as a, yeah. you know, as a joke. Like, you know. Yeah. And, <laughs> If so many people didn't burn as it was good at math, we would have better math. Man, nothing was bullshit. Your audio is gone to hell again, Gargutz. What was the fuck you're doing? It's too loud. You fucking. Well, you, know, you know what? It was too soft earlier, though. Back. It was too soft earlier. While you're there sending go. people back go. to 1942, you can send check, Kendrick check, as check, well, check, so check, he check. can get a uh, get an accurate estimate check, 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 of check. what actually happened. Wouldn't come you back love? And correct himself. I would love to so. send. I want. See, I basically the joke is that I just want to send everybody back to the most awkward situations. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. Like, don't send me back to the 1950s oh. or 60s, Gerald. Don't do that. Well, that's not that bad. That's you could be sent oh, back to no. fucking 1820. <laughs> you don't want to be sent back to then. <laughs> mm. 1745. No, you want to no, go back Joe, to then? Joe. Yeah, Joe, you have to send him back to the 1930s. That's the Great the, Depression. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. that's not the. Yeah, that's bad. But you know, then you could, with, with the yeah. knowledge he has now, he could just write all the great books that he, you know, or all the great movies. He, he could, you know, what I mean, write the Wizard yeah. of Oz before the Wizard of Oz. Oh my God! Can you imagine if I wrote the Wizard of Oz? Can you, um, no, can you imagine if you did do that, and then the people that were actually writing the Wizard of Oz were like, "It can't." You know, they were like, "Wait, what the fuck?" Someone. Yeah, yeah. The midget, the midget that hang himself is. Yeah, that's real. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine you were the midget that hung himself, Rosala? Yeah. Exactly. Well, send, no, no. And you're still here. Fucking, you could send no. fucking horn. You could, you could send fucking horn. He's like, back hey, back I trolled all of y'all. Yeah, I would be. I would be the product of Matt Hardy's broken universe and Dan. Uh, yeah, Dan Housen. Yeah, I'd just be really brilliant, very evil. Yeah, you very could rip evil. that off. You could rip. See, I, I you could, well, rip, rip my face off. Maybe Joe's going to get you killed with all these white folk ideas. Jesus yeah, Christ, these are great ideas. No, I mean, no. no send, if I can go back and write Star Wars, the George Lucas does. Oh, see, that that's would be pretty saying. cool. That yeah. would be pretty cool. 
You write Star Wars you, in 1928. And then, you, then, and then Mustafa can say the whole Star Wars movies were an allergy for slavery. Another in what? Another invention by a black what? man. Oh. Where not, did wow. this come from? I don't know. This man. guy is Denhausen. You know what, Dan? That was, just go listen to fucking. Oh, I gotta get what again. he's saying. No, wait, wait, wait. The fucking dude. Remember Anakin's mom was a fucking slave? They're, they're oh, just... yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. I, mean, I didn't want to go, no, I guess. But I mean, but here's the thing, though. She, she was, was a good slave. slave. She was a sex slave. Wow. You wanna be my sex slave, you little oh, fucking. Why don't you crack her, 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 her baby? Robots she's like, fixed. You know, she's she did shit. Right? I would oatmeal for you. Mm, I don't um, know what she did. Right, she was... You gotta get rid of this Mexican. He's a dumb fuck. Oh. The Maharaja. The Maharaja. Oatmeal. I'd go back and imagine. Um, you know what a movie? There should be a good movie where guys go. Guy goes back in time to kill the Three Stooges because he's upset at them. <laughs> <laughs> because so like get this the beginning of the movie the mother gets a divorce from his father and he's a kid and it's all because his dad wouldn't stop watching the three stooges and never wanted to have sex with her so he blames his father for ruining their lives and, and then later when he's like 34 he invents a time machine so he goes back in time and thinks he can fix his life and his like childhood if he kills the three stooges so they've never been born I love awesome it. He has like a Pleasantville dude. remote. Exactly. He just Joe. presses it at the screen. Oh He's in the fucking God. movie. Joe, you, Joe you, the you thing can... is that, that that what you just explained, you could do that for several yeah. fucking movies. You yeah. can do it for you can do it for um you can do it for three you can do you can do it for three musketeers. Right. And you can do it for three well, amigos. Well technically I think you and three could, amigos is one of my are they, favorites. I would do yeah, well I love that movie, but I think that the uh, Creative Commons or whatever licensing would be up for, possibly is up for Three Stooges. I don't know. If it's not, though, then I, it might be because they made a movie oh. not that long ago. But you could definitely do it yeah, about, like, was, Dracula. That movie sucked. Dracula is open. So you could you could do about Dracula. Your dad loves vampires uh -huh. and Dracula. So you get back in time to kill Dracula. But I think the Three Stooges would be funnier because, like, Dude, like people, accidents yes. on the sets, you stab Curly in the face. I mean, look at uh, Hocus, Hocus, Hocus Pocus, ba basically fucking three dumbasses mm -hmm. coming together with fucking, you know. Aren't they making uh, a sequel to that? It's coming out this year, actually. Did you yeah. just talk shit year. about Hocus goddamn Pocus, you son of a bitch? Nobody gives a shit if you go back and kill the fucking Sanderson sisters. In the, you know what I mean? What the fuck? I mean... <laughs> You know, dude, he's trying to kill Bette Midler. Wait, did she didn't die already? Did she? No, she's a dumb bitch, though. I'll tell you. Don't that. you fucking kill Bette Midler next, you fucking Mexican. Oh, yeah. you're, you're, you know you're what? Betty White. What else do you I, need? I did call Betty White. I did call Betty White the day before. Sith is just all about the fucking. I like uh, House on Haunted Sith. Hill was fun, but it was I, like a wasn't as deep as the haunting. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm talking about there the original a... Okay. Did you guys... Uh, yeah, no, okay. no, no. I'm not talking about the new one, or the newer one with Jeffrey Rush, the guy from Pirates. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Okay. I'm talking about, the, I'm talking about the, the black and white uh, Price repeat. Oh, so yeah, the one yeah, with yeah. the you know, cheap... Okay, you know, that's what... Okay. Thank God it. for you saying that. Okay, no, the original one shit? Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, you know, I love. The, I, mean, I, I, love the, I like I the remake, remake, but it's it's not Vincent you know, Price. Tex, are you? Do, do you guys ever watch like Turner Classic movies or something where it's like um, all old fucking uh, black and white movies? Dude, and you could just I be just, there just yesterday just I watched that shit. I watched the first a lot of that shit. four Frankenstein movies back to back. Man. Jesus Christ, I love yeah. black and white. You two just talking over each other, like. <laughs> no, I think we. I think we're like right. making love right now. Yo, Mikel, bye, Talk man. What you, you killing yourself, Mikel? What do you mean, bye? What the hell are you doing? He's no, he's a bisexual, Joe. How's that championship belt? Is it COVID free? Yeah. Yeah, baby. You are you COVID free? Are you COVID yeah. free down in your pants? Yeah. Because I'm living COVID free Good. inside my pants. Don't you die on us, Mike. Hell, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch wearing a Disney shirt. You it, fucking. It can't be your birthday if you're dead. So Disney and don't fuck this weird. I thought that fucking yeah. Arabian shit. Disney attic. 
Oh my Video god. Video. Yeah, he's wearing an Arab shirt that says Disney Wait, on you, it. You better You're not a go terrorist. Anywhere, you fucking bitch. Where are you oh, going, Michael? He's tired. Tired. Dude, I'm gonna get his shit. Duty rest, hey, we're man. all tired, man. Better, I'm you tired. Better, you better hold that belt right now and fucking cut a promo. Go ahead. Oh, look at those knees. Just gonna do or it. just hold it and cut your wrist. Anything. It's no, just, oh my god. No. Gonna come up to you. Oh Jesus. shit. Oh shit. <laughs> go, go. You. You. Uh, you. Uh, Illegal. What? Illegal. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. He just laid the smack down. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Did he call, wait a minute. Say, you, 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 you went you back. Went oh, and you, hey, you guys. You were a wet back <laughs> nematode. Dude, he fucking kept, he caught his breath for that one. He really wants to say that, Gargas. You're fucked. Oh, my hey, God. Man. Good night, bye. Good night, brother. Oh, my God, Love bro. You, man. Happy fucking uh, birthday. Gargas, if, if you're casting death upon people, I will read you my Deadpool list. I have ten names here. I have Vince oh, no. McMahon. Why does every fucking and, show he brings what? us up? What is up? Angela Lambert. Bob Newhart. David Crosby, Rudy Giuliani, Pat Roberts, Damn. Randy Travis, Tim Curry, Harry Funk, and Harvey Weinstein. So, Damn, I love like Harry Funk friend. and David Whoa. Crosby. All right, I'm going. Oh, yeah. I'll take yeah. that. Okay. Bob Newhart and Tim Curry are my two top picks on your list. I love yep. the, those okay. two. Are going. I don't. I don't. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't oh, all the ones you just named were fucking like legitimately superhuman oh, fucking bloodlines. So I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta fucking wow. go through the, 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 the I'll 12 put a families. spell on you before you do Supposedly that. Supposedly Hitler had a superior bloodline. Didn't work out for him. Don't worry about it. No. Right. I got Joe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. he tried to, he, he, he tried, you know? he tried to make his own superior uh, bloodline. He didn't have a real one. Either way, we're all fucked. Just fucking go he for it. Like, he was like, you shot. can do it. Right. I can, they can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Dude, it's me. Hey, nobody can build as good of a car as he did, so I... Dude, whatever fucking Mike Hell said right now, you fucking wet... Oh. <laughs> he said, he said wetback <laughs> nematode. He I called, just I think... you by your first name. Hey, everybody, I'm out of my wheelchair, and I'll be in the new Rocky Horror Pictures. Oh, <laughs> Never forget that shit. Oh, my the God. More, the more and more... The more and I more love I it. See that. Take that, meatloaf. The more and more I see this picture of fucking Ryback, the more I think he's just like re gets retarded every time <laughs> I see him. Just more retarded. Retarded. Get retarded. He's in the new fucking unis. Retarded. Wait, what is that CGI one in the middle? They need to make a Team Fortress movie and cast Ryback as that guy. Odd, are you outside? Am I outside? No. You should be. I, we haven't seen you in a while, dude. It, it, Why do you need to see him, you weird pervert fuck? Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna it's fade over. It's, over. it's over. Oh look, there he Which goes, I he disappeared. Well, oh no. Do you remember though in the background he used to be like that swamp oh. thing was crawling around? Oh when you said what is that thing crawling? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was I can't believe that dude. Dude, I wish my wife was in the background crawling around everywhere. Dude, that would be fucking well, awesome. Like a thirsty bitch. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, dude, I, I like your new headphones, though. Oh, my fucking... God. Look at you, man. You just... You look like you're glowing. Wow, you look black. <laughs> black <laughs> hey, hey, I'm uh, I'm Justin Trudeau. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, it's Justin oh, Trudeau. Boy. He's back again. Wow. He's a sand... <laughs> Hussain, well, it's hard to tell if you. It's hard to tell what Justin Trudeau really is because he plays like five hundred different dress-up characters, so we never know right. really what right. he is. That that movie, so Song of the South, on Disney. Mm. You know, we you got to really watch that shit. That's what you are right now. I bet you Trudeau would have fucking. <laughs> Song of the South, isn't that Gunfire? Song of the <laughs> South. <laughs> Song of the South is a, a movie about hanging people. That's usually yeah, so, this is the song of the song. This is the song that doesn't end. No, the song of the south starts out with banjo music, and then it's then it sounds like a, 
a brother and sister getting to each other. Oh That's my what god! What the fuck? Mm. They're dicking each other. Yeah. They're just fucking cornholing totally each other, right, dude. That's what it is. Tex uh, bit into the steer and he fucking sent me a video and I was like, mm. "You fucking goon, delicious motherfucker!" He saw deal. one. He Kiss saw face. one picture of of the Angus cattle that that I owned and he started fucking grazing over here. He was yep. like, "Can we butcher them now?" So he wanted to fucking kill. It was I do. I was like, dude, if you if you if they're they're ready because it's veal. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do this right now. I was like, I want to see you process them now, please. <laughs> I could feel the bloodlust like from the other side of the state just boiling when he saw that picture. It was amazing. Oh, wow. dude, I, I I guarantee you what what you have growing is what I want. <laughs> Yeah, and I want that what you see fresh. there is money on four legs. That's, that's what he said. I go, and when the yeah. snow came, I was like, "What happened to the steaks? I mean, cows? I mean." <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, like, "What happened to the money was, uh, I mean, right. the cows yeah. are money." Yeah, <laughs> it's like, dude, yeah. that's fucking dope, dude. Like, you know, hey. if y'all love steak as much as we do. You will love the shit taste of that shit. That's Angus beef. I don't raise no shit kettle either. I raise the good stuff. So, so. so okay. Angus and Wagyu, you should do that. That's not bad. Yeah. Leave these together. How did you? How do yeah. you make? How do you make the whiskey? That's a good question. You think I'm gonna tell my secrets over the internet? Do I sound stupid? Yeah, you no, won't. But I, I would say that's a good question. No, I just want to know how you make whiskey hit to begin. with. You sound like a cum you guzzler. You sound so, like you sound like one of them make... goddamn. He's like, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you how I make my whiskey. Oh, I'll put it to you this way: Why you the recipe that was given to Louis Salado's ass, given down by three generations, and uh, you fucking ain't finding out what it is. So, good luck. Good luck. All, I'm asking, all I want to know is if, 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 if there's a way I can do it at home. Mm. Yeah, I do it at home, dude. I would cream in you at home. If you, if you, if honestly, if you're gonna do it at home, do it in the fucking outside, and uh, a f- first of all, make sure it's legal to make you in your state wherever you live. It is yeah. for me, but you got to find out that first. You know what I mean? And then you got to put it far outside, so where when it blows up. Uh, you won't blow up your house, right? And that's how yeah. Trevor You'll fucking. Die. That's how Trevor fucking You'll die died. in the fire, but your house will be fine. Yeah, ladies uh, and gentlemen, why does kids you know? Friday the eighteenth is championship night. Just wanted to announce that before we get out of here tonight. Friday the eighteenth of February. You are Friday the eighteenth. Cool. Is championship night. Just letting you know, Mikel, that belt's on the line. Just letting you know if you're listening still, you fuck if you're not inside your mother already by now. Um, hopefully you're hearing this, um, championship night, February 18th, man. I want to thank you guys for last night, man. That was crazy. We were up until what? 7 a.m. And that, that was crazy. We had, your show almost went nine hours, by the way. Nine hour show almost. I stayed on for like 30 minutes. I was actually, but I, you know what happened is as we were ending, I started getting really fucked up from those drinks. I was taking shots all night and, uh, yeah, it, it, it was it, nuts. You started wrapping ra- Eminem. I, I, I was hoping you to take some shots tonight. Oh, oh I ran out of breath. Nice. You're right. I was doing "Forgot About Dre" and I, I like was running out of breath because that that song's yep. fucked. Like to like try to like rather than like it's fucking crazy. Yeah, I, I never did get that McDonald's. You didn't. Well, you're gonna have to. <laughs> you're gonna have to. I sent your money to Jake. My bad. No, but listen. <laughs> No, uh, I had a lot of I had a lot of shit going on today. I had so much stuff that happened. I had business deal in the middle of the day that went south, and they killed somebody in my crew. Uh, no, I'm just I'm just no, I'm just I'm not fucking kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Um, and yeah, so it was a long, 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 uh, interesting. Uh, day. Yeah, drug lords and runner. So it was a long, 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 interesting drug lord runner. Um, but yeah, man, I think we're gonna um. I think we're gonna save up for tomorrow night, man, because I think everybody's really tired tonight, and and I don't blame everybody. Oh, I'm oh. tired as fuck. I'm tired, more tired than if anyone. You, if you're tired, man, hey, you're when, tired. When, when's when's the elimination chamber again? I don't know, and I I hate Two weeks. that show. I hope that 
all the bad things that can happen in the Middle East happen at that show. <laughs> now, what's the over under on Goldberg getting beheaded for being a Jew in that country? I, like, I, how quickly the show does that happen? Imagine that if it happened, they grabbed Goldberg and they just were like choppy, like boom. <laughs> that that's by maybe the way, they I, have to have him in the elimination chamber. To keep that's what tells you the. Savages. Well, that, you know, that's what tells you the whole religious thing is bullshit. Like they let this fucking guy come out. It's like no, they should be going after his head. But no, they're like, come on out, because it's all money. Hey, so hey, tax. money's not more important than God. Vince McMahon going to Saudi, so you might get lucky and they might chop Vince's head off. Oh, hey, oh my hey, God! God is money. That's fucking for him. the church. <laughs> oh my God! Well, to be fair, if Vince McMahon didn't get struck down by lightning in the church when he called out God. He's probably safe in Saudi Arabia. I'm gonna I call out probably... God. I'm gonna call out God for making me I born looking like this. Look at me. Whoa. You think this is funny that I look like a fucking mongoloid? That I look like a fucking reject? Fuck you. I got a, I got three sizes, the size of a normal head. I got hey. three sizes. Fuck. Hey, you guys. <laughs> 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 Hey, Northern Sky, thank you, man. Thanks for thanks for jumping on the Patreon. Dude, why does hey. the guy in the middle, why does the cartoon right shit his pants and he's Because like, oh. he found, he's realizing a dick just went into him and it's my dick. Smell it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, do you think it's your Damn. fucking, wow, does it shock you? I said the N-word, does it, sh it shocks you. It shocks you and it shocks you. Uh, the white man speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. That was Michael Richards. Um, thank you to uh, K.N. Spielberg for fork becoming a... Ass. I'll put a fork up your ass. K.N. Spielberg for becoming a $5 patron. V-Man for going to hey, $25 right. dollar producer level, man. Thank you. And to Hell six, yeah. six, five, three, five as oh, a producer. Shit. Again, thank you very much. S -s 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 Sixty-nine. Uh, Good. Uh, fucking well, fucking Gargut says he's gonna start plugging his show at the end of these things. I'm gonna start plugging his ass. I mean, whatever hey, you want to do. Joke. Maybe that's how you make your money. What's that? <laughs> How's that? Started all the fans with Gargut. You'll make all the money. Well. <laughs> I got no, oh, you, 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 you can. I'll three D scan my fucking face. How do you know I need money? Scan your face, and then. Uh, How do you know I need money? Maybe I don't need money. Maybe I'm. Maybe I don't. Maybe I didn't get a letter today from the IRS that says oh, there. <laughs> oh, oh. He had a fucking. A he lot. got a C seven forty nine. What the and fuck that means? Uh, How the fuck? fuck I, no, we gotta talk about this shit <laughs> off air. There's some. More how the fuck do you know about this? <laughs> How do you know about that? Did somebody take did somebody house. did somebody take your van once or something? Damn <laughs> fucking van. You know you what? Know, Ke Kennedy. 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 Mister. Oh, remember we thought he was gonna be in the rumble and then he wasn't? That's right. Dude, I, I just realized that. I just found that I was gonna say. We got a lot of things wrong. I'm like, wow. he's get, he's, he's, I think he's being sued by his wrestling student right now or something. What? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my Mr. God. Rapity. Mr. Rapity. Mr. Rapity. <laughs> he's like, he just took the money and never reopened the school. Oh. oh God. Oh. Oh. What a fucking clown. It's kind of like when you he take it's like when you take money from the government. No, go ahead. <laughs> he bought their gold. Uh, he, yeah. dude, honestly, dude, you probably uh, you gotta tell about it one of these times off air. It, oh yeah, them. it's okay. There's, some, there's some ways you could fucking take, you could handle this where you don't have to worry about. It. It's gonna fuck your credit over anyway. You might as well not have to pay the money. Mm. Yeah, I gotta figure something. Out. I'll tell you about it off air. Um, or, or or who knows what's gonna happen. Yep. Look at Ryback's mongoloid well, I mean, face though. Bigger. He looks like I mean, if I you smash fifteen fucking years of debt and fucking an instant. You just gotta huh. fucking. Some people do it through bankruptcy. Some do it through other means. You gotta just got to go for it. No. They don't fucking really care about you. They care about people that have fucking quarter million, half million, million dollars fucking debts. You know what I care they about? They don't really, really want you. 
I want. But you got to know that, otherwise they're gonna make you think they want you. That's true. That's like a, some whore. I bash my head with a hammer, like, <laughs> like <laughs> look at my potato. That didn't sound like a. <laughs> 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 it's like sounds like some me. bitch I used to know. <laughs> and now you're just somebody like... that I used to know. It sounds like some fucking oh, whore. <laughs> I used to fucking got pregnant. It sounds like some bent over whore. Listen, I'm coming back to the WWE Whoa. and when I get done eating my fucking spicy chicken sandwiches on my channel and choking on a fucking <laughs> chicken biscuit, I will fuck Vince McMahon's dead corpse. Uh, gurgle. Uh, take that, Vince. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, fuck. I fucking the, finish I it. Am the, I'm the 13th. I can't believe I came in you. Now I put my fucking penis in your anus. <laughs> I'm the 13th spice. Whoa. KFC. You could die. I told myself that you were right for me. Oh, I felt so lonely in your company. Shut up, Dan. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up and bend over. Bend over. Oh, yeah. Oh, This is my new music. Yeah. Get addicted to a certain kind of sadness. Uh, like resignation to the end. I'll finish it. So when we found that not make love I wanna put my dick inside your pun I'll admit that I was glad it was over yeah you hear that I'm gonna fuck Linda but you didn't have to cut me off make out it it never happened and I know it knew you need your love but you dream you're a stranger that you feel so rough no, you didn't have to stoop so low Have your friends collect your records and then change your number I guess that I don't need that though Now you're just somebody that I used to kill That I used to know I'm out of here, bye, fuck it, I'm done Goodbye Fuck it now you're just somebody that I used to kill. I don't give a goddamn or fucking, uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck everybody to death. Hey. Hey. I've been thinking about finishing it. Oh, somebody. Somebody that I used to know. Oh, Rocky, I'm going to die soon. Did you know that? Of course you did. Good night, everybody. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Hey, Ryback? Yes? I really have something to say. Uh-huh. I really love the skillful... the skillful way you... beat the other gay men to the... bride's bouquet. Oh, Brad. The river was deep, but I swam it. Right back. So please don't tell me to eat it. Right back. I want to put it in your ass crack. Right back. One thing to say, and that's damn it. Right back. I'll rape you. The road was long, but I ran it. Right back. <laughs> you ban it. Right back. There's one fool for you, then I am it. Right back. There's one thing to say, and that's damn it. Right back. I love you. To prove that I'm not joking I want to eat your asshole open And that's good, bad, 
Oh my god, bro. 